Docks and guard shifts for all countries in attendance confirmed. Yet another job well done. Thanks. I was afraid I'd end up breaking my operational limit. Can you imagine if word got out I dirtied my cockpit during the main event? There'd go any luck I'd have with any guy ever. I'm glad you didn't. You know, it's funny. I realize they're here for Princess Lashara's coronation, but I've never seen so many ships before. With Sir Dagmire in front, even the male sacred Mecha Masters are in the guard shift. Maybe I'll take a little break and go say hi to him. Well, if you get the chance, good luck. It's appreciated. And don't forget to take the bypass on your way back. We don't want those Aho energy waves from your sacred mechanoid hurting anyone down there. Will do. Out of my way, people! Coming through! These nobles from all these countries make quite the spectacle, don't they? I suppose it's befitting the Honorable Shryu Empire, though. Or rather, befitting Lord Babaloon. Perhaps. With the King's death, Lord Babaloon has assumed control of the country. Although she may be young, she is the daughter of the Empress and the belated Emperor. I doubt she'll go down without a fight. This should be quite the show. I take it you came to evaluate the situation for yourself as well? target you mean the little girl that is correct and remember you don't have the luxury of options Help yourself. You're hungry, aren't you? Huh? Rumor has it you refuse to speak. I hope that's not true, because I would love to know your name. I'm your lighter, by the way. I'm... Kenshi... Masaki. Kenshi... Masaki? That's a rather unusual name. Are you by chance from... No, of course you're not. How silly of me. Well, enjoy, Kenji. Well done, Sir Ulita. You got him to reveal his name. No fair, I wanted to do that. Kenji, huh? Call me crazy, but he doesn't seem like he would be part of an assassination attempt. Either way, I do feel bad leaving him out there in the cold. Still, you have to admit, he's kind of cute when he shivers. It is not easy to witness, but we follow procedures in case he is an ally to those who attacked the Empress. These things must be done. You are all making it sound as if we were an evil monster. <laughs> huh? We refuse to let even a prisoner believe we are a monster. We would never damage our precious merchandise. Merchandise? We mean precious witness. It would be a loss if you died. A loss? Anyway, stay right here and try to be good. And be sure not to tell Kiaya we brought this to you. She is inflexible. She's the one who has a somewhat hostile look all the time. Don't let her get to you, though. She just has an odd personality. <laughs> We didn't see you there. You'll have to excuse this viciously hostile look on my face. I can't help it. I just have one of those odd personalities. We only said somewhat hostile.
Peace, big brother. Big sister. Big sis. <laughs> The Koro seem to really like you. It's fascinating. Um, who are you? You have a big sister? <laughs> She's not here, but I'd be happy to take her place if you want. <laughs> what is it now? Uh, uh, Messiah, what in the crap are you doing in there? What? He looked cold. Why are you naked? Obviously, I'm warming him up. I've heard this is the best way to get the job done. <laughs> He's not that cold. No one is. I swear you are so ridiculous. Oh, I couldn't help myself. The little guy was freezing. Who cares? That didn't mean you had to get naked with him. See you later, Kenshi. Uh. <laughs> you messed up, Kenshi. Tall. Ready. Nice. She took the bait. Dark elves on the pilgrimage route guard. There is an uninvited guest in your airspace. alarm going off. Kiaya! We have to admit we are a little eager to see what we catch this evening. Kiaya, you can't! Your night frame has to be sent to the church for final repairs. It's still broken! Fine, then I'll borrow yours. Okay, but try to be careful. Mine still hasn't been fully restored either. <laughs> That's weird. Where did Messiah's night frame go? It's supposed to be right over there. Why have you not finished Lashara off? How tragic. You're from another world, but this is all you've got. Search him! Yes, sir. <gasps> He's wearing an Aho magic transmission circle. I suspected as much. Well, that was surprisingly fast, but it was certainly enough for some valuable insight. You're up, Kiaya. How did the princess win you over? Did she tell you she'd give you whatever you wanted? No, no. Playing dumb? I didn't say anything. Either way, it is no matter. I had planned for you to die here from the very beginning. We had a deal. Do you mean how I would send you back to your world? <laughs> we only needed you to kill Lashara. You're a pawn, and an expendable one at that. You're nothing more than an expendable pawn. Besides, we don't exactly have the means to send you back. You lied to me. Oh, no. You've 
gotten sick, haven't you? <laughs> I don't like the idea of him dying here. How will you act, Arashurafal? Dissension in the ranks. What's going on? What is Aura doing here? I should have thought about this first. I wonder who's inside that mechanoid. I can't even attack, let alone move quickly. I should bring him inside. No, the sacred mechanoids' Aho waves are dangerous to commoners. What do I do? Is that gunfire? The boy! Fine, I'll kill both of you. I need help. I'm pleased you rescued him. Let me help. Who is that? Kiaia Flan. If it isn't Ara Shorafan. It's the boy. You go on ahead. I'll take care of this. Gladly. This might be more obstacles than I can handle. I need to retreat. Shurafan, you can't go in! As we are on a pilgrimage, the Swan has special rights. My apologies, but you cannot enter. But as a member of the pilgrimage route guard, I cannot let this go. I will need some answers. I'll certainly explain the situation. However, first I would like you to surrender him to me. This boy is my exclusive witness. Meaning I won't simply hand him over. And I would prefer to hear your explanation from Empress Lashara herself. I only informed HQ that I saw something suspicious. As long as the situation is reasonable, I won't need to report it. Stay back. Tis fine. She has a permission to board. Empress Lashara Earth, please pardon my demeanor during this crisis. Of course. It would be highly inappropriate to discuss these matters here. Would you care to talk over tea? Kiaya. As the one who just saved this boy's life, I will keep him until I understand the situation. I heard Kenshi's back. Messiah? Where have you been? Miss Messiah, what are you doing here? Oh no. I'm sorry, but it's likely Aho's sickness from my mechanoid. <sighs> It's worse. Look at that rash. That's Rodashia Torre. The altitude sickness. Rodashia what? He's gotta be from somewhere that has a really high altitude. Rodashia Torre is an illness specifically from the Ina Ocean. So you've had it too? Oh no way, I'm fine. But I've already had the vaccination for it. If this boy's got it, he could die. <sighs> We've gotta do something, he's burning up. Honestly, I'm surprised you tried killing him. Reckless behavior. It's too dangerous to let him live! <laughs> Jealous of someone better than you. If we allow him to live, he'll reveal who we are. We're dealing with the princess. I'm assuming she already knows. It's all the more reason to destroy whatever evidence is left out there! <laughs> Focus on killing Lashara before she enters the Holy Land. Yes, sir. Prepare to launch the sacred mechanoid. And move the ship before the pilgrimage route guard gets here. At this rate, he has about six hours before he falls into a coma and suffers heart failure. I know! I've heard if the shot isn't good enough and you get sick anyway, a natural antidote is the Trium herb! Oh, Trium is rarely used as medicine, so we don't normally carry any on board. Then I shall go and find some. I'll go with you. We leave the swan in your more than capable hands. Trium grows in the shallows of rivers and lakes, but we may have difficulty finding any since the herb is not in season. There's not much time. 
Let's split up, shall we? Agree. So he is from another world, just as I suspected. How, I wonder, did they summon him here? It is of no matter. At the moment, we must focus on keeping him alive. Your pacing is making me nervous. Quit worrying about me and get that done. They could come back and strike at any moment. <laughs> oh, crap! I wasn't ready for them to show up! This sucks! What are we gonna do? I'm not done with it yet! Guess I'll just have to go with skill. Well, well, someone's overly confident, huh? There are three enemy sacred mechanoids. Change course above the draft. Moving above the draft. Attack! Looks like the number one reactor ring is hit, sir. We can't increase the power. They managed to damage our large barrier reactor. Those aren't normal sacred mechanoids. <laughs> is missing. Three to one is hardly even a fight. No, I can't win against three. What if I used his fighting style? She's gone. That's so rough on the night frame. I can't believe he managed to fight like this. Crazy. I just don't have the power. What's wrong? Dead already? Uh, who's that? <laughs> Impressed? Trium should be somewhere around here. I know it. Who's there? Shocking dodge. Well played. A black mechanoid. your limits soon. Where is Miss Messiah? I need her help. Focus. We have to get the Trium to that boy. Not now. My operational limits. I can't move! Was that her dark elf feeling? No! Believe I had to activate my field. That was pathetic, Aura. It doesn't matter how strong a weapon is if you can't hit the target. I'm still here, sir. If you could still move, retrieve the other knight and retreat immediately. But, sir. I can handle this on my own. Don't leave any evidence. Go! 
Right. What is that? Are you kidding me? Your reaction time is awful. Wow, that stupid jerk is fast. Uh, uh? Crap, I'm out of ammo! Ha! Without any bullets, you're fighting with a mere toy. Not good. Oh, what is that? Aura, are you okay? A black sacred mechanoid appeared. What? And you faced it alone? Why didn't you let me know? It doesn't matter. Did you find the herb? Yes. This is Trium, isn't it? Yes, it is. Let's head back quickly. <laughs> Why is she so weak? She must have activated her field. We have to go. I swear, Aura, you are beyond stubborn. Try not to push it too hard. You still haven't been baptized, you know. Yes, I'm aware. A sacred mechanoid of unknown alliance, and a black sacred mechanoid. What in the world is going on? <laughs> what now? Hello. <laughs> you fool! We got it! Dance and fighting style before. Don't tell me it's who I think it is. You're back. Shara and the others entered the Holy Land territory. I need you to lend Dahl to me again. Dahl shall remain asleep until the time is right. Concentrate on personal duties now. Unfortunately, we've no time to waste on the princess. Understood, sir. gone. It's surprising. The herbs are good, but you're still recovering swiftly. I hope you appreciate all of this. And don't worry about paying us back. You can just do it whenever. Will you shut up? <sighs> um, thank you so much. Uh, come here! <laughs> back off, crazy. He's oh. recovering. Now get some rest. Go back to sleep until morning. We suppose we could all stand to take that advice.
thank you for your help, Bara. Of course. I was merely fulfilling my duties, Empress. They're finally here! It's the Holy Land's envoy! Wondrous! We cannot wait to be free of that luggage. Speaking of which, do you have mm -hmm. some sort of plan on what to do with your other piece of luggage? We shall be taking Kenchi to the Holy Land to act as our attendant. As your what? It is imperative we establish the fact the boy belongs to us before the truth should get out. So I take it he didn't give you any information on our enemy either. After he awoke in the summoning ruins, they trained him underground to keep him from figuring out where he was. According to Kinshi, all of his instructors wore masks. But why be so thorough? Because they were planning to use him to murder the head of a nation. Of course. But why get rid of a male sacred mecha master? It makes me wonder if they're able to summon regardless of the star's position. Yes, we were curious about the same thing. But Kenji said when he awoke, he saw nothing that would have led him to believe they were performing any rituals. Tis no matter, our biggest problem at the moment is Dahl, the girl who piloted the black sacred mechanoid. A black mechanoid? Supposedly, she is the same age as we are. But how? That's so young! As with Kenshi, we have never heard of a sacred mecha master like her before. Perhaps she is not from our world either. There's no way! Is there? If she is from another world, it is vital that we claim Kenshi for ourselves immediately. Why are you so willing to endanger yourself over this boy? What exactly do you want? We want to see how he will change under new circumstances. After all, his situation is very similar to that of our own. <laughs> yes, understood. I have to admit, though, I'm a bit worried it would be dangerous to let him run around by himself. I can do this on my own! Your hunch was correct. It's so smooth. It's amazing. Isn't his face just the cutest up close like this? Be sure to clean that boy from his head to his toe. Okay. okay. From head to toe, huh? Oh. Empress, please. Come on. Don't tell me you're not curious, what? too. What? I mean, that is so not the point. I can't believe how filled his chest is. Please oh. hurry down here. Oh. You're so right. Wait, you shouldn't do that. Uh -oh. Shoot. Uh -oh. Don't worry, we'll take care of this for you. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just if you don't mind. <laughs> Not if I die first. <laughs> nice. Not half bad, are you? Wow. Yeah, he cleaned up All well. All right, Kenshi. Now that you look somewhat presentable, we have a proposal for you. Would you like to join us? You can be our new attendant. <laughs> so you know we've taken a liking to you. Oh. But, um, I, uh... Look at us, Kenshi, not the floor! <laughs> so you know we have taken a liking to you. Fairly strange considering, right? But that's the way of things. <laughs> the Holy Land should be entering visibility soon. Kenshi, you are quite free to accompany us if you are so inclined. His physique and mannerisms are rather unique. I have lived in the royal palace for a long time, and I have seen more people than I care to remember. But this one, we may have just borne witness to an historical moment later. By the way, what exactly is the Holy Land? It is a place where the church oversees baptisms in the name of the goddesses. People from the continent who wish to become sacred mecha masters gather at the academy located there for schooling. You'll be a Mecha Master? No, we will not, but you will learn more of the details once we arrive. Oh. Sacred Megalord, 
The mechanoids were modeled after it. Empress Lashara! I'm gonna go on ahead. What's up, Kenshi? I'll see you later! Why's she going first? Shouldn't we all be together if this is the Holy Land? There are certain conventions for entry. The Swan is supposed to enter outside the draft, so they had to unload the Mechalord while they could. Outside the draft? Yes, look. Draft. Is it not rather pretty? From this area up, you cannot use Aho. That is why they had to unload the sacred Mecha Lord elsewhere. Empress Lashara, we are now entering the Holy Land. thing is up close. Uh, you, a Havonoan ship. Like that's what we'd want to see upon our arrival. <laughs> the Academy is on the other side of that stairway. Try and keep it together once we get inside, okay? Okay. So he is now Empress Lashara's attendant. Just as we predicted. Yes, indeed he is. Still, though, I was rather surprised when this reacted to the boy the way it did. Do you think it's him? I'm not sure, but if so, we may achieve our goals before much longer. Yes, we may. Making that idiotic face. There are students watching you. It looks like the princess is back. She's an empress now, remember? Well, who is that guy? Must be Empress Lashara's attendant. I don't know if you can tell, but it's already being assumed you're the empress's attendant. So please try not to do anything that would embarrass your mistress. Understood. Well, if it isn't Dagmire, thank you for coming to welcome us. Yes. I worried about you tremendously when I heard the swan had been attacked. Apparently, all I needed to put me at ease was to see your smiling face. Yes. And now you must hurry and inform your father, Lord Babaloon, that we are feeling quite, quite well. After all, we wouldn't want him worrying himself to death. Right. As you wish. That fighting style and battle stance. It can't be. Kiaya, was the battle difficult? It was nothing I couldn't handle. Either way, I'm glad you're all right. No, I must be wrong. Where'd he go? Hey! <gasps> what did I say? To keep it together. Do you call this together? Wow, he is like a door. He's not a sacred mecha master, is he? He isn't wearing a sword, so maybe he's just an attendant. What? But he's too young for that, isn't he? Life as an empress must be like the best ever. He looks so cute, like a little crow. Ladies, will you mind your manners, please? <clears throat> empress Lashara of Strayu and Princess Maria of Havonua. Things are about to get crazy. This is the Empress Lashara's attendant. He's on the special side. I will see you later, Empress Lashara. Hey! Uh. Hey, Kiaya? So do you, like, have a thing for that guy, or what? <laughs> no, he's just a friend from when I was a kid. Besides, it doesn't really matter how much a girl likes a Mecha Master. What? Why is that? Shut up! Uh, we are leaving! Uh, uh, oh, that's my ear! Uh, uh. Wow, it's huge! Is this a Colosseum? It was made for mechanoids, so yeah, it's big. This is where select sacred mecha masters from the continent battle in the sacred tournament. They are enclosed by the draft as they fight around those pillars. It is terrifically difficult. 
Victory here is an honor. The greatest you can earn is a sacred mecha master. Oh. Well, it doesn't really look all that hard to me. Watch it. I saw that earlier. You did. The sacred mecha lord was originally displayed as a symbol of power. Hmm. We hold a fair number of ceremonies and events in this arena. In fact, tomorrow, Kiai and Wahanli are going to be knighted as sacred mecha masters. Cool. Congratulations, Kiai. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Okinchi, you will be attending too. Uh, <gasps> important figures from the Holy Land will be there and you want him to come? Are you insane? Uh, if he is attending, everyone will get the impression he is our attendant. I have to admit, I was somewhat concerned when I heard the swan had been attacked, Princess Lashara. Empress, and there's no need to lie, Maria. I'm not lying. I was worried innocent people might get injured because of your unfortunate situation. Right, Yukine? Huh, your face is unfortunate. Um, who's that girl? She's Princess Maria Nanadon of Havonawa, otherwise known as Empress Lashara's cousin. I'm guessing they're not the best of friends, as in not at all. They've been through a lot. Imagine the whole ordeal happened because of your poor daily conduct. And poor Kiyaya had to risk her life. Oh, we see that you are toting around a rather adorable boy with you. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do that nice for? Nice to see you still have terrible taste. I bet it's due to immaturity. Do you mean terrible? That amount of huh? lace is horribly inappropriate. A good princess must not waste the national budget on such things. It's a traditional form of lace from my country. In fact, even a small child could make it. Unfortunately, your country lacks such special traits. Kids making lace is hardly special. Oh! Why am I not surprised you chose a childish color like purple? It is a royal <laughs> color, and unlike you, I am an empress. A childish empress who almost got assassinated because no one respects her. Well, I think you're both acting like children. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it, I Shut swear! Up. Tell us, which one do you like best? Uh, which one? You heard me, which one do you think is better? Tell us, we will not be angry if you choose Maria's atrocity. That is not at all true. Uh, I can't really say for sure. <laughs> it's okay, I promise you can tell us the truth. And I understand if you choose La Shara, it is only out of loyalty and pity for your worthless and pathetic mystery. Go ahead, who's best? Okay, uh, um... I like hers the best. Kine! I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting. Oh. Hmm. Empress Lashara of Stryu took me into her services, and tomorrow I become a sacred mecha master. Everything is gonna be better than I could have ever imagined. Were we forced to endure all of that just for the privilege of starting school? <laughs> that is proof that you have our permission to enter our dorm. Do not take it off. But Empress Lashara, it's just that. If you like, I'd be happy to add a leash to it to keep you from wandering off and getting into trouble. <laughs> really? Why did you have to be so inconsiderate? She's talking about earlier. Yeah, well, I didn't think flipping up each other's skirts was very considerate either, but that's just me. The only thing they're allowed to wear while they're here are those boring uniforms, and because of that, they compete over who has the best undergarments. Speaking of inconsiderate, we cannot believe how rude Maria's little attendant Yukine was. How dare she barge in on a battle between us? What was she thinking? I think she might have been trying to stop you two from fighting. You can't really blame her for that, can you? Excuse us? It's just that if I had picked either one of you over the other, you would probably still be arguing. True, Maria is beyond stubborn. She's not the only one. What was that? Nothing. Besides, she doesn't strike me as the type of person who cares about stuff like having a prettier underskirt thing. So what you're saying is that you like her? <sighs> well... She's, like, pretty or whatever. She has this air of maturity, too. How rude! What? No, I'm just sorry. I won't talk hmm. anymore. There's no reason to be sorry. After all, there's a decent chance you might marry her someday. It would be horrible if she failed to fulfill her given duty. Do your best to get to know her and see what happens. Wait! Marry her? 
Sacred mechanoids are the ultimate weapons in this world. As such, marriages to sacred mecha masters are supervised by their countries in order to ensure they produce highly gifted children. Huh. We suppose it could be seen as similar to breeding horses, and sacred mecha masters are like our own thoroughbreds. Yes! To put it quite bluntly, marriage is basically a stud service here. Did you say stud Too service? blunt, Empress. Hey, don't get upset with us. The reality is there are far more females than males in our population. Like it or not, you may be united with one of the girls from this school. Oh. <laughs> Female sacred mecha masters can fall in love with and marry anyone they want except for a male sacred mecha master, as long as they fulfill their duties. But male sacred mecha masters don't get the same luxury because they're so rare. I don't care what you say, I'm not a horse. You don't care what I say? I don't know how stuff goes down where you're from, but this is how we do things here. Well, yeah, but... Have you already forgotten? You attempted to assassinate the Empress Lashara Kenshi. Now in your world, murder might not even be considered a crime. But in this one, not a single soul would have flinched if we had put you to death immediately. You're right, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yes, you are. Now stop forgetting how much you owe us. <laughs> huh? And calm down. You're just a kid, so it's not like anyone's gonna marry you off tomorrow. Plus, there's still a chance we may find a way to send you back. And do me a favor and try to keep that whole you being from another world thing under wraps. Yeah, sure thing. Uh but if I don't go back before long, does that mean I might end up marrying you? If I ever hear you say that again, you're going to seriously regret that it. sounds good to me. Looks as though you two are having a good time ignoring us. There you are! I need you to stand as a witness for me, Kiaya! As a witness? So, why do you have to stand as a witness? To see who the winner of the duel is and make sure the competitors are playing according to the rules. What duel? The challenger is most likely trying to get Empress Lashar's attention by defeating Lahanli. I'm sure those girls are Ronin and looking for more. Ronin means they don't serve anyone yet, doesn't it? It does. The church supplies the mechas to them, but each country is only allowed to have possession of so many. So then, duels are like a way for them to get a job? Yeah, pretty much. In Wilhelm's case, I bet they figure she's a weak sacred mecha master, since she mainly deals with the mechanoids as a mechanic. This is so insulting. Huh? They are questioning our ability to assess others. Since we hired Wuhan Lee, they are challenging us by challenging her. And that makes them exceedingly stupid. Oh, I see what you mean. What's that armor? Oh, that's called... That's called moving armor. Mazaya? I'm a teacher in the Holy Land, sister. Whatever, why are you here? A lot of students like to target newcomers for duels this time of year. We're on patrol. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I dress in the Holy Land. You like? Yeah, you look cool. Thank you, I'm glad you're a fan. Me too. Uh, Miss <laughs> Mazaya? Should you be leaning on me like that? Kenshi, will you do me a little favor and call me Big Sis instead? Uh, Big Sis, please. Okay, Big Sis. Mazaya. Oh. Look over there a sec. Those things are what we use for sacred mechanoid training exercises. That plate emits Aho, which allows them to maneuver the armor. And they can only move when they're on that plate? Exactly. Hey, look. It's Miss Mazaya and Mr. Ulaita. Isn't that boy next to Miss Mazaya and Prince Lashara's attendant? I like the idea of her being with Mr. Ulaita, but that's super sweet, too. It seems Kinchi and Mazaya are quite a popular couple. Miss Mazaya, the students are watching you. Or they're just waiting for the duel to start. Is everyone ready? Begin! You're so transparent. Why is it crapping out on me? Look, Kinchi, the spot where she just got hit that's changing colors. You see? The moving armor uses dummies, but it still calculates the damage you take and will limit your movements. Hey, Big Sis Messiah, do both of the girls get to have the same performance capabilities? Hmm. Well, they're supposed to. You mean they might not? Most people can't tell the settings are being controlled. I'm very impressed. Well, considering their maneuverability, Hanley's movements are awkward. 
No, she's been cornered already. You're mine now. This is bad. There is a limit to aerial maneuverability as well, just like with Ina's draft. She's done. I'm sure she's gonna be fine. She's probably just planning her next move. You lose! How can you still move? Isn't that, like, way obvious? You only damaged one arm. So, you still don't have a weapon, do you? What are you doing? The winner is... Wahan Li Shimei! Your girl won. That's only natural, considering who she works for. <laughs> Get me out of here! It kind of looks like a mini castle. Does everyone at this school live in places like this? Not at all. Actually, most students live in dorms. Royalty like the Empress gets special treatment. <laughs> That's where the sacred garb she'll wear at the ceremony is kept. Tis not to be touched casually. Kiai and Wahan have our permission to use the study for trying on and storing their garb. Yes, very well, Empress. Dame Kiai, if you would like to follow me to the study, we can get one last fitting in before the ceremony. Okay, I just have to take care of something real quick. <laughs> this room is where you'll be staying. You're still recovering, so you'll want to sit around here and rest until lunch is ready. Oh, look at this. I'm all better. Trust me. Ugh. I honestly don't care. Just stay put and don't wander around. Uh-huh. Uh I'll see you later, Kenshi. Okay. Ah. <sighs> This should definitely taste good. Look at the fish, too. This forest has so many things to eat in it. I could live out here if I wanted to. Typical kid. Violence is not the answer! Stop! Mm -hmm. huh? Hora! <laughs> Thank you. For what you did the other day, I mean. I'm glad you're doing well. Princess, do you know him? Yes. He's an attendant for Empress Lashara. What is he doing here? Princess, this forest is under Shurafon jurisdiction. It is forbidden for any to enter without permission, let alone use it as some hunting ground. What? It is? I didn't know that. I'm so sorry. As Empress Lashara's attendant, it's your duty to a know. A moment. Uh, Kenshi is originally from the Highlands and only a recent addition to the Empress's service. I'm really sorry. But I am curious as to why you came here. Please don't tell me they aren't feeding you properly. No, I'm fine. This is just kind of like a custom of sorts. I guess you could call it a hobby. A hobby? Huh. <laughs> You found a lot for your first time in the forest. I'm impressed. I didn't take too much, did I? You're fine. This is a big forest, and you have my full permission to use but it from Princess now on. Princess Aura! I can tell by the way he hunted, this one would not ravage our forest. Oh, thanks. I really appreciate it. Uh, no, it can't be. <clears throat> is this mushroom what I think it is? This is definitely it. Oh, I can't believe my eyes. I've never seen one of these in person before. This is amazing. I've only had the chance to drink some soup that had the tiniest little sliver in it when I was celebrating entering the fourth forest. It's beautiful. Stop crying immediately! Look, Kenji, I realize my attendants might appear to be overreacting, but this mushroom... So I'm assuming it must be rare. Yes. We only serve them at special events. They're even limited at royal court dinners. Ah. Then you all should have it. Truly? We can't. It's worth a fortune. 
You found it, so you should have it. Please, please, Princess. Please, Princess Aura. <laughs> <laughs> Mushroom. I'm terribly Mushroom. sorry, but for us, that mushroom is not the sort of thing money can buy. Thank you so much for giving it to us. Oh, it's okay. I mean, I sort of owe you. You did save my life. I was simply glad I could help. Is it really that great? I always thought a mushroom was just a mushroom. Well, this mushroom is pretty special. We've actually used them in exchange for a male sacred mecha master's sperm before. <laughs> Stud horses, right? Stud horses? <laughs> Great! They fit perfectly. You both will look amazing. Thank you, Empress. I I've got to head back to the workshop, so promise you won't let anything happen to my fancy garb, okay? Why don't you take a break and have lunch with us instead? After the ceremony, I'd kind of like to start out my sacredness with a clean workshop. Oh, I don't mind helping you out with that. Fine. But you should get Kenchi to carry around all the heavy stuff. <laughs> a stud horse? How funny. I can actually hear the Empress saying that. But... Doesn't the whole idea of getting married to someone you've never even met before bother you at all? Right to the point, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. With marriage in general, I understand and agree why it is necessary. What, you do? I do. We all need food, clothing, and shelter to survive. To sustain those needs, we must have institutions that form communities, nations, and the sacred mecha masters are the primary deterrent powers and line of defense used to uphold each nation. Yeah, I get that, but why does marriage have to be such a big deal? The mechanoids are indispensable weapons that can wield unimaginable power in the Ina Ocean. But their numbers are limited by the church. If you aren't allowed to make more, you must improve their quality. How so? One could learn various piloting skills through training. But endurance is something you must be born with. Oh. And, in all actuality, sacred mechanoids are cheap weapons. Far more so than by using a bevy of weapons and people to defend a country. That's why we sacred mecha masters are so important. Huh. <laughs> that idiot! Yulaita, is that you? Huh? Hey, can she? Oh no, what's wrong? How are you feeling? Well, I'm embarrassed to admit I'm starting to feel somewhat ill. I'm a bit tizzy. Tizzy? Drink this. I boiled up a few healing herbs for you. It's Washu's re... It's a family recipe. Huh. This looks rather interesting. It looks gross, but it works. I see. Might as well try. Huh. Go figure. It's surprisingly good. You like to know? I'm sorry. I was trying to help, but I think I made you Does worse. Does it look like you're helping? I know. I'm sorry. Please, it's okay. There's no reason to get so upset with the boy. I'm guessing the concoction he made was a little strong and put my body into shock. I'm fine. There was no harm done. Just get out. We don't normally allow lowly servants in here, so go. Right, I'm sorry. Incidentally, how are things coming along? Oh, I'm in the process of setting the sensors. Then I take it we will still be able to proceed according to the plan, Uncle? Yes, nephew, you have my word. Well, in that case, try not to push yourself too hard. Oh, yeah? Are you worried about me? It would be rather inconvenient to have you collapsing, especially now. <laughs> yes, I imagine so. Hello. We've met before. Your name is Yukine, isn't it? Yes. Uh... Uh... Huh? You look sad, are you? But you did it out of kindness. That was your intent, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't worry. I'm sure she understands. Yeah, you're right. So are those for Princess Maria? After all, there's a decent chance you might get to marry her someday, can't you? <laughs> What's the matter? It 
Just... I know this is gonna sound weird. But Yukine is a sacred mecha master. Are you okay with... You know... Like having a child with some guy you've never met before? It seems so strange to me. Oh, never mind. You don't really have to answer that. I'm sorry. It was on my mind, that's all. It's okay. If doing that decreased the number of wars we have, I would be up for it. Seriously? The same goes for the Holy Land. We get to meet girls from so many different countries. If we all become friends and start working to stop wars, eventually... There wouldn't be any more war. The school even let the two of us become friends. <laughs> there you oh, are! Crap, it's Kiaya! Did I or did I not tell you to stay put? <laughs> tell me this jerk didn't do anything rude. That's good to know. Well, we've got to go, so see ya. I swear, Kenji, you're take care. Your child, you know that? Goodbye. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. The second I take my eyes off you, you do exactly what I told you not to. What's your problem? I'm sorry. Oh, hey. Be careful, that's the last batch, so don't drop it. Thanks for the help, you guys. I can't really ask people to work with me on this classified stuff. No. That goes there, this over there, this here, that over there, that and that one, this one wherever, this one's just for show, and that one goes here too. You two are the best! Now I can come back from the ceremony with a brand new start! Isn't this the one that was broken? Can you not, like, fix it? It's way too badly damaged for me to repair it with the equipment they have here. We'll have to return it to the church so they can take care of it. Hmm. Uh, what's that? <laughs> It's a funny story. Hey, Wuhan. What was that robot I saw earlier? Awesome, Kinshi! You know about robots? You really were raised in the Highlands. Uh, I think all boys know about robots. Well, this particular robot's called a mecha worker. It actually runs off steam instead of Aho. I don't get why you go to the trouble of making dangerous stuff like that when you have an Aho barrier reactor. I like it. Thank you. I'm normally used to everyone treating barrier workshops workers like weirdos. Hmm. But that one is cooler. I mean, it actually looks like a robot. Really? You think so? Mm-hmm. Yeah, plus I don't like how the Aho energy makes me feel sick. And just about anyone can ride inside of your mecha worker, can't they? Of course! So how does that not make sacred mecha masters pointless? Say what? Over here. Huh? Oh, I get it. Yeah, I know the sacred mecha masters ways seem really strange to people from the highlands. I totally understand where you're coming from. But if you tried to make a high-performance mecha worker meant for battle, you'd still need an Aho barrier reactor to power it. So it's basically the same thing in the long run. We need a very capable mecha master regardless. Makes sense, but why make a mecha worker to start out with? I've been used to using them in the highlands for basic labor. They pretty much do the same thing here. I think you should abandon that place and just live in Ina instead. Yeah, not likely. In the Highlands, they call Ina the treacherous ocean. It's forbidden to even go there. And that applies to Aho energy, too. According to our elder, doing either one could bring massive calamity. Calamity? That's just an old story. True enough. But there is still something that bothers me about it. According to the Barrier Workshop's historians, none of the countries in Ina Ocean have a history that predates a specific period. That's not all, though. You know what's even crazier? All of those countries can be traced directly back to the church. So what? So, it's weird, right? For an institution to be that widespread at one point in time is not natural. It's like they... What? Uh, uh, <gasps> Maziah? You're all having lunch without me. Why? You've broken my heart, and now you're having fun talking about something behind my You're back. not. It wasn't like that. I swear. Good, then I'll join. <laughs> See, I told you she'd be here. You should be eating with us, man. Can you please? I need advice. No, I'm sorry. I promised my friends a while back we'd have lunch. But they just got in today, and we all made plans a few weeks in advance. You're supposed to be having lunch with us. Fine. Okay, I'm coming. I'll let you each have a turn with me. Is that better? <laughs> I guess I'll see you later. Bye. Talk about a typhoon. Big Sis Messiah sure is popular with the ladies, isn't she? In more ways than one. You seem to be feeling better today. Huh? Don't tell me it's that time already. 
Yes, I'm doing very well. That herbal concoction of Kenshi's must have been effective after all. And the investigation? How's that going? Just as we suspected, it seems to be hiding behind a barrier. But when I was setting the sensor, it happened to pick up another strange reaction. So it was like before, then? Hmm. Do you think it's hostile? I believe that child could be... Someone's coming. Oh, hello, Kenshi. Hello. I just wanted to see how you were feeling. You know, about that... I'm actually feeling better than I have in a really long while. Seriously? It's true. Normally, I like to take a nap around this time of day, but as you can see, I don't need to. Uh, great, then I'll be sure to make you some more. But maybe this time I'll dilute it a bit first. Thanks. It's appreciated. Now, how are you adjusting to life in the Holy Land? If you need any help or advice, my door is always open to you, okay? <sighs> so, it's regarding sacred mecha masters. Yeah. Well, I can see how people from the Highlands or other areas might find it dubious. But still, no matter how strange the whole thing seems to you, in our world, it is perfectly normal to do. So it really is normal. At least on this world. Does it honestly bother you that much? Oh. Do me a favor and try to keep that whole you being from another world thing under wraps. No. Uh... Your reaction is hardly normal, and I bet I can guess why. Uh... Come on, you can tell me, Kenji. Well, I'm from the Highlands, so I know nothing, but don't mind me. Could it be? I knew it. You have a crush on someone, don't you? Huh? And she's a sacred mecha master at that. <laughs> oh, yes, that does make more sense. Even if you do understand that she would only be fulfilling one of her duties. As a man, it can be very perplexing, right? <gasps> I certainly understand how you want to be the only guy in this girl's world, but you just need to be a man and deal with it for her sake. She has a much greater calling, and you need to support her. So, tell me all the details. Who has caught your eye, Kenshi? No, no one has caught my eye, I promise. Considering the sacred Mecha Masters you've met, it must be Dame Kiaya. No, wait. It could be Princess Aura uh, or the Empress I gotta herself. go! Bye! Come back to me for more advice if you need any. You're such a bully. I couldn't help myself. We said no! We do not want to go inside this vulgar monstrosity! It must a joke. My apologies, Empress, but your aunt was so insistent I simply could not refuse her. Right. Big surprise she had something to do with this gaudy thing. Now we really won't bathe in it. Miss, please, the big ceremony is tomorrow. Oh, it is? Sorry, I know you have to get ready for tomorrow, too. Consider it payback for helping me move stuff earlier. Besides, I doubt I'd be able to relax in that gaudy bath. <laughs> I know, right? Hmm? This the one? It got damaged in that fight. We did a temporary fix, but the warm water isn't making it to the large bath at all now. <clears throat> Problem's probably in here. I had a feeling. One of the control rings is broken. Anything I can do to help? No, I'm good. This'll just take me a second. They fixed it! Good job, Wahan. Hey, Empress Lashara gave us permission to use the large bath. I'm going if you want to come with me. No way! I've always wanted to take a bath there. Let's go then. Uh, wait, can she? Not again. This is amazing! Wow! Who knew I'd be able to find some of these here? How many times do I have to tell you not to wander <gasps> around? <gasps> <gasps> Much better. This is what we are talking about when we want a bath. <laughs> Kenji? What are you doing in there? Kenji! Hey! You need to pull yourself together! Maya! You're heavy! Get off of us now! Empress Ashara, are you all right? <laughs> what is the meaning of this? What in the world did you think you were doing? Do not be angry. They did not do it on purpose. It was just an accident. This is unacceptable. We cannot afford for someone to have seen you with him and started rumors you were not pure. Then that is all the more reason not to shout about it. Do you not agree? <laughs> yes, I suppose you do have a point. Try to be more careful from now on. We, we will. We're sorry.
Can she? The girls look beautiful, do they not? Are they wearing what came in yesterday? Yes, that is the Academy's most formal garb. What? That's formal? Now then, we should probably head on over to the Colosseum. Please, follow us. I commence the ceremony to knight our sacred Mecha Masters. The Ayaflan of the Strayu Empire, come forward! Here! Congratulations. Thank you very much. Is it me, or does she look like she got crowned with cat ears at a beauty pageant? What is with this world? <laughs> Maybe I should have thought... Must be huge. This is a pretty impressive pile of food I've got for myself here. Now I just need to preserve all of it. According to the report, Lord Babaloon has been appointed Prime Minister of the Supreme Parliament, as you predicted. <laughs> so Babaloon finally has unquestioned power over Strayu, meaning that little assassination incident may actually not have been his doing after all. That would have been quite foolhardy before his new appointment. This wouldn't be happening if the belated king were still alive. Babaloon is attempting to seize Strayu through his own natural resources, we wish to obtain our country with our two hands, rather than merely inherit it from our parents. 
Are you not afraid you're placing too much faith in one boy, Empress? <laughs> Work in the dorms? Correct. You are still our attendant to some extent, make no mistake. However, we cannot pay you out of our national budget. Hey, no offense, Empress Lashara. But are you broke? Not in the least! <laughs> if we paid you through the national budget, we would be forced to expose your true identity! Is that what you want? Basically, if you want to eat, you're gonna have to work. I mm. think that's reasonable, though, don't you? Yeah, but if this is just about food, I don't need money. I can find stuff in the forest. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess that's true. You could. Do not encourage him, Kiaya! Listen, Kenshi! Do you think you're some sort of wild animal because we don't recall owning any pets? But I don't understand why I need money here. I don't get the point. Then tell us what you would do if you finally found a way back home. But it was only available to you at a price. I don't know. On top of that bit of reason, the dorms house high-ranking students from several countries. Would it not be in your best interest to get to know those students? Because you might want information or have to ask one of them for a favor. Think about it, Kenshi. Good point. Well, yeah, okay. I'll do it. Good. We have already spoken with the Academy on your behalf. Now you must speak with them in order to learn more about your new job. Pardon the intrusion, Empress, but I'm afraid it's time. Very well. Bye! Take yeah, care, Empress. It is about time for you to head out as well. Sure. Do you know where you'll be going, my dear? I'll be fine. See you later! <laughs> This is just like home, but with, like, way more girls. Hey, Kenshi! Hi! Oh, him again! Isn't that Empress Lashara's attendant? Huh? <laughs> Meow? <laughs> oh, no! He ran away again! Doesn't he look like a Koro? He's so cute! Try not to scare him off, all right, ladies? Miss Mazaya, you seem like you're pretty close to him. Is that true, are you? <laughs> Curious. Well, too bad. I only answer questions about school. Toodles! Wow, that was kind of weird. Having that many girls all grouped together in one place is a little intimidating. It's open. Excuse me. Wait. You're the principal. I thought this was the dormitory director's room. In this academy, we all have more than one job. So yes, this is also the dormitory director's room. Oh, I think we're going to start you off with a few different jobs to see where your talents lie. Sound good? Sure. That's excellent. Now you won't be paid on a fixed rate. Instead, you'll receive points based on how much work you finish. Regardless of the hours you put in working, you will actually be compensated for how many points you earn. So if I do a lot of tough jobs in a short amount of time, I'll be able to earn more money? Yes, precisely. That's awesome. <laughs> the dorms are split into four sections. The independent dorms, where high nobles and royalty like Empress Lashara live. The boys' dorms, the upper-class dorms, and the underclass dorms. But it's important to note the independent as well as the boys' dorms have their own equerries and personal staff, while the underclassmen all take care of themselves, for the most part. So it won't come as a surprise that you will primarily work in the upperclassmen's dormitory. The upperclassmen don't have to work? What's that all about? Upperclassmen have been officially knighted as sacred mecha masters. They've earned the right to have their own attendants. But the Holy Land is meant for training. Aside from royalty and high nobles, students are not allowed to bring their own attendants. All the upperclassmen are upper-class girls, though, isn't that right? Should I be working in their dorms? You're all right. As long as you don't pass the aptitude test, we'll make sure to keep you out of places where you have to worry about things like that. Oh, good. I was kind of worried. <laughs> but if something should happen, you are required to report it immediately. A few girls might try to drag you into their lair, and they have a way of ignoring your efforts to avoid it. Oh. Hannah! I would like you to meet Kenshi. 
What am I supposed to do with him? Seriously, he's just a kid. You're hardly in a position to be picky, my friend. Yeah, you got me there. Then I will leave him in your hands. Work hard, Kenshi. Right. Wow, this is like a factory. I didn't even know all this stuff was down here. The Holy Land is full of privileged royalty as well as sacred mecha masters. So anything unsightly is hidden under the ground. We're like feet hidden by swans. Okay, but doesn't the energy needed to move all this stuff around give people aho sickness? The power is generated deep underground and carried through cables, so there's really nothing to worry about. Try to learn fast and on your feet. We may be understaffed, but that won't stop me from firing you. Okay, but why are you understaffed to begin with? Doesn't the Academy cater to the super rich? Do you just not have enough money to pay a full staff? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that's one way to interpret it. The problem comes from the graduates taking their favorite staff members with them. Oh, really? Yeah, we're used to it happening every year. But this past one was ridiculously bad. Honestly, it's infuriating. We spend time and money perfecting our staff only to have them leave us. They're bribed away, of course. <sighs> is this part not underground, too? It is. This is our supply dock. It also serves as a parking lot for students' personal ships. Why is it so bright, though? It's almost like we're standing outside. Eh, a lot of ships have their own gardens. Some even have a couple of house attendants on them. Even though it's underground, we have the lights on the same cycle as the outside. Jazzy? Huh? I told you about Kinshi here yesterday. I'd really appreciate it if you'd show him the ropes. Hmm. Huh. Seriously? I already said exactly what <coughs> you're thinking. But you'd hire a Goro, so give him a shot. Huh. Yeah, whatever. This is important. You're gonna want to make sure to give it a clean corner, like this, okay? You got that? Yes, ma'am. Why don't you try doing the bed in the next room? Nice. Yeah, you're pretty good at that. Well, moving on. Dirty laundry. You pick it up in this, leave the door to the hallway open so the room can air out, and that's it. The beds are all the same, but the extra bedspreads and blankets belong to them, so you want to make sure to put them in the right bag. And no matter what, you're only allowed in the bedroom. Seriously. And no touching anything or breaking anything. You got it? Got it. Okay, then I'll just leave this floor to you. I'll come back and help you as soon as I finish doing my floor. <sighs> Boy. Hey, Jazzy. Uh, what are you doing here? Did you screw up already? No, I'm all done, so I came to help you. No way you're done. No way. I'm not even halfway through yet. You better not have done a crappy job. <laughs> Um, I can redo them for you if I did them wrong. No, you did good. Finally, I got a good one. Everyone's in total awe. Hey now, why did you all stop working? You better get on top of it so this newbie doesn't show you up. Anyway, I'm 100% sure they're supposed to be identical. I guess we'll just have to be careful and match up all the pieces. Oh. started working at the dorms. Wow, that traveled fast. Yeah, a friend of mine on the staff told me all about it. He also said Kenshi's pretty popular. Huh? 
And people have been saying that Kenshi is Miss Messiah's newest little plaything. Is that true? Do you know? Good grief. No, of course it's not true. I can't believe you're even asking me that. Well, besides her, he's also popular in Bruce Lashar's newest attendant. And he has a habit of running around the Holy Land looking super cute like a sexy little Koro. So he's kind of asking for it. Uh? Hey, Princess Aura, where are you off to? I think classes have already started. You aren't feeling sick today, are you? I'm all right. I just always head out this time of day. I suppose you could think of it as a kind of custom. <laughs> I do apologize if I worried you. But tell me, Kenji, what is it that brings you out here today? Oh, I just started working for the Holy Land. You're working? I thought you were acting as the Empress's attendant, though. She wanted me to take advantage of being here in the Holy Land and try to meet some new people. I see. Then you have impeccable timing. I was just about to fetch a member of the staff to assist me with something. Did the wind blow it over the edge? Bullies did. Bullies, huh? Students from many countries gather here. Some are sacred Mecha Master candidates, and some aren't. The reasons vary from differences in rank to customs. It's out of the draft right now, so we can't use an aircraft. Honestly, I'm shocked they threw it down there. Please don't worry about it. It's gone now. Thank you, though, Princess Aura. But that handkerchief is precious. Didn't you tell me that your mother gave it to you? We'll get it back. We just need to find a little rope first. Kenji, you can be in charge of the rope. <gasps> Kenji! <laughs> got a little dirty. One second, I'll wash it for you. No, that's okay. I think I can manage it myself. Kenji, that was very dangerous. Not really. The vine was pretty strong, and there were enough spots for me to hold on to, so I was perfectly safe. Trust me. You were not at all safe. Either way, I really appreciate it. Thank you, Kenji. You too, princess. I'm very glad you got your handkerchief back, Lapis. Are you ready? We should head back to class now. Yeah, I've got to run too. Boy, he's always in such a rush. Man, Kenshi sure did surprise me. And this is just his first day. We'll have to see if any bad habits show. No way! That kid has got this line of work down. In fact, he's got a weird gift for it or something. With a little training, he could become one of our best. Well, I sincerely doubt he's good enough to replace all the people we lost this past year. Although, that isn't to say we won't take him, of course. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Your piddling little staff hardly requires that much skill, and you know it. You take the next new you one. You always get preferential treatment when it comes to new workers. Now, now. Whether we like it or not, we're going to have to work together to make ends meet until we get some new staff in here. In the meantime, Mr. Masaki will help all departments. Remember, the poor child only has one body. You must coordinate with each other to make sure you don't overwork him. I think he'll be fine. Mm -hmm. The underclassmen service should be here soon. Get a move on! We have a lot of delivery orders today, but that doesn't mean you can get sloppy. Treat each order with love and care. Uh, excuse me? Am I doing this right, sir? Oh! Your presentation has a very unique style, Mr. Masaki. Who did you study under, son? I've just always helped my sister. Oh, what is that? Those are sliced bamboo leaves. <laughs> I've heard only royal chefs use this kind of technique. Yes, it's very impressive. Now I need you to go ahead and deliver two servings of this yourself. But I'm not done in the kitchen. Well, apparently you were asked for specifically. I was? Hello? I'm here with a delivery from the kitchen? Excuse me, ladies. Your lunch has arrived. Come in. Sorry to intrude. Oh, Princess Aura. Hi. Thank you for bringing our food to us, Kenshi. So, this is the boy you were talking about. Here, let me introduce you. This is the current Pope's granddaughter, the Honorable Lady Livia Pochino. 
I'm Kenshi Masaki. So nice to meet you, Kenshi. To be honest, you look absolutely nothing like what I expected you to. Instead, you're more like a wild dog. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. I'm sure. Lithia, remember your manners. Kenshi is not a wild dog. If that boy is anything, he is a proud wolf. Still doesn't change the fact that he's a wild animal. Shame on you. I am sorry. I know she can be somewhat harsh at times. She is straightforward, that's for sure. I suppose. Now, if you ladies will excuse me. It was nice meeting you, Kenshi. I guess I'll see you later. He provided a service to us, Lithia. The least you could have done was to thank him, you know. Oh, please. I was merely stating an opinion. Huh? Oh. Found him! You're Empress Lashara's attendant, aren't you? Yeah. Then I would love to talk to you about something. Yeah, but I've got a question for you first. Tell me about Empress Lashara! Uh, hey. Why don't we go to a more private place to talk? No, don't try hogging him, Pool. Yeah, that's cheating! He should be able to talk to whoever he wants to, which is me! Oh, so Kenji is doing well? That is good to know. Yeah, and the male workers won't stop raving about him. I hear those stupid rumors about him and my sister all over the place. Well, at least everyone's getting a little excited. Yeah! What the heck was that? <laughs> I knew this would happen. Nice. He's grown rather popular. That's wonderful. Wait! Wait up! That's Empress Lashara's attendant! We should go after him, too! Over here! He's so we fast! Let's get away! He went over there! Let's surround him, everyone! We've got to get that boy! We're doing great! Honestly, could they make more noise? What in the world is going on? A ton of upperclassmen have decided to chase Kenshi around for some reason. Well, then, they certainly have bizarre taste. And supposedly they want to use him to get close to Miss Messiah or the Empress. That's hilarious. I guess we should go. I might feel bad about myself if he ended up becoming some idiot's plaything and I could have helped. Yes, but Miss... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I knew he was a wild beast! Um, Lady Lithia? <laughs> no one can get anywhere close to him. The girls are dropping like flies. Did they just chase him into the forest? They did. I'll let Shurifan's guards know immediately. Yes, please do. <laughs> Lithia, what is going on here? They chased the wild beast into the forest, accidentally overexerted themselves, and needed some help. Since you were busy with an extended lecture, I couldn't interrupt you, so I'm afraid I had to ask your subordinates for assistance. Very well. Wait, where is Kenshi now? Uh, is he still somewhere in the forest? Oh, maybe? All right, I shall join the search team. Uh, Kenshi! Oh, hi, Princess. Lady Lithia. Those two were the last of the ones out there. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. Now, if you ladies will excuse me, I have more work. And Princess Aura, I'll see you tomorrow. You did a great job. Hold on. He was on the search team as well? Oh, yeah. I'm back! Don't check all that dirt in here. Pay attention, Kenshi! <gasps> I'm sorry! Very impressive. He works even harder than we expected. To what do we owe the pleasure of your company? Come now, I'm your sister, not a teacher. Now say, ah. Oh. <laughs> Kenchi, how has work been treating you this past month? All is well? All's great. Everyone is really nice. I've heard. Oh. You're pretty popular with the other workers. They say you're one of the best. Perfect. That is wonderful news. Oh, 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 oh that hurts. Ears are for hearing. And that a 
other thing? How is it proceeding? I've already obtained approval. The main issue was Kinshi's work ethic, but no one's worried about that now. We see. <sighs> so, I take it you approve. Considering how these new recruits are working out, how could I not? It's settled. They're all going to be tickled pink, I'm sure. Now I need to know. This will in no way interfere with your work, will it, Hannah? Not at all. Thanks to him, we were able to handle a lot of repairs and odd jobs we needed to do. We should be fine sharing them on shifts until more workers come in. In that case, I'll let you be the one to draft a detailed shift plan. Have Kenshi Masaki come to my office, please. <laughs> Tell me, you must have been raised in a family of very hard workers, Mr. Masaki. Not only did they teach you the importance of cleaning, but they also gave you rather specialized skills, like construction. Well, my father did work in construction, and my sisters were really good at demolishing. Is that so? One of my sisters is amazing at cleaning, so I watched her work a lot. And I have another sister who might just be the worst cleaner in history. So I guess getting to see both of those extremes helped me learn. <laughs> I imagine so. At this time, I would like to assign you some different work, if you think you're up to it. Sure. Sis Mazaya? Who said you could call me that? Kenshi Masaki. I'm Miss Mazaya, baby boy. Baby boy? I've heard some cultures from other worlds have their teachers dress in costumes and refer to their students as babies. Where did she hear that from? Do you object to it? No, no objection for me at all. So what kind of job is it? A significant number of upperclassmen have submitted requests for you to become their personal estheticians, baby boy. Esto what? Someone who helps them wash up before getting into a bath. Huh? To put it simply, Baby Boy will be washing the sacred Mecha Master's hair and body. Oh no, I forgot I have to go. Oh. This is a very exclusive job, Baby Boy. Yeah, I bet it is. He accepts! Uh. What? I accept? Kenshi, it is quite the honor for them to ask you. You cannot refuse them. That would be rude. It's too embarrassing. I couldn't. You accept. Uh, you should. It's very sacred work. But I've never done anything like that before. Well, we all have to start out somewhere, don't we? And besides, Kenji, for them to have requested you specifically means that the sacred mecha masters are starting to take more of an interest in you. And try not to forget, connections like these could increase your chances of going home, so maybe take advantage of this opportunity. I understand your point, but... There's no need to worry. I can give you thorough instructions since this is your first time, baby boy. Uh, wait, fix this Messiah, please! It's Miss Messiah, remember? Uh, Are you implying I'm not good enough for you, baby boy? No, I am not. I see. In that case, I think it's imperative I teach you every single thing there is to know about me. That way you can make a much better informed decision. But I never said you were good enough, I swear! I didn't even think <laughs> it! <laughs> you ready? you to a land of ecstasy, baby boy. <sighs> Does she seem far more excited about this than she should be? Apparently, he's popular with all the older girls. Men, yes. The Holy Land is significantly lacking in men, especially fun ones. Plus, there are a whole lot of people who would like something to connect them to you. <laughs> well, we don't care about the reason. We're just happy they're all so interested in him. <laughs> We feel as though we should stop them. No, he's just being a baby. She's only teaching him how to bathe someone. <gasps> Wake up, Kenshi! Get a grip, you loser! Come on! Oh, Messiah, could you tell me why Kenshi looks like he's about to die? On the other hand, you yourself seem very lustrous. I know, right? It felt so amazing, too. What in the world did you do to him? He was just such a quick learner. I couldn't help but get carried away. So good! Please tell us you did not teach him anything that could prove to be problematic later. Kenji is still underage, you know. Oh, no. There's no need to worry, Empress. I made sure to teach him just when to stop. He'll be perfect, I swear. Meaning? I told him. Now, Kenshi, don't ever take it this far when you are working. You didn't. Something tells us we should probably stop asking questions. For shame! At this point, Messiah, is it safe for us to say that Kenji's bathing lesson is over? It is. Although, I could only teach him the basics. Oh, great. What does that mean? He's still lacking actual experience. 
We need more guinea pigs, or rather, more subjects for him to practice what he's learned on. Don't you dare! Why do your eyes look like that? No! Bad Kenji! Nothing you say can stop him now. He's trained to immediately obey any order I give him. He's essentially a massaging machine, and you're his next victim. We see. You input your orders while his mind was trying to escape reality, so he's basically in what they call berserker mode, right? Exactly. He won't listen to anything but what I tell him. Why would you do something so idiotic? Kenji, you need to focus and pull yourself together! a massage machine. We could make a fortune with his touch. Yeah. Then I think we should probably spread the word by letting him practice on some of the other girls we know. Baro, Yukine. It's important, baby girl. What do you need me for? It's important, baby girl. It's important, baby girl. You are forbidden to use Kenshi Masaki, Miss Lashara! Why? Everyone enjoyed him so much they couldn't even move afterwards. That's exactly the problem, my dear. Are you sure you should be up, Yukine? Does that look erotic, or is it just me? It's not just you. Princess, are you all right in there? Princess! Princess! Oh, would you please stop that begging? what he did to me. I told them he was wild. Stupid jerks. I'll teach them. I'm gonna test my new weapon on him. People have issued complaints and are reporting after effects. Some are even making strange requests to undergo the experience before their marriage ceremonies. This is unacceptable, especially for an empress. So we got a little carried away. Who cares? This guarantees there will be a flock of applicants when we make the big announcement. Very nice. You all did well. Now, fill it with warm water and welcome the sacred Mecha Masters inside. Um, I thought I was done after the tubs were full. Unfortunately, two of our best estheticians hurt their backs after carrying your massage victims to their rooms. I imagine you would rather call them your test subjects, but still, we're a bit short on staff now. And besides, the Sacred Mecha Masters have started fanatically requesting your services. I'd prefer not to do this, but I received permission for you to wash only their backs. <laughs> They're on their way. <coughs> now let's get going. It's time to greet them. Hey, it's Kenshi! Wait, Kenji's here? Really? Does this mean you're going to wash your backs? Because that would be so awesome. I guess so. Yeah! yeah! 
Sorry, I didn't hurt you, did I? No. You feel like a cobra walking up and down my naked back. <sighs> hey, Akenshi. Could you wash me here, too? I'm sorry, no. I mean, you can reach those yourself. I want you to do there it. There are other people waiting, so why don't you try using a little self-control for once, Yellis? That's right! Can she? I'm next! Right after that! But I was in line after her. Uh, I clearly had a foot. <laughs> I'm not done with him yet! So, Cliff Cleese, what do you think? Do you think I'm being too ideological? I don't. Reality will never change if one does not have ideals. I offer you my full support, Dagmar Mess. Thank you, my friend. <sighs> I'm so tired. Hey, Kenshi. Oh, hi, Mr. Ulita. Heard you've been busy. That must be fun for you, touching all those cute girls. Mm. It's a tough job, but you know what they say, don't you, about how some unlucky soul has to be the one to do it? There's just so many of them. I don't really have time to enjoy myself. <laughs> I'm sure you will eventually. I'm not. I don't think I can keep up with all those girls. We are in the Holy Land, so those sentiments are understandable. Don't you think it's a little weird, though? <laughs> it probably feels that way to you, but remember, you're from the Highlands. You do have to keep in mind it's something we're accustomed to around here. Yeah, I guess you're right. In fact, there is one theory that someone from another world came here and deliberately spread a few of our customs across the land. Those from other worlds always make for superb sacred mecha masters. There's never been an exception. So, naturally, they attain high ranks and become influential. But it wouldn't surprise me if some of their interests got forced onto us. I see. So they, like, did whatever they wanted? Yes, they, like, did whatever they wanted. Oh, when I was washing the sacred mecha masters' backs, I noticed this, uh, sort of emblem-like thing near their waists. Right, that's a contraceptive shield. All the girls have them. They have a duty to fulfill, so precautions are taken. Oh, I get it. Which means, if a girl you like makes a move on you, feel free to go for it, kid. Huh? Is it just me, or do those two look perfect together? Yeah, absolutely amazing. <laughs> Kenshi! Kenshi! Oh, my wow! What's wrong, Miss Sister Big... Big... Miss... Messiah Sister? No questions, just drop everything and run away with me. Did she just say what I thought she said? Yes, she did. She really did. They're really gonna do it. They're, They're gonna, gonna loop. Please know I'd be happy to suffer through anything as long as I could still be with you. Yeah! Would I be right in assuming that this has to do with that? Oh. <laughs> <gasps> I found him! You're not getting away this time! I swear upon my pride, you will pay for humiliating me! You and that wild beast will pay for what you've done! And you'll both stand as witnesses while Lashara carves up a fortune in compensation to us! No, please don't. Why? You should be compensated. No, I don't like it when it gets rough. Yes, I understand perfectly. Kenshi Masaki, take responsibility for getting rough with Yukimi and defiling her! <gasps> no blood. Spill, that was please. blood? Oh, say it isn't so, Yukine. Oh, what a monster! Kenji, it would seem I made a grave mistake that day I saved you. I shall correct the error. No blood, please. We understand, Yukine. You're not alone. I'm right here. Stop. Well, I, for one, don't really care! You're freaking heavy, so why don't you get off me so I can annihilate these perverts with my fancy new weapon? Where are they? Wahan, over there! <gasps> I'm willing to die as long as I'm with you. I don't think this is the time to be joking like that. I'm sure you must be relieved that Master Cliff agreed with you, sir. Now you are another step closer to your goal. Master Cliff is a smart man. I was very confident he would understand my point of view. What is that? What are you doing? 
Well, that was uncalled for. I do apologize, sir. Were you injured? No, not at all. I'm all right. More importantly, isn't that the mecha worker Wahanli has been working on recently? Supposedly, it doesn't use an Aho reactor. Impressive maneuverability. Really? Who do they think is going to fix all the damage they're causing? Aren't you worried the Academy will make you be the one to pay for all the stuff that's getting obliterated back there? I don't see why they would, baby boy. I'm just sitting here. But just in case, let's run into the forest so they can't destroy anything else. Why do you keep calling me baby boy? Because I like doing it. How can he still move like that while carrying Miss Messiah? He's a beast, that's how. <laughs> If they go into the forest, then I can really let this baby rip! Goodness, they are not joking around, are they? Nor am I, Miss Lashara. <laughs> Believe you me. Yes, we can agree that no one is joking right now. Have everyone involved come to my office once this ridiculous fight is over. Naturally, that includes you. Understood. I have no intention of lecturing you on normal ethics, so let me be as blunt as possible. No one standing before me right now should come to school tomorrow. Uh, are we suspended? Not quite. As you are well aware, the Academy is extremely understaffed, so we're going to put all of you to work. You will be responsible for repairing every facility you destroy today. <gasps> None of you will return to school until those repairs are done. I don't understand. We aren't exactly trained in construction. A few new workers will arrive tomorrow afternoon. Kenshi Masaki, you will instruct them on how to fix the damages until then. Can you do that? Uh, yes, ma'am. Absolutely. You can count on me. <sighs> what an exhausting day. What the? Huh? Oh. Kenshi, it's about time we headed back to the dorm. How long are you planning to stay in here? What do you think you're doing, you idiot? Pardon me, sir. I hate to intrude, but I just received word that the packages are in transit. Understood. Is everything all right, sir? Are you concerned about that machine we saw earlier? The Aho reactor, if it really doesn't need one, then it could be used for battle outside the draft without using a cable, which means it would be rather useful in seizing the castle. That's true. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm excited to work with you all. If you could just follow my instructions to get the repairs all done, that'd be great. <laughs> How dare a lowly attendant tell us what to do? It can't be helped. We are less than amateurs when it comes to this type of work. Let's just do whatever he tells us. Yes, someone kill me. Reconstruction is fun. I bet I can get some sweet data out of all this stuff. We have to admit we're rather jealous a certain country bumpkin is so accustomed to such work. We have personally never had to lift anything heavier than a teacup. Surprising. One would figure by now your greed would have forced you to grab any bag of money, no matter the weight. Excuse us? I will not. <laughs> I'm starting to think this might go faster if I just did it myself. Wow. We've got a lot of options this time. Yeah, we got an odd last-minute flood of applicants from out of nowhere. They seem fairly capable, too, so I'm sure more than one will be a nice contribution. I hope so. I do hate putting them all to work so soon. But could you try to send about 10 more experienced construction workers over to me first? I wish I could let them rest, but I just don't have a choice. That's fine. They came here to work, so we might as well let them. Can we get 10 here?
finished by the end of the day. I can't believe how much we have accomplished. We've accomplished? Pardon me, but I think only those who actually work should talk like that. They insisted we leave because we were in the way. Tis not our fault. Yes, knowing when to gracefully retire is the most important job of all. With all due respect, laziness is not something to brag about. You are in no position to criticize. You were so invaluable they gave you the earth-shaking task of setting the table. Apparently, the ever-so-competent student council president is not all she's cracked up to be. I'd say it's hardly my fault I have a gift for table decor. Day's work. It doesn't get much better than this. <laughs> oh, come now. You don't really believe you did work today, do you? We suppose we could ask you the same thing. <laughs> There's nothing more relaxing than a big bathtub, though. <sighs> All things considered, I'm still amazed at how quickly we got done. Well, personally, this incident has taught me to have a newfound respect for how hard all the staff must work to maintain the dorms. It was an excellent experience. I'm happy I was finally able to shed most of the useless data off my mecha worker. Hmm? Lithia, what is the matter? You seem like you are rather upset. Dame Kiyaya and Dame Yukine! It's rude to isolate yourself. Join us at once. I find your lack of modesty exasperating. The wild beast that caused such a catastrophe the other day is right there. How can you sit out in the open with your whole body exposed? Please, he's harmless. You need to relax. Besides, he's been working here for several days now and is earning a good reputation. That's right. Kinshi's a hard worker, and his technique is totally flawless. I shouldn't have to remind you that we're here to have a meeting about the completion of the repairs. We do not need someone to bathe us, so do us all a favor and tell that wild animal to leave at once. I agree. Dressed the way we are, even allowing him to innocently wash our backs could be a risky proposition. <laughs> You're right about that. Can she? Sorry, but we don't need help bathing anymore. That's okay by me. If it's cool, I'll be going now. Wait. <gasps> Considering this meeting involves you directly, it's probably a good idea if you stick around. Come on now, why don't you take off those constricting clothes and strip down? Uh, I can't. This is the girl's bath. Oh, please, stop worrying and get comfortable. We give you our permission, can she? The rest of us don't mind either. After working with him on several projects, I admit, I admire his skill. I cannot believe the words I'm hearing right now. Now that I think of it, we owe Kinshi big time for those massages. Huh? Excellent point. In that case, I would like to officially retract my previous objections. Great! So shall we give it a go? Okay! <laughs> Since that's out of the way, we can get the meeting started. Well, we received word from the principal. Starting first thing tomorrow, school will resume. And that's all. Are you kidding me? I put up with all this just to hear that crap? Next time, just tell me instead of stripping my clothes off like a bunch of lunatics. Yes, to make it up, you could take my clothes off. Too bad for you, I'm only wearing this one layer. <sighs> I can't win, can I? <laughs> oh, this is so relaxing. I'm glad I thought of it. Oh, shut up. Oh. Oh. You've got scrapes and bruises all over your hands. What gives? How in the world did that happen to you? Oh, well, I got banged up when I was cleaning all the rubble. Don't worry, though. I'm okay. Oh, my. You're hurt. Yeah. I'll be all right. What exactly are you looking at, pervert? So the swan is covered with holes. What about all the Koros who live around here? Maybe they're the ones responsible. No, the holes are far too big for that. Are they occurring with more frequency? 
All we can say for sure is that there were no indications of any traps. As far as we know, the appearance of these holes is nothing but random coincidence, though it's hard to imagine why this would happen. Uh, well, who knows? Perhaps someone is searching for something. Uh. It might be best to consult with the Holy Land security. Hey, wait just a second! What's wrong? You have an objection to bringing this matter to the authorities? We don't need security to trap one measly Koro. And that would mean... Quite the cautious one, aren't you? We need to be extra careful so he doesn't spot us. Otherwise, we won't be able to catch him in the act. Oh. That little... The rat even used camouflage! That moron! I guess it was a Koro after all. <laughs> Someone's a big fan of stones, aren't they? It's not a stone, it's a crystal. That isn't the point, you imbecile. Tell us right now why you're filling a swan with holes. If we hadn't intervened, you could have compromised its external strength. No way! I made sure that every hole I made was blocked to keep the swan safe. Just keep your mouth shut, Captain Koro. Huh? It's so pretty. This is the first time we've seen a raw gemstone. Just be honest, there must be some reason you're so obsessed with them. Why don't you tell us what this is about? Well, back when I was a little kid, my big sister had a spaceship made out of crystal, and she used to take off in it from my brother's house, and I'd watch it lift up out of the pond. It was really cool. I'll never forget how the crystal sparkled when the sun set. Mm. You're right. It's a beautiful thing at which to look. Uh Wait a second. Did you just say your big sister's spaceship? Let us get this straight. You're saying you actually have a sibling who owns a craft that can fly in space? Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Empress Lashara, what is it? Kenchi, tell us, is it really normal for other beings where you come from to have their own personal spaceships? No, don't be ridiculous. Of course it's not normal. Besides, our ships are just oversized rockets. They're really not that big of a deal. Oh! <gasps> the world does my family have a spaceship? What exactly are you getting at? According to reports from those who have explored the galaxy, even the most sophisticated civilizations with the most advanced sciences can barely send their own to nearby moons, much less travel freely through space. Ships like that simply do not exist. Hold on, I still don't get it. Are you saying Kenshi must have come from the future? Sometimes children's memories can mix up dreams with reality. Are you absolutely positive this story you told us happened? Yeah, I'm sure of it. I even remember riding inside of it a couple times. And that never struck you as curious or odd until just a moment ago? What about everyone else? How did they react to it? Well, obviously I didn't tell anybody about it. My sis, she made me promise her I'd always keep it a secret. Oh. Scientist, damn her! Is that how she kept it a secret from everyone? By hypnotizing you? That could also explain why you succumb so easily to Messiah's hypnosis. <laughs> At any rate, it seems you come from a very complex family life as well. Uh, that's all beside the point. <sighs> and let's not forget about the crystal. You even had the nerve to make yourself a pendant. I did not. My sister gave that to me as a gift. It's part of her ship. Uh, oh, no. Uh, my fault. I did not mean for that to happen. <laughs> hey, come on. It's not worth crying over. Don't worry about it. I promise I'll fix it. Are you sure? You're pretty much the clumsiest person that I've ever met. <laughs> Relax, I'll find someone who's able to take care of the repairs. <laughs> oh, would you quit crying? If the story he just told us is true, then perhaps he wasn't summoned here after all. Could he actually be from the future? Hmm. 
Unfortunately, I'm afraid there's nothing I can do for you at this point. In order to fix this, you will need to send it home and enlist the aid of one of Empress Lashara's jewelers. Well, that's too bad. If the matter is pressing, you could talk to a jeweler in the Holy Land. I suppose it's possible they would be able to assist you. So how does it look? Hmm. I'm sorry, but this is beyond me. There was a guy who specialized in this kind of stuff, but he retired last year. Well, that's too bad. Sorry I couldn't help you, miss. What should I do? It's hard to say. Your only shred of hope would be to ask a jeweler who serves a sacred mecha master. Where am I supposed to find a jeweler who serves a sacred mecha master? I might as well just give up now. Kaya, hello there. Is everything all right? You seem frustrated today. Of course. Well, how does it look? I've never seen workmanship this intricate in my whole life. At this point, I'm not even certain what it's made out of. Unfortunately, fixing it is going to take some time. Hmm. I can't exactly say I'm surprised. I've often heard the Highlands use different techniques than we do. But whatever the case, I'll give it my best shot. This is indeed one incredibly unique crystal. Dame Kiaya, the only sensible solution is for someone from Kimchi's homeland to fix it. Yeah, that might be my only option. If you need something in a hurry, maybe replacing it's a better option. Why don't you fashion him a braided cord? Like from Havonawa? Yes, why not? The cords from our country hold different meaning depending on their style, color, and design. The most common way they're used, though, is a charm to tell someone how you feel. I can't think of a better way to convey your remorse over breaking his chain. Yeah, but I wouldn't even know how to begin making something like that. And besides, I'm too clumsy. No reason to fret over not knowing how. We'll teach you. Isn't that right, Yukine? Yes. I can't. <sighs> hmm. All right, fine. I'll do everything I can. Uh, Mr. Yulaita? Is something wrong? <laughs> Regarding the packages you inquired about? They have all arrived, sir. I'm much more concerned with the status of the other arrangements. Right. I will handle it, sir. Kenji! <laughs> Somebody's in a good mood today. Good luck with all your work. Thanks! See you later! Oh, what an eyesore. He went to bed like a good boy. Uh. Oh, wow, that was perfect. Who knew there was another entrance nearby? It doesn't get any luckier than that, does it? Are you? Wow, <laughs> oh, you're a woman. Hey, wait! That lady was just a decoy. I gotcha. There are ruffians out in the street tonight. I know. I'm chasing someone. Did they just run by here? Yes, they went that way. Thank you very much. Wait, what are you doing? He's an animal, that one. Well, did you get it? Uh, yes, here it is, sir. Good. Uh, <coughs> Found her! the decoy there's no point going back now in that case tell me are you from another world hmm? why do you ask that i'm not uh, i'm from the highlands but... <laughs> come back he's chasing me i can't believe it Thank you. 
What gift? Well, well. What are you doing out at this hour? I could ask you the same thing. I received word a burglar was out, and look who I find. So then are you the culprit? No way. I was chasing the burglar, and then... <laughs> oh, just calm down. I was taking a bath. This is the girl's dorm, you know. Yeah, well, guys happen to work here, too. It was an emergency. There was no time for clothes. Come on, the robber might be hiding somewhere nearby. Kenshi, don't be so shy. Why don't we take a bath together later? Dagmire really retrieved that? Yes. He seemed acutely proud of himself. Nawa's pupil, huh? Certainly seems like the work of a Highlander, wouldn't you agree? If they were practical, they could be extremely useful when we seize castles outside of the draft. Unfortunately, though, they're not practical. I'm amazed he created such a stir over something like this. He is your heir, after all, and if you take that into consideration, it makes sense he might want to use it one day. Even if he will need it, there are other ways to go about these things. Make sure he fully understands that. He's still very young, my lord. But as a male sacred mecha master, he's extremely talented. <laughs> Ridiculous child. He wants to succeed my lordship more than anything, but he cares nothing for cultivating his talents. That's very true, especially since Lashara is just about ready to give up on us. Oh well, such is the way of our world, I'm afraid. That's very disconcerting. Are you positive nothing was stolen? Yep. They definitely rummaged through my research data, but everything is accounted for, so it doesn't look like it. Luckily, none of it was highly classified information, so we are in good shape. Wonderful. Given the circumstances, I think it's definitely best we handle the investigation for breaking and entering. Any issues with that? That will be fine. Hmm? Sorry, I'm totally running late. Oh, that's perfectly fine. I admit, I'm curious as to why Lashara isn't more concerned about potential threats. Well, obviously, it was a huge mistake to leave it so vulnerable in the Academy's locked barrier. To tell you the truth, I had no idea someone would be interested in something like that. I'd be very interested in something like that. <laughs> but Princess Maria, nothing of any consequence was stolen, so really there's no reason to be concerned. Don't worry. Tell me then, could you make the mecha worker fit for practical use? Thanks to Empress Lashara, I got some in-combat data. I think I can drastically increase its operational efficiency. But if you wanted it to fight wired sacred mechanoids outside the draft, you're gonna run into issues with its power as well as duration of operability. We are currently seeking out a sacred mecha master who has the skill to create quality compressed bullets. One of this year's new students would be preferable. That's a good idea, since they get tails once they become upperclassmen. You know, like Yaya and Aura both did. Don't forget, you did too. <laughs> to be honest, I'd prefer if you'd leave me out of this. The maneuverability would suffer, but I'm thinking about making a mecha worker that co-functions as a charger. Oh boy, those two sacred mechanoids are like beyond incredible. I wish I had some like that. <laughs> You are referring to the sacred mechanoids that attacked Empress Lashara? Right. Honestly, I have doubts about what they really were. I'm not convinced they were sacred mechanoids. Well, of course they were. What kind of sacred mecha master could have done that to you? I, for one, have never seen anything like it. I bet she's a monster. Twice the size of a normal woman and twice as strong, too. She may very well be. I wonder why someone would want to break into the vault. It's impossible for us to say. These things just happen sometimes. While we're on the subject, want to tell me what you were doing by the girls' dorm last night? Uh, uh, walking. By the way, Kiaya, what's going on with my pendant? Did you fix it yet? Hey, I'm doing the best I can! Why don't you just take it easy? Uh, I told you I would fix it, you jerk! <laughs> You seem to be feeling better since you started taking Kenshi's medicine. To tell you the truth, I still can't believe it. He truly is a mysterious boy. Little by little, a ring of supporters has started to form around him. But if we are to stand on equal terms with him, that won't be enough. You are correct. In that case, maybe it's time I put him somewhere out in the open where he'll stand out even more.
Keep up the good work, Kenshi. Yeah, you're doing great. Thanks. Thank you for coming, Empress. I have some questions for you regarding Master Masaki. Wait, this is about Kenshi? That's correct. I heard a rumor that has me quite concerned. Supposedly, the boy has not completed his compulsory education. Although I am very aware the Highlands have completely different educational standards, since he resides in the Holy Land, I cannot allow this to slide. Of course not. We've given this exact issue some serious thought ourselves. I see. One more thing. I understand that in order for him to take care of himself, you're to pay him for the work he's doing. Perhaps then you can explain to me why he has yet to receive any of the funds paid to him thus far. <laughs> He told us, don't worry, I'm fine. They've been feeding me and for everything else I can fend for myself in the forest. You can imagine my surprise when he laughed the whole thing off without a hint of resentment. We can picture it now. <laughs> <laughs> so, all joking aside, for the record, do you care to explain to me why your attendant is forced to pay for his own food? The thing about that is... We know he's saving for tuition, because after all, he can't go to school while he's in the Holy Land. I see. In that case, why doesn't he just enroll here? What? Wait, but this is a... True. Aside from sacred Mecha Master candidates, only royalty and nobility may enroll. But we do make exceptions if the church approves. All of the instructors who have seen him work at the dorms have offered recommendations. I doubt there would be any objection should he try to enroll. <sighs> And as for the tuition, we'll allow him to pay for it after he graduates. Uh, Although, considering the amount of work he's willing to do, he could enroll and work off his tuition in the dorms within one year. But, but he's not smart enough to go to this school. Actually, we just gave him a test to gauge his abilities. The results indicate he'll perform well above average. Uh, when did you do that? His knowledge of history leaves something to be desired, and he lacks basic reasoning skills. Of course, that is to be expected, being from the Highlands. Well then, do you give permission? Mm. Yes, very well. Yeah, but do you think it's smart to throw him into the academy like this? We don't know, but all the instructors gave him glowing recommendations. <sighs> it's the source of the rumors I'm worried about. Yes, and we can already guess what many of the rumors will be. As long as no one discovers he's a sacred Mecha Master, everything should be fine. <coughs> All you ever do is cause the rest of us problems. Do you realize that? Yeah, but I just... At the Academy, there'll be even more opportunities to talk to individuals from other countries. So you'll have to be extra careful. Got it? Got it. Perfect. Listen. I can't help but think the timing of this whole ordeal is a bit suspicious. Now I simply have to hope that nothing happens until everyone accepts Kenshi as mine. Could you please relax? We forgot to ask you, what class are you in? Let's see. I'm in beginner's class, too. That's Maria's class. No, there must be some mistake. Look, your little thing for Yukine, it doesn't mean you get to let Maria win you over, okay? You're forbidden to talk to her. Only ignore her. If she does attempt to engage you in conversation, just walk away. We did not say you could go! We are not done speaking with you! Come back here! There he is. That's him, right? Huh. I wasn't expecting him to look so normal. Wanna know what I heard from some of the upperclassmen? You, you can't, can't be kidding! kidding. That's, That's crazy. crazy! I just don't think enrolling him is a good idea. Have you considered this moron might do something really stupid and damage your reputation? Come now, you can't actually think we're concerned with such trifles as that. Fine. Your call. Pardon me, Empress. Kenshi, I hope it's all right, but I've been ordered to give you a tour of the school. Remember me? I'm Lapis. A tour? Why, yes, of course. Uh, wait, aren't you... <laughs> well then, let's get going. You ready? Are we seeing things, or does he know her? It sure seems that way to me. Come on, Kiaya, we are going to follow them. What? Like right now? Yes, we can't let him run free after all. <sighs> I think it's sweet you remember me. Thank you for that. Yeah. Have you had any more, you know, problems with, um, uh... Oh, that happens all the time here. But no need to worry, I'm okay now. 
Well, they seem pretty close, don't they? Yes. He is surprisingly quick with the ladies. So see that building right up ahead? That's for the upperclassmen. But the courtyard just across the way? The underclassmen get to use that area. Oh, cool. Hey, aren't you two underclassmen? You don't have any business being here. This area's off limits. Uh, uh, yes, I know that. Sorry, I was assigned to give our new student a tour. Oh, Kenchi, it's you! Good morning. Oh, if we'd known you were friends with Kenchi, then we wouldn't have bothered you. Welcome. I'm really excited to see the rumors about you coming to school here are true. I'm looking forward to it. Hi. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Excellent sneaking, no one saw us creep in. Wait a second, isn't that Empress Ashar up there? Yeah, but this is where you're supposed to pretend you don't see anything. The upperclassmen were so nice. I'm surprised they were friendly. I was expecting them to be upset with us. And why is that? Well, for one thing, the upperclassmen have all been knighted as sacred mecha masters. That puts them in a different social standing than the underclassmen. Although, I guess that doesn't really apply to male underclassmen, since they're already sacred mecha masters. Oh. That goes for you too, Kenshi. Uh, for me? Yeah, but I'm not a sacred mecha master. Well, then you're absolutely the exception to the rule. The attitude of the upperclassmen says it all. You're very special. Uh, you sure? Kiaya doesn't think that. She says I'm no better than a Koro. A Koro? <laughs> Well, she may be kind of right. You're as cute as a Koro, I can see that much. <laughs> Going by this, there shouldn't be any problems. No way, this is where all the problems begin. Are you sure classes are gonna start soon? We are not going. Blah. Shame on uh, you, uh, Empress. Miss, we can explain. I heard there was a suspicious duo lurking about, and look who I found. As his master, we were simply making sure he did not do anything weird. Yes, and as your teacher, I'm simply making sure you don't do anything weird, understand? What are you doing? Let us go! Let us go right now! You'll pay for doing this to us! Hey, did you hear all the scary upperclassmen? They're nice to him. They treat him like he's royalty or something. A couple of the upperclassmen I know have been excited about him coming here for days. Quiet down, everyone. We have a brand new student who'll be joining our class today. His name is Kenshi Masaki. Hi, everybody. I'm glad to be here. Now, I hate to disappoint you, but the test is still on. Those who need to prepare, go ahead and move out. And Kenshi, you can just stay put. You'll be studying in here with all the other boys. Right. <laughs> now then. Hold on. Listen up. After your teacher announces you to the class, give male students, royalty, and high nobility a personal introduction. It's a pleasure to study with you, Princess. Oh, the pleasure's all mine, Kinchi. I look forward to this year. Unfortunately, it's past time I headed out to prepare. Let's meet up again very soon. I'm Kenshi Masaki. It is a pleasure to meet you guys. So, you're Empress Lashara's attendant. Lucky for you. <laughs> Let's see, where was my desk again? Kenshi. Huh? He's one big jerk. My name's Ceres Taito. How are you? It's a pleasure to meet you, noble lord. Hey, knock it off. Boys here don't address each other with fancy titles like that, and you don't have to either, so relax. Oh, yeah. Try not to let those jerks get to you, okay? That's just how they are. They all suck. So where is everybody headed off to? The teacher mentioned a test? This academy has special classes for wife training, such as tea ceremonies, flower arranging, and various types of dancing. Oh, man. I got bad news. I'm not equipped for that type of thing. <laughs> no, no. All we have to do is watch. What do you mean? 
I mean, we get to sit back and judge. Having taste in the arts is part of our job as male sacred mecha masters. Right. Oh, man, this is crazy. You're pretty much the clumsiest person I've ever met. Oh, forget about him. I can do this. What are you working on uh, so fervently? Oh, hello, Dagmire. Well, that is unusual. Quite a project. Uh, no, there's a reason I'm doing this. It's Kenshi's. I had to. Kenshi? You'd go to such trouble for a mere attendant? Oh, well, it's just this is a special thing. <laughs> um, I don't mean that Kenshi is special or anything, but... Dagmire. <laughs> Sorry, but he would like to borrow you for a minute. I see. Well, goodbye for now. Okay. Since this is your first time, Kenshi, don't fret over what score you give. Okay. Yes, I agree. He's working out better than expected. Tell me, what do you think of this new crop of students? They're about the same as they are every other year. Well, except for Kenshi Masaki, that is. Honestly, I was quite surprised. The kid may be brand new, but his marks are as good as ours. That's quite impressive for his first day. Indeed. His numbers are by far the most accurate we have ever seen. But still, I don't think it's wise to ignore the possibility this is nothing but a simple anomaly. He did just arrive here, so time will be the judge. Take as much time as you like. In my humble opinion, he is our top male student. Mm. Trust me, Principal. You can look forward to great things from him. Now, Kenshi... Since this is your first day with us, I'd like to get a sense of your skill level. Sure thing, Miss Bazaya. Oh, how very intriguing. Is something going on over here? Is that? It looks like he's managed to snake his way in here. He truly is a wild creature. That's just what I thought. I'm ready whenever you are. All you have to do is block my attacks, understand? swordsmanship under someone my grandpa is he a skilled martial arts master no way he's just an old man who lives in the country very well then i want you to observe the rest of the class okay excuse me since our class is still at the beginner's level could he start studying with us oh don't you worry i'll give him a private lesson later on <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised a low-class guy like him knows anything at all about fighting. This one thinks he's something special. I think it's time we give him a lesson in humility. Ceres, come over here. <laughs> Pardon me, Miss Messiah. I'm curious to know why you're not letting Kenshi participate in class. Because he uses a rather unusual style. It's clear he's a master at it. A master? But how? Oh, I have no idea. But if I actually fought him, I'd lose. Is he really that skilled? The gap of ability between him and the others is immense. It wouldn't be safe to let him spar with any of them. I understand. You're doing the right thing for the safety of the children. Right. <laughs> Miss, come quick! <laughs> Since Miss Mazaya gave up on instructing you, we've decided as your classmates to do the right thing and teach you a lesson you'll never forget. Huh? Although, I should probably warn you, our teaching style's a bit aggressive. Uh, oh, is that right? Let me see. Well, you're pretty good at running away, aren't you? Hey! You really think you can dodge all our strikes? Huh? Kenji, no! Don't interfere yet. Let's see how he handles this. Don't 
get in my way. Sorry about that, but I've had it. I can't go on. Yeah, me neither. You guys are so pathetic. I don't know about you, but I feel pretty warmed up. What do you want to do next? What? I suppose it's about time I put a stop to this. <sighs> Kenji Masaki. Who do you think he really is? According to reports, a bandit was behind the recent attack against Empress Lashala. The White Sacred Mechanoid. He's the pilot. An interesting theory. I'll admit that would certainly make the most sense. But how could there be a male sacred mecha master who we've never even heard of or seen before? The only other possible explanation doesn't fit time-wise. Uh, you've taken a liking to him, haven't you? I have. Should we steal him, then? Yes. He is too special to waste on Empress Lashara, don't you agree? <laughs> Yukine, come over here. What do you think they're gonna have on today's menu? Let's just hurry. They hate it when lunch time. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> hey, Kenshi, wait up! That guy. I just don't get how he's so full of energy. Be quiet. I'm trying to rest my brain here. Sorry! I'm late. Relax, Kenji. Didn't you start school today? Don't worry, you don't have to help at lunch anymore. Huh? I guess I came out of habit. But I'll help out since I'm here. Hey, you're all right. Thanks a lot, kid. Next, we're cooking for the underclassmen. Hey, kid, quit working and get back to your school day right away. Yeah, okay. Let me help you. Oh, no, it's okay. You really don't have to do that. But I always do stuff like this. Hey, Yukine, are you taking lunch to Princess Maria? bringing it to the classroom. That's where she said she wanted to eat today. Then how about we go together? Sure. Look at them. I bet they've got something going on. Have you heard any good gossip about it, Lapis? Not really. Kenshi is Empress Lashara's assistant. It makes sense he and Yukine would get to know each other. Hey, Ceres. Can I eat lunch with you today? Oh. Yes, of course. Please. Can she? Huh? You care to join us for lunch? I'd love to. But sorry, I asked Ceres. Perfect. Then Ceres will dine as well. <laughs> no, I, I couldn't. I, I'm just, uh... Of course, I see. Well, since everybody is here, why don't we all dine together today? Huh? After we graduate, we'll each have our own unique stations in life. But right now, we all study in the same classroom. So while we're in the Holy Land, let's ignore the social barriers that will ultimately oppress us. Yeah, you are so right. Yeah. So tell me, how was your first day at school? Oh, I had a really awesome time. Kenji. Huh? I'm sorry, really. About what? Earlier today, I was so scared of them. I froze up. I'm sorry. I'm just glad you were around to explain everything to me. Kenshi! <laughs> A little bird told us you got rather friendly with Maria at lunch today. Huh? Wait, what do you mean? You're our attendant and nothing will change that. Do we make ourselves perfectly clear? Stupid. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Here, for you. Whoa! You won't be able to repair the chain properly until you return to your homeland. In the meantime, you can use that. It's a very pretty cord. Thanks. I love it. 
I'm impressed you were able to fix it. Yeah, you and me both. Lucky! Ah, a red cord. I see. Is red bad? No, it's a supposed tradition from another world. Between partners, red cords are an expression of love, a symbol of two bodies forever intertwined. <laughs> oh my. Love is in the air. Kenshi, give that back right now. How come? Don't argue with me about this. I'll just give you a different one. Just give it back. Yeah, but I really like this Too one. Too bad. Hand over the cord, you little freak. Come on, can I keep it? That is my favorite color. I don't care what your favorite color is. Oh, goodness oh, gracious. No way. Tell me, how did our wild beast do? Good. He will definitely meet the criteria. Well, well. Wasn't Princess Maria just here? Where did she go? She's at a student council meeting. But class is about to start. Yeah, I know, but the student council takes priority over everything. No way! Any final comments on this matter? Apparently not. All who object, raise your hand. In that case, the vote is unanimous and the motion has passed. <laughs> the student council? Yes, we are a member. Tis managed by royalty like us and other high nobles. The remaining members have all been voted into office by the council. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. It does. During the meeting today, we actually discussed placing you on the council. You what? Please tell me you're kidding, Empress. There is no way that this thing is smart enough for that. <laughs> no, that's funny, though. It would be more for odd jobs. We have big events coming up. <sighs> this was your idea, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Either way, the motion passed with a unanimous vote. Mm -hmm. So odd jobs? Will I just be doing, like, more of the same stuff I do at the dorm? Idiot! <gasps> do not compare our work with simple house cleaning! Just think, where are we? Royalty, nobility, and sacred mecha masters come here. Tis a small-scale model of the world. The student council is the Holy Land's most powerful organization. Even if it is for odd jobs, carefully consider what it means for you to be voted into this elite group. Yeah, I get it. Since I'm technically yours, some of those guys might feel like they owe us, which could be helpful later. <laughs> yes, you really do get it. <laughs> I think the Empress is starting to rub off on you, and I don't like it. <laughs> that life sucks. However, there is no need for you to do anything to help Maria. Huh? We get the distinct impression that trashy princess is up to no good. Oh. So be sure to watch out for her. Okay. 
I'm surprised she offered to lend him out in the first place. I don't think she realizes how terrifying that particular job can be. Although, this could be a huge opportunity for us, indeed. I have brought Kenshi Masaki, miss. Thank you, Lapis. You may go wait outside now. Yes, miss. Are we the only ones in here? If I could have your attention, wild beast. I'm sorry. Why do you keep calling me that? My name isn't actually wild beast. But it is what you are, isn't it? You have absolutely no idea what you put me through. So, what did you need me for, anyway? Did Empress Lashara not tell you? She said I'd have to do odd jobs, but... Yeah, that's pretty much all she told me. One moment, please. Okay. First things first, you are now required to swear an oath. You shall never repeat to others what you see or hear in this room henceforth. Do you swear it? I swear. Fantastic. At the moment, we don't have any specific work we need for you to do, but you must still report to this room every day after school. No problem. Also, although we've no work for you now, bear in mind being on the council should be considered your number one priority. Uh, okay. Congratulations on your acceptance to the student council, Kenshi. Yeah, thank you. But I think I'm just gonna be a handyman. Um... Huh? I hope you don't get the wrong idea about Lady Lithia. She definitely comes off as harsh, but she's not like... you know... She's just the super serious type, right? <laughs> oh, don't worry. I have a sister who's exactly like her. <laughs> I'm glad you understand. You heard about it, right? Kenshi Masaki was asked to appear before the student council. Are you serious? How come? I don't know any of the details. But it is Kenshi. Do you think that maybe... Well, it's definitely a possibility. Look, it's Lapis. Oh, hey there, Lapis. Do you by chance know what the student council wanted with Kenshi? Um, they only asked me to be his guide, so I wouldn't have a clue what all that was about. I wish I did, though. I'm really sorry. Well, that figures. But if anyone would know, it'd be Princess Maria. Well, yeah, but we couldn't ask her about that, could we? Could we? Maybe we should just go and ask Kenshi. Excuse me, ladies. What do you think you're doing? You're supposed to be warming up. Okay. Yes, ma'am. What's this? Did the student council release you already? Yeah. So, um, what are you doing, Mr. Ulita? I am sunbathing. Sunbathing, really? I am, and it looks as though the suns are coming out now. Suns? They are truly blinding. All right, begin. Why in the world did the girls dress like that? Oh, you'll see in just a second. Looks like we've got another year of well-endowed students. Why would they willingly wear those? Supposedly, it's a tradition from another world. I find it to be terrifically fascinating. Guys who came here really did do pretty much anything they wanted. Something the matter? No, not really. It's just that I was surprised to see you still out here, that's all. <laughs> I simply enjoy the fresh vibrancy of youth. It doesn't matter to me whether it's male or female. Okay. Speaking of which, where are all the guys right now anyway? That way? Oh. The boys at this school don't even lift a finger, do they? 
On their behalf, it's not as if they won't work. They're just not allowed to. Besides, we don't want them getting hurt. They are valuable. I see. Now then, Kenshi. What's going on with the student council? What could they possibly want with you? I guess they just needed to have a handyman. <laughs> so, I take it they admitted you with a vote? Yeah, that's right. <gasps> you mean it's really true? How amazing. Oh, uh, yeah, but I'm just a handyman. That's still pretty cool. Way to go, Kenshi. <laughs> that's funny and fascinating. I heard they have more royals and nobles this year than usual. Is that true, too? Do you know? They even have Princess Aura. She's so talented. Don't forget Princess Maria from our class. Oh, and Lady Lithia is on it as well. Even Sir Dagmire serves on the council. You know, Kenshi, if you ever need any help, you can ask me. I'm actually pretty handy. Okay. Would you leave him alone? You know she's just trying to use you to get in good with the council. Oh, like you wouldn't do the same thing. What is that supposed to mean? Mm. I wonder if this is the job she was talking about. That is enough, ladies. <gasps> A little help, please, Mr. Ulita. Quit smiling and start chastising. Oh. oh, right. Sorry. I couldn't shout over all the fuss they were making. Are you ever anything but nonchalant? <laughs> That Mr. Ulita can be rather devious at times. At the very least, he's a fan of spreading rumors. Have you heard about Kenshi yet? Yeah, of course I did. Everybody has by now, right? It is so crazy that he joined the student council. How are these rumors getting everywhere so fast? It's kind of a big deal, so I guess that does make sense. Stay focused. We need to catch Kenshi before one of those other hussies beats us to it. Kenshi! Come on, let's go after him, too. Okay. okay. Catch you. Sir Dagmire, I found a few more gentlemen who would like the opportunity to fight for you. Much appreciated. I am counting on you. Thank you, sir. Will you lend me your strength as well? Um... I know you've got ideals. I've just never thought about things like that. So if you'll excuse me. Would you like me to go bring him back, sir? No, no one should be forced to participate. Oh. I have no need for someone who won't oppose reality. Oh, he got away again. Chasing him around like this is getting us nowhere. Can't breathe. He's just too fast for us to catch. We need to come up with a better plan, then. <sighs> You're being disorderly, wild beast. Enter huh? this room quietly. Sorry. I was just trying to keep out of those girls' reach. <gasps> Lady Lithia? What's wrong? Are you feeling sick? Paperwork makes me a little sleepy, that's all. Okay. It seems like you're being chased around a lot these days. Although I'm sure you must be used to it by now. You are a wild beast. <laughs> hey, how come nobody else is here? Oh, they only come when we hold meetings. I just work from here because I like this room. So I'm guessing my actual job is to let those girls chase me. My, my. Look who's surprisingly clever. We have a few members, secret executive members, who handle various tasks. But if their identities were revealed, they would face what you are now dealing with. And being that the majority of them are ladies, they could get challenged to duels out of spite. Oh. Every year we employ a few people to act as decoys, but it's not an easy job. I suppose we could hire professionals to act as students, but they'd have to deal with malicious bullying too. Even though I know it's inevitable, it still pains me to put them through that. But it's okay if it's just me? The boys at this school are special, remember? So don't worry, no one's gonna try and hurt you. At the most, they'll chase you around a bit. Try to bribe or seduce you, maybe. Well, thanks a lot for the warning, I guess. It just goes to show how prestigious your status on the student council is. But aren't there other guys that could do it? The male sacred mecha masters won't do anything, and we can't force them to either. In contrast, you may not be a sacred mecha master, but you are fast. So I don't have to worry about you getting easily injured. And as much as it pains me to admit it, you do work hard. <sighs> Oh, and one more thing. Student council proceedings take precedence over everything. The teachers cannot help you, so don't waste your time asking. Are you serious about this, Yalis? 
Do we want Kenshi for ourselves or do we not? Listen up. We're gonna have to catch him soon so we can talk some sense into him. And it will be a whole lot easier to deal with anyone who approaches him after we catch him. Yeah, I think you guys are right. You know what's kind of funny? I can't remember ever working together with anyone here on a single goal, much less all of you. Yeah, that's true. You know, once we graduate, we'll have to spend time fulfilling our duties to our individual countries. And I'm kind of okay with that. But I guess we might as well have fun working together until then, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Let's do it! We shall hereby commence Operation Catch the Kenshi! Let's communicate with each of our teams and work with each other to catch Kenshi using our own two hands! Yeah! They are clearly enthusiastic. A little too enthusiastic, if you ask me. Well, we are sure he will manage somehow. and go as far as you can with him, if at all possible. If we're to steal him, we must be aggressive. Use this, Kenshi. He's getting away! Go around! How did you do that? Why don't you stop for the day? I can't do that. Then I want you to take some medicine, at least. I had my own pharmacist prepare something. No, thank you, but maybe later. I will never understand your hatred for medicine. Kenshi. Hey, are you okay, Lady Lithia? I'm just tired. There's no need for a wild beast to worry about me. She can't help herself. She has a tendency to push things way too hard. Yes, she does. And she has a frail body to start out with. Oh, I get it. I used to be kind of frail back when I was a little kid. Huh? <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I always had pretty good stamina and stuff. The others were just so good is all. <laughs> I don't have time to listen to any of your silly stories, wild beast. So if you don't need something from me, please leave this room immediately. You realize you're going to collapse if you keep this up, Lithia. A baptism would resolve the situation if they would allow it. Baptism? <sighs> Honestly, you can be so stubborn. Lady Lithia, why don't you have a cup of tea before you get back to work? I would love to have some tea, Lapis. Oh, good. Lapis. What is it? I'd like to help. Sorry to keep you waiting. Appreciated. Yes, thank you. Oh, wow. How unusual. I like it, though. The flavor is so refreshing. Would you like to have another cup, miss? Yes, please. Princess Aura, what is a baptism? Oh, yes. There's a curative type of aho used to heal our bodies from virtually anything. During the baptism ceremony, a healer as well as the one who is being healed form a pact with the goddess. It's considered a holy sacrament. Ah. The Holy Land is special. It was the original place where we could commune with her. The main gate at the Academy's entrance is said to have been built in her name. The main gate? Doesn't really look like a goddess, though, does it? <laughs> we don't even know her name, let alone how she may or may not look. Princess Ara? Can she? Oh. That's awesome. It totally worked. You brewed this tea, didn't you, Kenshi? Take this. Have Lady Lithia drink some of it whenever she gets hungry tomorrow. She'll feel better soon, I promise. All right. Thank you, Kenji. Well, I guess I'd better be running now. Kenji has left the student council room. He is currently racing toward Area A33. That cannot be easy for him. Agreed. 
Unbelievable. And we've dedicated an entire week to this. Ghoul, talk to me about those Aho cables. Don't they fall under Miss Mazaya's jurisdiction? Yes, they do. You wouldn't. I would. Contact Wahan immediately. Yellis, we can't. What I can't do is rely on normal means to capture him. He's left us with no choice. I'm still shocked you keep managing to get away from all of those crazy girls. How many groups are after you again? I have no idea. I'm just lucky I'm fast. But this is a perfect opportunity. If there's a girl you like, you should totally let her catch you. <laughs> um, Empress? Maybe it would be best mm -hmm. if he didn't wind up getting more traumatized. He already has nightmares and says weird stuff in his sleep because of my crazy sister. He does? Oh. So, like, what kind of things do I say? Uh, there's no way I'm gonna repeat those words out loud! <laughs> You're right. After all, even Aho cannot heal psychological wounds. Yeah, but wouldn't I have to be baptized first anyway? How in the world do you know about baptisms? Princess Aura told me all about them. Of course. We suppose we should start thinking about getting you baptized. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm the perfect picture of health. Did you know sacred mecha masters get baptized to repair their sacred mechanoids? What? You can really repair the mechanoids with Aho? Then why has Wahanli been working so hard? Wahan and I haven't been baptized. We wouldn't need to return the mechas to the church if we had a sacred mecha guardian, which is a sacred mecha master who knows healing. So I guess a sacred mechanoid would be pretty much invincible with a baptized mecha master and mecha guardian? Well, although they do make a formidable weapon, there's still the operational limit to worry about, and you'd be doomed if the mechanoid ended up getting damaged faster than it healed. I see. If you want to know more about it, ask Mazaya. She is a sacred mecha guardian. Oh. By the way, Empress, I've got a question I should ask you. Hmm? That boy truly is amazing. It's odd no one's forced him into a compromising situation. At any rate, I doubt the upperclassmen will give up now, so be sure to keep a close eye on him and jump if you get the chance, okay? Princess Maria, we have just received a transmission from your homeland. It's the Queen. <sighs> what could my mother want? <laughs> What do you want now, Mother? Did something happen? Oh, Maria, there's no need to act like that. All I wanted was to have an evening chat and catch up with my only little girl. Of course you did. So, how's it going? Has anything fun happened? For example, did you maybe find a wonderful new toy? <gasps> a wonderful toy? No, nothing like that. Nothing at all. Are you sure? Your face says... I found something amazing, and I can't wait to tell you about it. Why does she have to have her stupid intuition? Okay, then. But you will let me know if anything comes up, won't you? Also, I've been thinking about your summer vacation. Summer vacation? <laughs> morning. Wow, I haven't slept this well in years. Uh, wait, how did I get in my bedroom anyway? Oh, good morning, Lady Lithia. Tell me, Lapis, why am I asleep in here? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh. Good news, miss, your fever finally broke. You are feeling better, aren't you? Never mind that. If you could answer my question, please. <laughs> Sounds like you're ready for breakfast. It's very good. Wonderful! Miss, Princess Aura is here to see you. Yes, she may enter. Good morning, Lithia. You seem better. Clearly, you were in on this as well. How dare you show your face here after making me drink that suspicious concoction? <laughs> Judging by this newfound energy, I'd say Kenshi was right to serve you that tea. No, that's why I'm upset. 
curse that wild beast. Here you go. This will help. I shouldn't have to drink this. If they would just baptize me, I'd be healthy and strong all the time. Indeed. Although, it is better than depending on medication. They're making a bigger fuss this year than usual, aren't they? Well, he's proven his stamina is superior, so it makes sense. Now all of those girls have decided to work together and strategize. Ah, uh, to be young. However, if this behavior continues unchecked, it will wind up disrupting the class. And not to mention, some students are beginning to get injured. Maybe we should give them a warning or something, huh? No, let them continue. I think we can let them do what they want for a while longer. Are you sure? It's only a hunch, but I have a feeling things are about to change around here. At least this time. It appears as though, mentally, it will be easier on them than what normally happens. <laughs> <laughs> True enough. Still, I'm shocked he's managing to hold up so well with all those girls chasing him around every day. Oh, if only he were baptized. Then he would be able to rejuvenate in more ways than one. Bet you'd still tire him out. <laughs> but... It is a good point. Why not just go ahead and do it? I'll think about it. But <laughs> I honestly doubt that a baptism will be necessary. Oh, come on. We were so close. <gasps> I've already told you to come in here quietly. <gasps> I'm sorry. <laughs> it seems the ladies are still giving you quite the chase, huh? I guess. Seriously, though, do you have any idea how long they'll keep this up? I have to admit, they're not normally this persistent. But unfortunately, you may have to indulge them for a while longer. <sighs> that expression. Whoa. I bet those girls are only chasing you because you keep making that silly face. They probably just want to tease you a bit. <laughs> I don't think so. Although their goals may have changed by now. Mm. Thank you, Kenshi. Thanks to you, I'm actually getting some work done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so now you're working in the dorms and going to class, and on top of that, you're being chased by a bunch of girls since you're in the student council. Boy, you've got your hands full. <laughs> well, at least you can feel safe while you're here at work, right? <laughs> if you get tired, you can always use wherever you're working as a place to rest, kid. Thank you, but I'm holding up fine. Wow, just how much stamina do you have? I guess we'll see. You are done here, aren't you? Go on and call it a day, and I'll put the step up for you. Okay. Thanks for the help. Bye. Bye. Good luck, kid. Hang in there. <gasps> Isn't using that against some sort of rule? This is what you get for running away, Kenshi. <laughs> and is taking advantage of it. Yes, exactly as we thought he would. It's starting to get weird. Agreed. How are you planning to use Yukine? What do you mean? She's merely been instructed to make sure he doesn't get hurt. Is that so? We told you to get Done here? No way. <gasps> Are those steam engines? We can't believe they're using that. <sighs> they're moving perfectly. I'm so proud. Well, Hanli, you're responsible for those? Technically, they're using test models, but my moving armor can run strong for a full 30 minutes. 
Yes. What should I do? I don't want them to chase me into the forest and end up running out of power. There is no escape from us! <gasps> Too dangerous. You can hide here with me if you want to, till dark. All right, girls, you've got to regroup. Teams two and three go block zone A. Teams four and five go block zone B. Got it. I wonder what's going on now. Indeed, he's disappeared. The girls have asked the sheriff on guards if Kenshi went into the forest. Apparently, they lost sight of him somewhere around Maria's dorm. Oh. Of course. Let's go. Oh. Thanks a lot for letting me hide out in here. So is this where you stay, Yukine? Well, we are where no one will ever think to come find you. Great, thank you. And there's tea. Um, do you have fun working for Empress Lashara? Uh, yeah, I guess. Sometimes. I have fun here with Princess Maria, too. Cool, that's cool. when he's in a pinch and go as far as you can with him. As far as I can. As far as I can. Yukine! We're coming in! <gasps> uh. What in the world do you think you're doing, you? Well done, Yukine! No, wait! It's not how it looks! And how do you figure that? It is simply the truth. Your attendant, Kinshi, has deflowered my attendant, Yukine. Huh? Tis only natural for them to be wed. Wait, what? And as her husband, he shall be serving as my attendant from now on, instead of yours. He shall be doing no such thing? She fell and he helped her, that's all! Let us not forget the recent massage incident. That was Messiah's fault and you know Girls, it! If you cannot come to an agreement, why not battle it out in some sort of competition? What for? Kenji is and shall remain our attendant. He is partially responsible for the massage incident. The compensation you owe to Lithia, Yukine, and myself is rather sizable, too. <clears throat> she needn't compensate us. <laughs> Princess Ara, could you please prepare some sort of game for us? <laughs> Since Princess Ara suggested it, you have to know what game she's going to choose. We know exactly what she'll go with. What are you talking about? Something you'll do really well at. It's called a stew battle. It's a highly competitive Shurathon game. A stew battle? We do enjoy eating delicious stews, but making them is so boring. How is it proceeding? Right on schedule. Yeah, same with me. I would like to acquire additional pawns, but there are only so many here. Now you do realize We'll have to do things ourselves if we want to show strength. I think we can go ahead and move them up to the next level. They do all ridiculously idolize you, after all. We should dally at this no longer. We can only obtain power through power. What is that? We've been picking up slight feedback for the past few days. Isn't that a sensor in the forest? Oh, very interesting. I should probably take a look into it. I'd like to take this moment to thank you all for attending my party. I believe you already know of Shurafon's stew battle. That is what we will be doing today. 
Basically, our guests must gather ingredients in the forest to make stew, then we get the chance to taste test. The tastiest stew shall be chosen by popular vote. And the declared winner shall receive the title to Kenshi. Excuse me, you said to gather from the forest, but none of us are exactly familiar with it, so how do we know what to get? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I'm here, and I would be happy to judge the ingredients for you. Mr. Yulaito. So, what do you say? May I please join you? It sounds like it would be a lot of fun. Well, of course you may. By all means, judge for us. I was out on a little walk enjoying nature, and now I get to be part of a stew fest. What a delicious surprise. But wait, why don't we unchain poor Kenshi and let him compete with the rest of you? <laughs> I think it would only be fair to let him have the opportunity to win his freedom, don't you agree? Now let the game begin! Meet back here in one hour! Ready? Go! Hmm. Okay, no point wandering around like an idiot. Wish me luck! See ya! Well, you're no good, but you guys are! We think we should try a shotgun approach. Let's gather everything up that looks like it might be edible and let you lie to be the judge. <sighs> oh, man. If I had known we'd have to do stuff like this, I would have joined Kenshi on one of his stupid little expeditions. Mm, what do you think? Well, it looks like it, but kind of not. This is rather frustrating. Even if it takes us more time, we should make sure we're getting the right stuff. Agreed. I don't see it. You can eh? Is this not it? It is. Well, that was certainly fast. Of course. You may go ahead and judge away. Oh, my. Well, this is rather amazing. So you are impressed, yes? Yes, very much. Everything in here is poisonous. Uh. This one gives you diarrhea. This causes vertigo. Immediate paralysis. Oh, and a single one of these carrots? It can take out over a hundred people. Oh, nice! <laughs> hey, what do you think about my new mecha worker, Kenji? Looks good. I think so, too. Wait, what are you doing? Give me those ingredients or else, Kenji Masaki! Cheating, Wahanli! Aw, oh, you're not cheating! Simply gonna pick up all the food you happen to drop while you're running away from me, that's all. Yeah, okay, I get it. I don't know what I was thinking. I have people chasing me pretty much all the time. Why should today be any different? Say your prayers, loser face! <gasps> oh! How can one little guy be so fast? I think I've got an idea. I sure hope it works. Just tell everyone you got too hot and had to leap into the water so you could cool off a bit. Bye! Hello, Kenshi. What are you up to? Hey, Big Sis Mazaya. I'm playing in Princess Aura's forest food game. Do you mean the stew battle? Those girls chase you around all day long, and you work in the dorms, too. Aren't you tired? Nah, I feel just fine. Oh, no, don't tell me your sad heart is more fatigued than your body. So many girls seem to be putting poor Kenshi out. <laughs> I guess. Oh, dear. Your eyes say that includes me as well. <laughs> no, I didn't mean that. What's this? Why are you uh, bleeding, Kenshi? Yeah, I'm fine, I swear. Uh, I just scraped my head a bit. <laughs> uh. hmm. I wish I could give you some healing aho instead. But that will have to do. Thanks a lot, Big Sis Mazaya. See ya! <laughs> the feedback is growing stronger. I suspect that as much. Did you actually oh. gather food? <laughs> 
Talk about a sorry supply of ingredients. Look at that. All you have are two baby fruities. And your basket, it's completely empty. And Maria, it appears your homeland never taught you what actual food looks like. Excuse me? Try not to be intimidated by all the things we have. Hmm. Impressed? Hey, what are you doing? To be honest, I'm rather astounded. You did a perfect job of gathering every single deadly plant in the forest. Poisonous again. <laughs> oh, most impressive, Lashala. You've outdone us. We lose. Huh. Ultimately, hardly any of you managed to harvest much. This stupid game wasn't fair to begin with. I do believe you are supposed to say that before you accept the challenge. The contest shall be between Kenshi and myself. However, I have no intention of asserting ownership over You're her. You're kidding us! Then why are we even bothering with this? The point was merely to have a friendly competition. But still, that doesn't mean I'm just going to let you win without a fight. I accept your challenge, Princess Aura. We shall begin the taste testing. Which stew has the best taste? It's up to us to determine the winner, so everyone go ahead and eat. Now it's time to try Kenshi's stew. How is it, you guys? My sense of taste should probably be the same as yours, I think. How did you do this? Is it bad? Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, it's just the opposite. Oh. How did you make it so flavorful? <gasps> Yum! This is amazing. Indeed. Ours was good, of course, but yours is on an entirely different level. Mm. I'm seeing you in a new light, Wild Beast. It's decided! Kenshi Masaki is the winner! <gasps> wow! Thank you! Now that the winner has been determined, I must return to work. Thank you, everyone, for a lovely distraction. And, Wild Beast, I'd appreciate it if you'd make that again. Okay. Guess I'm still a wild beast, though. That's fine. Lithia seems to be feeling a lot better, doesn't she? Yes, we have Kenji's herbal tea to thank for that. Well, that sure was nice of you. I actually used some of the same ingredients in my stew broth. Really? My pharmacist is very interested in what those ingredients are. Incredible! Shurfan's knowledge of herbal remedies surpasses even the church. And they want advice from you! That's a huge honor! Is that all right with you? Would you mind showing me what you used in this? It's right here. We want to see. Yeah, okay. <gasps> oh, you used these. How interesting. I never would have imagined trying this myself. Put that down! Why does that not freak you out? Why should it? Would you put those things away already? What's wrong? There's no need for you guys to be frightened of this stuff. I promise I don't use them like this when I make my remedies. I dry them out first and turn them into a powder. Ew, gross! Shut up! We resolve not to get sick ever again! We will not rely on such medicine! Kenshi, if Lady Lithia finds out you use that kind of thing, she'll kill you! Yes, we should not allow her to see them in their original state. Wait, I just thought of something. Didn't you tell us that you use those in your cooking as well? <gasps> yeah, I sure did. Let me see here. So this was what brought out the flavor. Right, and this too? You mean there's more? This helped with texture. <gasps> Isn't it about time you took a break, miss? Oh, thank you, Lapis. I actually haven't felt out of sorts all day. Think that stew had something to do with it? I do. It's all thanks to Kenshi. Is it? Well, let's just leave it at that. Summer vacation is coming up soon. And it looks like I might finish up work early. Perhaps I'll be able to enjoy this year.
Output, 18%. 19%. 20%. 21. It barely broke 20%. It's the exact same as last time. I wasn't finished yet! I would like to commend you on your admirable diligence, but then again, you were born with that talent, weren't you, nephew? No, that isn't true at all! Come, don't be foolish, Sir Sacred Mecha Master. Of course it is. Besides, only the Chosen One may pilot the Sacred Mecha Lord. I suppose you believe that girl is better than me. She's not! Although some may consider it noble, especially for a Sacred Mecha Master, you can trust me, going up against someone stronger than you is as reckless as it gets. If you don't intend to succeed the throne, I want you to tell me now. You came here to admonish me, but there are better ways to go about it. Summer is almost here. You're still a student. Why don't you enjoy a little bit of freedom while you have the chance? Ladies and gentlemen, normally underclassmen are forbidden to leave campus, even during summer vacation. However, those with legitimate reasons may receive special permission. So if you haven't submitted your request yet, if I were you, I'd hop to it. Summer vacation, wow. That'll be the perfect time to go after Swan's crystals. <laughs> oh, hey, Ceres, what's up? What are you reading? <laughs> Oh, well, I was just thinking about going on a trip by myself for summer vacation. Yeah, but aren't you an underclassman? The male sacred mecha masters are exempt from that rule. Hmm. A one-man trip sounds like it'd be a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Summer vacation. What are you going to do with your time, Empress Lashara? We'll sit back and relax all summer long, huh? It's dangerous out there, and besides, we don't intend to waste money on a vacation. But don't let us stop you. Do as you wish. But I can't leave you, Empress! I'm your bodyguard! Oh, no, that won't be necessary. After all, summer vacation is meant to encourage friendship amongst the students. And Kenji is capable of protecting us. If anything, I'm worried you're just going to sit around while he does whatever he feels like. Pardon me. <laughs> Take this. Hmm? Honestly, now, how long are you going to sit out here like a little baby and pout? Take Kenshi, for example. He's having a wonderful time. Hm. Of course he's having a wonderful time. He wanted to come. We were dragged here kicking and screaming. Please don't act so distant, Lashara. I'm your aunt. You should feel welcome to ask for my help anytime. We would rather meet Babaloon on the field of battle and die heroically than ask for your assistance. We have so much catching up to do. Please, come and spend your summer vacation with me. If you tell me no, my heart will break in two. Don't let money be a concern. I'll obviously take care of everything. And I'm taking the liberty <laughs> of It looks like Aunt Flora can read the Empress like an open book, too. Lithia, Wahanli, and Sir Dagmire. Huh? She certainly pulled some strings Another for us, didn't she? You're more than welcome to bring that attendant boy. I look forward to seeing you all very soon. So in other words, she really only wants to see Kenshi. Oh, I almost <laughs> forgot. If you decide to be obstinate and refuse my generous offer, I'll be forced to tell your friends embarrassing stories about when you were little and to show them this picture. <laughs> this is why we can't stand her! Since you made it this far, you might as well try to enjoy yourself at least, and please just do us a favor and go away. <gasps> Those ships are huge! They're part of a transport service delivering guests to and from resorts, but to prevent potential accidents in the ravine, they only travel one direction. Wow. Thanks, Tortoline. 
I've set things up so you can spend some alone time without worrying that the guards will discover your villa. That means all we have to do now is get Hazuki through the gate undetected. Oh, it won't be a problem. I've got you covered on that, too. No. What are they talking me. about? Oh. They're everywhere. Are you sure about this? If they find us out, you could get in a whole lot of trouble. Look, don't worry about me. Just promise me this much. If for some reason we actually do get caught, you have to tell them I forced you to come here, okay? <laughs> Kenshi! <laughs> It's extremely rare, but sometimes even mere commoners are born with an unusually strong resistance to Aho energy. So I guess you don't come from royalty, then. For someone like me, becoming a sacred mecha master means joining a privileged class. Everyone always told me how lucky I was. But then, somewhere down the line, things started to get warped. Having money and expensive things changed my parents. It changed everybody. We both knew what it meant when I became a sacred mecha master. And we were gonna stick together. But of course, everyone says the most horrible things to try to weaken our resolve and break us up. Like Hazuki's only after my bloodline. His parents don't come out and say it, but I know it's exactly what they're thinking. It's not true. I love him. Zeris, what's this gate you were talking about? It's a ritzy resort, so it'll be really hard to sneak her in without getting caught. We can't let them see her by my side because Hazuki is forbidden to be anywhere near me. So promise us, you can't repeat anything you heard in here. I promise you. In this life, you have to use force to get what you want. What a little wimp. There are two sacred mechanoids. Oh, man. This is no good. You know anything worth hijacking is always heavily guarded. Yeah, I guess that's true. The scarier the heist, the greater the rewards will be. <laughs> the guy who just came out, do you know who he is? No, I don't think I recognize him. Hm. Well, he seems a little fishy to me. Don't worry, he's just some dumb kid. Hold it! Look to the <laughs> right! I bet money that's Dagmire Mest. That one's a gem. It's another male sacred mecha master. This must be our lucky day. Wow! In ancient times, plants like those allegedly covered the entire planet. But due to drastic climate changes and the impact of advancing civilizations, most died off. This is one of the rare parts of the world where they're still holding strong. So cool! Yes, it's truly astonishing. It's been a long journey, but I promise we'll be there before you know it. <laughs> Maria, did those gigantic flags mean what we think they mean? I'm afraid your educated guess is probably accurate. <laughs> it's, it's my mother! mother. <gasps> yeah! Woo! Hello there! Ah! Stop it! You're embarrassing yourself! I'm just happy we made it safely! Ichi, would you mind helping me situate the cargo? Listen, everyone. I know you must be tired from your long journey. So once you've found your rooms, feel free to take a nap and relax until dinner time. Or have a look around and take in the sights. Hold on. Unless I'm mistaken, one of you is missing, correct? Kenchi is occupied at the moment. We hate to disappoint, but he is currently helping Wahan with our cargo. So sorry. Oh my, that's too bad. I'm dying to see the boy Maria and Yukine are so fond of. I almost forgot to ask, have you seen Ceres? Oh, uh, well, I mean, uh... I wonder if he's off on some secret getaway. Uh, <gasps> so I was right then. Commoners who become sacred mecha masters get torn away from their lovers and childhood friends all the time. It's really sad, don't you think? Hey, Wahanli, about Ceres, please don't tell him. Job well done! Huh? Tell the truth, what do you think? Well, it sure seems a lot faster. And don't worry, I'll pretend I didn't see or hear anything about Ceres, I promise. You mean it? <clears throat> Thanks a lot! I gotta go! Every day 
I'm glad I'm not a boy. So that was Kenshi. Ah! Well, he certainly is something else, isn't he? A long time no see, Queen Flora! <laughs> you really didn't have to come all the way down here. I was just on my way upstairs to see you. He's quite the charming one. I can see why Maria and Yukine have developed such a fondness for him. <laughs> I suppose the same goes for you, too. By the way, Queen Flora, just how much of our conversation did you overhear? Oh, there's no need for you to worry at all. A friend of Kenshi's is a friend of mine. <laughs> now, let's get work out of the way so we can enjoy this trip. I just love summer vacation, don't you? <laughs> Like Ceres is staying over there. All right! Little brat! Hey, I'm sorry! Wait, I think that's the kid Lon was interested in. Oh, yeah? Well, I think Lon is out of touch. Pretty sure I just smelled blood on those two guys. Yeah! I found another mushroom! Well made. Powerful, sturdy, and she doesn't make me feel sick, not one bit. It could stand up against a high ranking associate mecha master, even if she's piloting a sacred mechanoid. How long will it stay operational outside of the draft? My calculations say 10 minutes. It's wonderful, and I should have expected nothing less from Nawa's pupil. Thank you very much. Now then, let's go join the others. Spending some quality time with Kenshi is the other thing I'm looking forward to. Oh, wow. So this is the villa Ceres is staying in? It's amazing. Is that them? Ceres needs to get some curtains. Us two could probably use some time alone, so I'll come back later. <laughs> Any idea what this is? The traditional Havonawa welcoming ceremony. Welcoming ceremony? It looks more like a pillow fight setup. So you've heard of it then? Uh... <laughs> I'd like to thank everyone for traveling so far to be here on this fine summer night. Never fear, I've prepared a more than modest party for your entertainment and enjoyment. But first, as is our tradition, we will now hold the welcoming ceremony. Remember, in this fierce game of pillows, every single one of us stands here as equals ready to battle. The rules are simple. Dodge pillows and throw them at others. Then just grab your opponent's sash and give it a pull. <laughs> If someone manages to steal your sash, you are disqualified. And for the record, it is considered good manners to say a certain phrase before you pull someone's sash. Kenji, what's wrong? The phrase, it isn't ready or not, is it? We did not expect you to know this game. Those guys really did do just whatever they wanted. And the last person standing gets to marry whomever their heart desires or receive comparable prizes in money or goods. <laughs> That's not all you'll get. The winner will also receive a hug and a kiss. Oh, yes. All from yours truly. Full disclosure, I'm really hoping Sir Dagmire and Kenshi wins. Now we finally see what she is up to. I just cannot believe that woman. Well, everyone, this is the perfect chance to get out there and blow off some steam. Now let's begin. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Shara, huh? let's you and I put an end to this once and for all. Oh, my dears, you dare to. 
to defy me, do you? Both of you are so naughty. Just what we'd expect from an old hag like her. She saw right through our plan. It appears that the benefits of age are not wasted on her. <laughs> I think a punishment is in order, ladies. The right to marry who I please is tempting. But not as tempting as research funds. More money. I know just what to do. You can't use your mecha worker, Wahan. Can she? Oh. So sorry. Be a jerk, but I've got to win so I can get back to my world. Okay, aim for victory. Ah! Attack from both sides. Will too. I was told it's customary not to wear panties, so... I got him! Take this! But how did he... Lady Lithia, Princess Aura, please forgive me! You wild animal! I'll make you pay for sneaking a peek like that! He defeated us soundly. Please, don't wake up. Yaya, I'm sorry. <gasps> I am so sorry! Don't worry about it. Besides, we used to bathe together, remember? There's no point in suddenly acting modest. It's different now that we're not children! No, it's the same. We're both sacred Mecha Masters, aren't we? I can't believe a stupid pillow knocked me out. How embarrassing. Wait, Dagmire! You beat me. No matter how much time passes, it seems I can't win. Don't worry, I've almost got it off. Huh? Oh. Yukina, I haven't stolen your sash yet, so you're still in the game. You can fight back or kick and scream. Just try to do something, okay? Oh, I don't mind losing. Not to you. Oh, my dear Yukina, uh, do you realize the position you currently find yourself in? Where did you come from? I got you! Go on! Uh, It would appear that you and I are the last ones standing. I have to admit, I'm truly impressed you managed to make it this far, Kenshi. Does Kenshi even stand a chance? He may be tough, but Queen Flora once won a Holy Land tournament and was crowned a master martial artist. She will destroy him. We have a winner! Put your hands together for our victor, Kenshi! Uh, hold on, what do you mean he's the winner? The host, not a competitor in the game, so he wins. Negate our disqualification? Well, obviously, I had to crush any potential mm. threats. Mm. <laughs> 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 Once again, she's humiliated us with her evil scheming. It's a minor miracle Mazaya isn't here to make mm -hmm. things worse. Yes, the two of them together would be more than we could possibly handle. Mm -hmm. Is something wrong? Mm -hmm. We just thought of a brilliant idea. <gasps> Kenshi? <gasps> Sorry, I wasn't swimming. I didn't just hit my head because I was swimming around. <laughs> Please, you can swim in my tub anytime you want. Uh, hello, Queen Flora. What are you doing here? Why, I'm here to give you a bath, of course. Oh, you're a queen. You can't do that. It is exactly what you expected, Lashara. Yes, that's it, Kenji. Give that old bag a hot massage. Come on! Oh. <laughs> Kenji's incredible massage is going to paralyze you completely. Trust me, 
You have no idea what's in store for you, Mother. And once your body is incapacitated, you'll pay for what you've done. That would be a travesty. We can't have that. Not if I can help it. <laughs> Wow, Mom. Babysitting those kids must be a pain in the ass. Hold on. Not nearly as much of one as you are. <laughs> Fine. I'll go tuck myself in. We make our move against Ceres and Dagmire first thing tomorrow morning, so make sure you don't sleep. <laughs> surprise us all that much. According to the principal, lots of girls have been requesting he give them massages on their wedding nights. But they couldn't actually be happy after that, knowing their mecha master husband would never be able to give them anything close to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Too bad. Is such a waste. This place is great. There's so many herbs and fresh plants. Huh? Hmm. I never liked having to work for it. She's kind of pretty. Too bad, don't you think? We'll be getting the sign real soon. If you want to play, get yourself a different girly. What are you, kid? Some kind of monster? We have to get back right now. Cordeline is the ringleader of a gang of bandits. Everyone at Ceres Villa. They're about to attack the resort. Is Ceres still around? He gave himself up so I could get away. Kenshi, we have to rescue them. All of your friends are in danger. What is that? I think it must be the bandit's signal. Don't worry, I'll be okay here. Just please hurry and go on ahead. Hey, how about we take a shortcut? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just remain calm. We're under attack by a gang of six air bikers, ma'am. We don't know who they are yet, but there's no need to worry. Our interception system is blocking them. I've got bad news. They broke into the guard post, and it looks like they've hijacked one of our sacred mechanoids. That can't be! Great. We'll get ready because it's coming our way. The interception system has been destroyed. We're wide open now. There must be something we can do. Come on. Maria, do you have any other sacred mechanoids? Like a brand new model hidden in the basement or something of that nature? This is a resort. Of course we don't. Why would we keep secret mechanoids here? I don't know. Maybe because of situations like this? <laughs> now what? Hey, I hit the jackpot. <laughs> Stop right there. Drop your weapons, put your hands behind your heads, and lay down face first or I'll shoot! 
We should do as he says. One unlucky dude. Oh. Kenji, who is that girl? This is Hazuki. Oh, yeah, and I'm pretty sure that gang of bandits is after Sir Dagmire. Wait, what? Dagmire! <coughs> Yukine, follow her. Everybody is here except for. Ara's missing, and your mother is too. Perhaps you should have the wild beast retrieve them. Hmm? Right. But find Ara first. Yes. Then our aunt. If you don't find Queen Flora in time, we're willing to abandon her. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'll look after the girl. Now get a move on. <sighs> if you go now, you might see something amusing. Wait, amusing? Hurry up. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, I'll hop on this. Maybe I can find out what's going on. Please, just don't do anything rash. Relax, I'll be fine. <laughs> No good from bad. All right, it's Kenshi. I'm coming in. Thank goodness you're okay. <gasps> Princess Aura? Kenshi? Hey, is everything all right? I'm sorry I'm behaving so strangely. I know you've come here to rescue me. Uh... You are acting weird, but we should go because bandits are trying to kill us. It's this time of day. I always act like this. Yeah, that's right. I remember you mentioning something like that to me before. Stop, Stop right, right there! there. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not safe here. Let's make a run for it. No, I'm afraid! It's fine, I'm here. I won't let anything happen to you. Kenji, you saw my body, didn't you? Huh? Could we maybe discuss this some other time? Listen, I can no longer get married. Since you've seen me, please take responsibility. I guess this is what Lady Lithia meant when she said something amusing. <laughs> get down! <laughs> You okay? I am. I'm much better now, and I'm sorry to have put you out. Although I would appreciate it if you dismiss what just happened, and also disregard everything I said to you. Otherwise, I would be forced to make you take responsibility. It's already forgotten. <laughs> they not have caught him yet? What in the world could possibly be taking them so long? Hey, Aura, looks like you made it just in time. Boy, I sure am glad to have some backup. Kenshi has gone off to rescue the Queen Flora, so it's just us till he gets back. Sounds good to me. I really hope I can make it there in time. So this must be where that brat's been hiding, huh? Real careful, this kid isn't normal. He's fast, that's for sure. Wait him out. He's a rat in a trap. Nothing to worry about. This is no good. There's still a lot of distance between me and Queen Flora's place. Oh, yeah! <clears throat> How did he get all the way over there? That was overkill. He just blew the poor kid to pieces. <laughs> ah, too bad. I wasn't done messing with him yet. Uh, hey, what's that? Did fragments hit the crate? Uh, it's the kid! What is that thing?
For them to successfully mount an invasion like this one, either they're ingenious tacticians or Havona was weaker than I thought. Or male sacred mecha masters are a bunch of spoiled babies. So that's what this is about. I happen to agree. Be a good boy and come with me, and you have my word you won't get hurt. I would like to speak with your leader at once. Any chance you could make that happen for me? Excuse me? I'd like to render your services. <laughs> hey, are you all right? Yes, I think I'm okay. But please don't worry about Queen Flora. Many were wounded during the attack, so it's important that we get them out first. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll go get the wounded. Please, hurry! Uh, what about saving Flora? Shouldn't saving her be the first priority? She's the queen, after all. Something isn't right here. Don't worry about me one bit. Don, Yukine and Dame Kiyaya still haven't rescued Dagmire? They're tied up with the bandits, ma'am. Perhaps we should have sent Kenshi in their place. No! <laughs> Wait a second, did you hear that? It came from our aunt's manor. <laughs> Kenshi! Somebody is having fun. Oh, good. All we really did was help her get exactly what she wanted. Crazy woman! Uh, get off of me! Uh. Hey, I can see again. Oh, thank goodness. I was starting to get scared there for a second. Kenji, look behind you! I'm getting close to my limit. I'm gonna fry that stupid brat. Maybe this will stop her. Come on, is he joking? That didn't do a thing. Uh -huh. uh. Yeah, it worked. Their frames are just like human bodies after all. Keep talking like that. So hot. <laughs> With this kid, Ugh. I am done. Sorry for the wait, Mom. It's about time. Oh, no! I can't believe she used that here. This is bad. Oh, you're one to talk. Let's move out. That's the sign, guys. Right! What? Come with me. gonna be okay mom that was a close call that little brat it looks like they pulled a fast one on us yes indeed he pulled a fast one all over me you cannot believe this they completely had their way with us oh, yes and I loved every minute of it it was just delightful <laughs> let him go <laughs> We think they took this escape route. So you think they're here? That's right. Why is that? Because those bandits didn't seem very bright to me. What are you getting at? Well, rather than actually making an escape, they've only gone just far enough to feel safe. So you're saying that they're choosing emotions over logic? <laughs> we'll just have to trust you on this. Is it wise to make a decision so flippantly? Once the army arrives, we'll investigate this place. I think trusting Kenshi's instinct is the best chance we have. I'm very sorry, it's such a mess. You seem rather skilled for a former sacred mecha master. Was your short operational time what led you to become a ronin? That's enough questions. I understand you want to hire us on, is that correct? Just how much money do you hope to get out of catching me? 
Bargaining with the country isn't easy, you know. I could pick out a girl for you to get married to. There's no short supply of Ronin girls here. I don't think it will be too difficult to find something you like. Perhaps you. <laughs> Tell me, do you include yourself in that offer? <laughs> of course. So, you said you want to hire us. What did you mean? You should know I'm not like other men. And I intend to prove it to you. Well, you have my attention, Dagmire. Excellent. If possible, I'd like to speak with you in private. You trust him? I don't know, but it's okay. She's a big girl. Don't worry, she can take care of herself. Everyone, listen up. We'll be leaving the draft soon, so we can't go any farther in this. In that case, Kenji and I will get out and scout the area like we planned. I'm begging you. Save Ceres. Yes, we will do all that we can. I'm going with you. I would prefer it if you stay and guard everyone here. She's right. You would only slow them down in the mountains. Kenji, come. Oh, Dagmeyer. Yes, I think you're right. Those weak little lords and ladies could never pull something like that off. But are you serious? There's only one thing I want to hear from you right now, you understand? <sighs> All right, then. If that's what you want from us, sure. Then we should hurry up and get ready before they come for me. Well, Kenji, it looks like your guess was right. This is bad. We don't have time to wait for Queen Flora. We have to get back to Lashara and let her know. You go ahead. I'll keep an eye on them. Right. It's Tagmire. So, have you loaded up the prisoners yet? Yeah, we split them up between the two containers. Good. Prepare to move out soon. You got it. Ceres. But he's okay. Here's the deal. Their air bikes are parked somewhere in this general area, so if we manage to go down the opposite side, then we just might be able to escape. Kenshi, the whole plan hinges on it. Are you positive all the prisoners are in those containers? Yes, that's right. They're being held in two separate groups. Great. Then we should have a shot at rescuing Dagmire and Ceres. So while Kenshi distracts them by wreaking havoc with my mecha worker, Aura and I will steal the cargo truck. Got it? Man, I was dumb to think we'd get to relax today. Yeah, tell me about it. I had plans for something sweet. Oh, you poor little baby. Oh. How's it going? What's that noise? What's going on? <gasps> it's the kid. So sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Dagmire, did they hurt you? See for yourself. Actually, all things considered, I was treated very well. You got here much quicker than I expected you to. That's all thanks to Kenshi. I am terribly sorry to have worried you. We are glad you're okay. We'll be meeting with Aunt Flora very soon, so just try and relax until then. Right. Come, Kiaya, let's go. Right. We'll get you out of here real soon. Thank you. What do you know? It worked. I'm glad you're okay, Ceres. So am I. Hey, Wahanli, I have a favor to ask of you. For your friend? Discussing how to help Ceres escape? Uh, uh, Shara! Where'd you come from? Seriously, what in the world were you thinking, you idiot? This could have been a diplomatic nightmare. Calm down. We do not mind at all. Huh? If we bring them back with us, even the girl won't get off easy. Doing that will undoubtedly put Ceres in a precarious position. This is a surprising twist. Empress, we can't! Come now, we aren't monsters. After
After all, Ceres is a dear friend of Kenchi's. Yeah, he sure is. Then we want to help him. Only Queen Flora would be bothered. Ceres and Hazuki just went missing. Sound good? <sighs> Empress, please understand. I'm obligated to uphold my position as Princess of Shurifon. Wouldn't you agree, Miss Lithia? Hmm. Well, the church is forbidden to intervene in such situations. <gasps> I, for one, didn't see a thing. What? Huh? Well, well, the strictest one here is surprisingly understanding, isn't she? Gotta say, I'm shocked. You really do sympathize with that Hazuki girl. <sighs> but Lithia... I'm begging you, Princess Aura. Oh, Kenji, my friend Ceres is just like me. He got thrust into this world of Mecha Masters, and he's been suffering ever since. So please. <clears throat> oh, all right. Those eyes get to older women, too. Fine, I've no idea what everyone is talking about. Don't ask me, I didn't hear anything, not one single word. I wish I could be of assistance. Oh, Princess Aura. You better get going before our Aunt Flora gets here. <laughs> Bless Shara. The girl is up to something, isn't she? Whatever do you mean? She's trying to tell me that they lost Ceres in the confusion of the mission. That sounds like a diplomatic problem to me. While trying to accommodate the male sacred Mecha Masters, Havoniwa let a gang of bandits slip through and infiltrate our ranks. Unbeknownst to us, these bandits traded places with our guards and attempted to kidnap our own. Well, that's the story I'm sticking to anyway. <laughs> You can totally tell future sacred Mecha Master lords and ladies hang out here. Talk about fancy. It's not only sacred Mecha Masters. Royalty and nobility attend school here as well. You need to be... Lon, be careful not to draw any attention to yourself at all. We cannot afford to have you jeopardizing Sir Dagmire's plans. Do you understand? Sure. Whatever you say, Lady Emera. Ugh, we're dying from boredom now that summer vacation is over. There has to be something fun to do, doesn't there? Have anything particular in mind? Oh, we don't know. Make some quick and easy money in a way that doesn't require us to put up any capital? Yeah, right. Don't get your hopes up. Things like that don't just happen. <laughs> I totally see what you're saying. <laughs> is something the matter? It's ridiculous. I know, right? This I is know. way too easy. I don't think we could if we tried. Excuse me, did you drop this? Sorry. 
Oh yeah, that is my watch. How weird, I thought it was in my pouch. It must have fallen out then. <gasps> Gone. When did he take it from me? <sighs> I know him. Lon, what exactly were you thinking running off like that? And what are you doing here? I just went on a walk. Hey, what about him? What is that guy's story? Who in the world Thank is he? So yeah, much. that was so crazy. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm still amazed how easy it was to sneak into the Holy Land. Yeah, well, I'm still amazed how much they let us just screw around all day. This is the best job I've ever had. Seriously, and how crazy is the power they give away to those secret mecha masters? Well, at least one of them is keeping the boss in a good mood, though. What do you want to bet she's in the middle of a really good mood right now? <laughs> Once she's pregnant, she'll be as privileged as the nobles they got prancing around here. Think your kid will wind up being a sacred mecha master, too? It'd be great to have some of that luck rub off on With me. With that face, keep dreaming. Sister. <laughs> Sorry, I would rather not be forced to confine you to my ship, but there is a significant chance you'd be recognized, and that's simply not a risk I am willing to take. I don't mind. Everyone else is enjoying themselves anyway, so it's not a big deal. Tell me. Is the plan moving along okay? Yes. It's all right on schedule. Good. <laughs> when you first explained the gig to me in Havonawa, I wondered what this young, naive lord was talking about. I only half believed you were serious when I accepted your offer. To be honest, I still find it hard to believe you actually got us inside the Holy Land. I don't know why. I thought I told you that I am not like other men. <sighs> And I thought I told you I'll give you all I've got to give. Mm. And I'll take it all. Well, look what we have here. Huh? Word has it you're Lashara's servant. So, what did you do before you started working for her? Uh, I... I was in the Highlands, and, uh... Don't lie to uh, me. <laughs> I'm not. It's the truth. Yeah, I'm not buying it. We're used to the same line of work. Huh? You don't have to hide it from me. It's not like I'm gonna tell anyone. In fact, I have a pretty juicy gig coming up. Went in on the action? Uh... <laughs> oh, I get it now. Come on, you should have a little fun working with me. Unlike your lame job being a servant, it'll put your talents to use. Hmm. You shouldn't do stuff like that anymore. <laughs> Bye! <sighs> well, guess that's what I get for trying to help. The dumb guy's been domesticated. <laughs> Your retreat pattern's too simple. Well done, Alan. You should put more thought into your patterns. Yeah, I know. They appear to be coming along quite nicely. They're ready for combat. Trust me. How are things proceeding on your end, Uncle? All that's left is a final confirmation. And after that, we'll be ready to go. And how much longer do you think that will take you? I suppose that answer would depend on whether or not you're willing to help me out with something. Hmm. Say the word. What do you need? A competitive sports tournament? Yes, it gives us the opportunity to test the results of our training and promotes friendship among Mecha Masters from different lands. But if I'm going to be honest with you, the tournament's real purpose is to prevent those dorm room humdrums, also known as boredom. How interesting. The main event is a long-distance obstacle race. That sounds like fun. 
Thank you. I figured we could hold preliminaries during class, so it shouldn't be too demanding. Good job. And we think we know how to get the students excited about who will win the race. Gambling. And I suppose you also think you should be the bookie well, naturally. That's hardly necessary. Based on the size of the event, the council's monthly budget should cover it without taking bets. Yes, but do you really think the council should pay to keep students from getting bored? Expose anyone who would cheat and try to maintain order. Do that, and I will give my approval. Understood. All right, then. It doesn't appear a vote will be necessary. But just in case, does anyone oppose this event? Ladies and gentlemen, the motion is approved. We're going to have a tournament. Uncle, the vote has just been passed. That's wonderful. You have done rather well. I expect you to keep your promise to me now. You must be talking about allowing you to be in charge of the front lines. I can do that. However, I will still need to have some assurance my needs are getting met as well. You always were the one to worry. Only because I realize trust is born from one's track record, nephew. <laughs> yes, I am well aware of that. Excuse me. Do you think those thugs Dagmire brought in are going to become a problem? At the moment, they are keeping quiet and staying low. But that girl, Lon, is more than a little mischievous. Well, either way, the hardest part is still to come. We don't have a choice here. Failure is simply not an option. Talk about a piece of cake. What in the world is wrong with you? I thought I specifically told you not to attract Will attention. you relax? No one even knew I was there. Now what do you plan on doing with that? I will not allow you to cause problems for Sir Dagmire. Sure. Okay. Hey, Dagmire! <gasps> <gasps> oh, no. You don't know how weak you are. What's going on here? You know, just making sure I don't lose my touch. Forgive us, sir. Why would you waste time with such tasteless appetizers when the main dish is coming up? I grabbed them while doing recon. Besides, you can use this to help get to that main dish faster. Maybe start a few fights or something fun. We'll be pushing the plan forward soon, so try not to attract any attention. Fine. I just don't like to let all this easy prey go to waste. <sighs> yes, thank you. I can't help it. I like rich stuff. So how's Mom doing? She good? Are you taking care of her? You know that isn't any of your business, Lon. Yeah, true enough. <laughs> rates coming along. Good, we'll be done with them shortly. <laughs> we can't help ourselves, we're so excited! <laughs> I don't see why you need to get ready for this thing so early. Well, why would we not? We're planning to start accepting bets tomorrow morning. You mean you're taking bets on the prelims? Is it not truly exciting? We want to make certain we're thoroughly enjoying this experience! <laughs> Is everything all right? We're going to have a festival. I think you ladies are all going to enjoy the change of pace. Hey, did you hear about the tournament? Of course I did. The preliminaries are supposed to start today. I don't care what it is. I just really want to make the cut in something. If we do well, the student council might notice us, right? We're looking forward to the tournament, as well as our other little bit of fun with it. Yeah, the judges are supposedly screening the contestants right now. So what do you think? Are you gonna try and win a fortune too? You better believe it. They're accepting prelim bets now. Yeah, good luck to both of you guys. But until you win that fortune, you still work for me. So try to stay focused, okay? Only until I'm rich.
well. I don't know about you, but I'd say things have been running fairly smoothly so far. Yeah, too smooth in my opinion. Most of this tournament is boring. The event to watch will be the long distance obstacle race. Hmm. It appears to duplicate Shurafan's traditional race. The contestants will include Princess Aura and Kenshi. Oh, and it looks like Dagmire will be running as well. Things are about to get exciting, Mazaya. <laughs> That's a good job on you, Sir Dagmire. Everyone's going crazy over your little tournament. Well, if you ask me, it's a complete waste of time. We should have been doing something. There's no need for any of us to rush. Our time will come soon enough. Our time should be now. We have our pride to defend here. If you ask me, we need to focus on proving ourselves. And we will. Councilwoman certainly isn't an easy one. I don't think I've ever felt this exhausted. Again, only those who actually worked should be talking like that. This is really dirty. That's because it doesn't get cleaned much. They only shine it up for big events like the tournament. But isn't it supposed to be like a really big deal? Well, yeah, it's a way big deal. I mean, we're talking about the only one in the world. Wait, that's just one? Yep, this is the only fully intact sacred mechalord that has been excavated from a prehistoric civilization. So the church is like super protective of it for obvious reasons. Empress Lashara was only allowed to use it in her coronation because Stryu originally owned the excavation site, also known as the Holy Land. Oh, wow. In Stryu, the sacred mechalord is revered as a symbol of power. This is just a symbol of power? It's not like anyone can pilot it, you know? To me, it just seems like a massive piece of weird decoration. Oh. Are we all done yet? <gasps> this is proving to be much more profitable than we expected. We have particularly high hopes for the main event. Speaking of, how are the preparations going? We are almost ready, Empress. Almost is not good enough. We must be ready. Then the fun can begin. Remember, sell, 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 and sell some more. <laughs> It should be reassuring to see her like this, enthusiastic about her job. Yet it worries me. <sighs> me too. Yeah, I'm sorry. Get your winning predictions right here! You can get rich quick, so don't let this chance slip by! Winning predictions right here! Goodness me, this place sure is packed to all the walls. Yes, Miss Mazaya. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Empress Lashara is the head bookmaker, isn't she? Yeah. Success smells so good. <laughs> what is this crap? Kenji's name is the only one on yeah. here. He's very popular. It's true, he's everyone's favorite. <laughs> you guys, can't you bet on anyone else? Do you not understand how real gambling works? Yeah, we don't really care, though. We just want to see Kenji win. <laughs> That's so rude! This looks like my chance. I see, and I agree. You have my permission to take care of this situation. Thanks, Lithia. Hello. <laughs> Wait, please. You have some dirt on you. Thank you. I didn't even notice. <laughs> it's not a problem, but I should be the one thanking you. You have my gratitude for saving Sir Dagmire and Havonawa. Thank you. No, uh, I, I didn't really do anything. That was all Queen Flora. I was told you were immensely helpful as well. I mean, no, not really. If possible, I don't want to become enemies with you. Huh? Nothing. I've been looking for you everywhere. I need to warn you about something. Hmm. Excuse me. 
Excuse me. Uh. Huh? What were the two of you just talking about back there? What? Why do you ask? Uh. It's fine. Never mind. Can she? Uh. Huh? I'm really confused. Give Empress Lashara a message. I will be taking care of Kenshi until the day of the tournament to make sure he stays safe. Huh? I even have the student council president's letter of consent. <laughs> talking about. Yeah, yeah. What's up? Apparently, Kenshi is by far the crowd favorite. Pretty much every student and teacher is betting on him to win. Huh? The way the upperclassmen used to chase him around all the time probably has something to do with it. But that's just my opinion. And you know the bookie is Empress Lashara, right? I bet Mazai is making sure Kenshi doesn't get hurt before the games even start. Talk about a traitor! We will get you for this, Kenshi Masaki! No one crosses us and gets away with it! And she's already losing it. What you think we should do? It's probably best to ignore her. Unless you really want to get lost in crazy land. But you guys, what if she does something to Kenshi and he Trust gets hurt? Trust me, you don't need to worry about him. Oh yeah, if anybody's gonna be okay, it's Kenshi. No, not with her he won't. He'll be in seclusion with Miss Mazaya. Think about it, that means he'll be alone with her until the tournament starts. I was just wondering if it would be cool if I went to the restaurant. Sure, let's go. No, I can go by myself. But I would appreciate it if you'd take off this no chain. No way. Huh? Until the tournament starts, or I guess more precisely, until the long-distance obstacle race begins, you and I are going to get to go everywhere <sighs> together. But how come? Oh, Kenshi, uh, why does it even matter? <laughs> I mean, we have already seen each other naked, haven't we? Um... I don't remember that ever happening. And also, I'm a student now, like, officially, and I don't think it's very appropriate or a good idea for a student and a teacher to be sleeping in the same bed together. Why is that? Well, because it's kind of frowned on in my world, or country, wherever it is I'm from. Oh, how very unusual. Unusual? What do you mean? I mean, who teaches you about the opposite sex that way? Your mother? Or your sisters, maybe. Not them. You just kind of pick it up from books and like your friends and that stuff. But we do figure it out. That's horrible. No one teaches you what everyone has the right to know? How are uh, you ever going to uh, find out what's fundamental, uh, applicable, or abnormal, even? What if you learned something crazy on your own and thought it was normal, but only later found out the truth? I Please tell me you I'd don't plan fine. on spending your entire life in the dark about women. This is serious. The adults huh? in your life are ignoring their responsibilities. I'm offering you a chance. I can teach you an entire world of things, Kenshi. <laughs> I don't like that look in your eyes. <laughs> um, am I just imagining things, or are you about to teach me what's fundamental, applicable, or abnormal even? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Crap! I gotta get out of here! I have <laughs> sister-in-laws, aunts, and grandmas who get that same look in their eyes, and I don't like it at all! <laughs> Now, isn't that interesting, baby boy? As student council president, it is by the authority of my office that I hereby commence the competitive tournament. <laughs> This is bad. 
It's pretty obvious who will win each game. If Kenshi wins, we're gonna be in the red big time. Most of the wagers are for him. I think in the red big time is putting it mildly. Then clearly we need to do something about Kenshi! You can't really be serious. Oh, Empress Lashara, you wouldn't. <sighs> we do what we must when we don't have any other options. How is everything running? Great! All the games are proceeding according to schedule. How are the preparations for the long-distance obstacle race coming? Oh, let me check real quick. Why did I get stuck wearing this wacky costume, too? Basically, because I knew while everyone was occupied, you were planning to go on a little stealing spree. Mm. The checkpoints are all set, so the main event is ready to go. Good. And in that case... Let's get ready to start the race. before the race starts. Thanks. <laughs> it looks like they're starting the race now. <laughs> uh. <laughs> What's she up to? Hold on. What the? 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Excuse me, wild beast, 30. but what exactly are you doing? You're in a race. Huh? But the rules said I had to count to 10,000 before I could start to run. <gasps> the rules say huh? no such thing! Now start running! Okay, I'm going. <laughs> Because I'm supposed to have a handicap, I thought. How does that make sense? Are you an idiot on top of being a wild beast? Take it off immediately! Yeah, right! Seriously? Will someone sever this chain, please? Thank you very much! Save the thinking for later! Get a move on! No. You know, Kenshi has a tendency to make that strange sound when he gets really scared. I wonder what that's all about. I have no clue. But I guess it probably comes from being raised by wild animals. Hmm. We finally started running. What do you think the problem was, sir? Oh, I have a couple of theories on that. Right. Curse Lithia. Why did she have to get in our way? But luckily, we have got a plan B. Kenshi, wait! Huh? Sorry, but the course got changed at the last minute. So go this way, okay? Okay, yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> and with that, we've got plenty of leeway. Go me. Poor girl, the pressure must really be getting to her. Kenshi's gone off course. I'm not sure why. You have got to be kidding me! Do everything you can to get him back on track now! Yes, miss. The target seems to have abandoned course, sir. Hmm. This has got to be Empress Lashara's doing. Kenshi was the overwhelming favorite before the race, after all. That's the truth. To be honest, I bet on him myself, sir. Yeah, my money's on him, too. Which only serves to further my point. As the bookmaker, her earnings would take a decent hit if Kenshi were to win. I swear, when it comes to money, Empress Lashara sounds exactly like her mother. I will agree with that. Oh, good, it worked. He's back on course. I only know of one who could even imagine doing something like this. How dare that royal brat! The bookmaker is supposed to expose cheaters, not be the cheater! <laughs> Empress Lashara, Kenshi has somehow found his way back on course. Are you kidding us? Already? We've barely been able to slow that jerk down at all! All right, we've got another plan. Thank you. 
Richard! He almost made it to the lead. The kid's gonna win. Stupid Genji. We're going to break his legs for this. Kid is something else. Dagmire. Thanks, Kiaya. What am I? You're currently in third place. Behind Princess Ara and Kenshi. Yes, but Princess Ara is a dark elf. And Kenshi didn't actually enter any of the other tournament games. Thank you for trying to cheer me up. Sadly, I don't think I'll make that next checkpoint in time as much as I might like to. Then you're stopping? I am afraid I must retire. Uh... However, as a man, I certainly did make a good show of it, didn't I? He's finally catching up. <gasps> I expected it to come down to these two. Dagmire has retired now. All other contestants are out of the race. Well, I wonder who's going to win then. He's keeping up with my pace. Impressive. I guess it's time to take this seriously. We're receiving feedback. Conduct a data check and re-examine it. Right. The data is accurate. Hmm. Please send all acquired data to our motherland. Yes, sir. Looks as though we finally found it. Honestly, how much stamina do those two have? What should we do? They've run the course three times now. All right. Decrease time limits between checkpoints. If that doesn't work, we'll go with the last checkpoint. Whoever crosses it before the other one will be declared the winner. Right. This is actually starting to get challenging. Man, I can't believe I fell for that weird list of rules. I'm getting the idea something bad might happen if I won. What is he doing? Kiaya? I gotta be careful about this so no one catches on. Kenji? Uh, Kiaya? If you back off, I'll take away every crystal you're hiding. So pick up the pace! <laughs> Don't stop like an idiot. Get out there and run! <gasps> such a handful. <laughs> you guys are like brother and sister. <sighs> Princess Aura! Are you okay? You still have some time to make it. What do you want to do? I just can't do it. I think I'm going to have to give up. I've lost the main event. Princess Ara is out. She just retired at checkpoint number nine. That makes it official. The wild beast has finally won the race. Goodness. You seem happy. Why? <laughs> because I am. I bet that Kenshi would be the winner. Oh. <laughs> Me too. We won. What a stupid, stupid head. This is the first time we've cursed our ability to recognize talent. It's like losing your key and being forced to break into your house. But then you end up falling for one of the booby traps you set yourself for your own protection. Uh. Congratulations, Kenshi! Kenshi? The wild beast?
just isn't stopping. Why not? I have no idea he did cross the finish line, but what's more, he isn't even slowing down yet. Can't lose, 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 can't Maybe he was actually a monster instead of a wild beast? I'd love an explanation from his owner. Kiaya must have threatened Kenji with something bad. We imagine that is the reason he's running like a madman. <laughs> she threatened him? It's fine, we're sure he will stop eventually. He must stop now! I need him! The award ceremony's about to start. How would it look if he didn't show up? Oh, yes, we know! Meaning you have a plan? No, but when do you think he'll stop? Wanna bet? <laughs> Kenji, you can stop running! The race is over! I don't think he can hear us from back here. This reminds me of the time Miss Messiah hypnotized him. He's kind of acting the same way. It is possible. Hmm. Well, we might as well resort to using force then! I've been waiting to test this sucker out! No, you can't! Oh, yes, please don't. Too late! as though they're glazed over. I guess he really is in berserker mode, huh? <laughs> hey, Kiaya, why did Kinchi stop all of a sudden toward the end of the race? How should I know? Because you were acting like his sister at the time. <sighs> oh, yeah! Han's help wasn't too smart. You know how intense she can get. Kenji! Kenji, where are you? Kenji! Look who's finally awake. Uh, Princess Aura. What happened? Where am I? The forest? Don't tell me I collapsed from exhaustion during the race or something. Actually, that's not the case. Well, I'm sure I must have lost. I was pushing myself a little bit. Are you listening to me, Kenji? Wow. Sorry if I bothered you. Will you please listen to me? Hmm? You're the winner of the race, okay? For whatever reason, you kept running afterwards like you didn't know. What? I really did? Yes. That's pretty weird. <sighs> it is strange. But you should know how amazing you are. Until you, I only ever lost a race to my father. Thanks a lot. But you're the amazing one, Princess. I've never seen anyone run as fast as you. I mean, other than my sisters, of course. <clears throat> Why, thank you. <laughs> so, Kenji. What's up? I think... Well, I think that I... I think I like you. So, do... Do you... Do you want to be... There you are! Oh, hey, Kiaya! I found him, guys! He's over here! Are you okay? All good? Yeah, I'm just fine. <sighs> oh, and thank you for your help, Princess. I'm really sorry if we were annoying. You're fine. Kiaya! What? If we hurry, Kenshi can still make it to the award ceremony. <sighs> you want to come too, Princess? Thank you, Kenshi. I hear you found it, Uncle. Yes, indeed I did. <laughs> then it only makes sense we get rid of our biggest obstacle first, right? The event is almost here. I think it would be wise for us to avoid doing anything that might arouse suspicion. Huh? Uncle, the job you came to do here is done. Feel free to shut up and watch me work. 
No, Sir Dagmeier, you must not. Please, the students aren't the only ones. The faculty adores that boy, and the staff can't say enough about him. His death will be investigated. Silence! <gasps> You dare to order me? When did I say you could speak? Yes, yes, but she's so right. Besides, Kenshi is far too strong. He's already done a number on Lon and her friends, or have you forgotten? Whatever, this time we know not to attack him head on. You have made no real assessment of his skills, though. Let me help, he will massacre you. <laughs> He's hardly an issue right now. And don't you have something more important than a servant to worry about? On top of that, Kenshi is the one who helped us out the most. Couldn't we let him enjoy his simple, peaceful life just a tiny bit longer? Oh, pretty please. Very well, Uncle. I shall defer to you on the matter this time. <laughs> She'll try something. She is a clever girl, but could you look after her for me anyway? Done. It's all falling into place, isn't it? The real challenges are yet to come. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna dig up a big one tonight. Hey there, I recognize you. Wow, this girl is strong. She's like Kiaya good. I'm sorry. Are you okay? I don't know what's going on, so don't take this the wrong way, but it seems crazy to waste your own life like that. So thank you for saving us. I was only trying to protect the girl, although it appears that wasn't necessary. Well, technically, you did throw a rope down, so there's that. A storm is coming soon. Be careful. Huh? Consider that a thank you for not hurting the girl. A storm? But what do you mean? Hey, that hole is dangerous. Would you mind taking care of it for me? A coro's about to fall in. Huh? Wait! Don't move! Good. That was close. Ah, oh, that lady got away because of you. Storm, huh? I wonder what that means.
must be time for the next ship. Thank you for coming. We've been expecting you. We're in. Target one is under our control. Good. That wasn't as tough as I thought it'd be. And <laughs> they call themselves defenders of the Holy Land. They're not defenders. They usually have pretty good intel, but I guess this time we caught them off guard. Mainly, they just keep an eye on other nations and slap their wrists when they're out of line. <laughs> Whatever they are, apparently they're weak when attacked from the inside. Yeah, normally getting in would be the hardest part. Huh. Sir, we've taken out targets two and three as well. Why don't we just keep on pressing them with an attack and overrun all the guard posts? Because we only have so many sacred Mecha Masters in our possession. There's no point in stretching ourselves too thin, is there? Besides, the last thing we want is for Shurafon to catch on. They're independent, and we do not want them getting involved. On another note, where did Imra go? Beats me. If you're asking my opinion, I think that girl's a complete waste of space, and we're better off without her. Who's there? I hope I didn't inconvenience you, but she was needed. No, don't. If you ever borrow one of my subordinates without my permission again, I will have to punish you. My sincerest apologies, sir, but it couldn't be helped. Sir... We've suppressed targets four, five, and six. Well, since you're already here, you should stay and watch the show. <laughs> Let's go! For this morning we shall all be victors! I need to get as many merit points as I can. Come on, let's crush them all one by one. Time to show them our true strength, gentlemen. Right! right. You'll have to do better than that! What are you doing? It'll revert back to a cocoon if you leave the draft. Oh, right! Why hasn't the alarm sounded? Seventy percent of the posts have been destroyed. Well done. Almost there. Don't you move, huh? What do you think you're doing here, Dagmar? What exactly is this about? Well, it would appear that the Holy Land has fallen under my control. No, you can't! That straw used flagship fortress! I'm demanding a complete, unconditional surrender. The battle is already over. 
Stupid old bag. Let her go. The Shurifan mechanoids have arrived. Huh. It looks like they've kept two hidden. I'm going in. You can handle things here. I'm telling you, those bandits have overrun the central control room. Dagmar is the one calling the shots. All right, you got it. I'm on my way now. Poor hot-headed baby thinks he's in control. Well, we'll see about that. That lady said a storm was coming our way. Maybe this is what she meant. This is more of a typhoon than a storm. Curse you, Lord Babaloon. We do not understand how in the world did they manage to get through that narrow ravine. Empress Lashara, the principal would like a word. <laughs> Could you please explain to us just what is going on out there? We suppose this means you have heard about our current predicament in Strayu. Please, you have to believe us. We had nothing to do with this. No, of course you didn't. However, given the current situation, I believe we have no other choice but to evacuate the campus. But we won't be able to do it without you. Whatever you need. Principal! Go! Get the Swan ready for takeoff immediately! Kenshi! You have to fight them off and keep us safe. You're the only one who can do it. Do you think I could maybe get a little help? The Holy Land instructors have started evacuating the students. But every second that passes, those bad guys get closer and closer. And if we don't do something to stop them soon, we will be in an awful situation. We or you? My family motto is one must clean up their own messes, and I think those are wise words. Perhaps you should consider this, then. If you don't help us out, everyone who's looked after you here is going to be in grave danger. Right. On my way. You are going to hear more from us later on. Kiaya, go and join Kenshi, please. No, I can't. We understand this must be very hard for you. Dagmire's involvement in all of this. He wouldn't do that. Empress Lashara, please hurry! Kiaya, if your heart is telling you to join him, go ahead and go. First up, evacuations! Target 7, silent. It looks like... I don't know why, but we've lost control. Who cares? We've done our part. Have you looked outside? It's complete chaos out there. Hmm. We should go earn some pocket money then. Hey, Wahanli, well, you okay? Yeah, you bet I am. But I'll be doing a whole lot better once I get this thing in the air. Are you close? Hmm? I'm almost done. Just gotta finish attaching the weapons. No, I like it like this. If you weigh it down with stuff, it won't maneuver well. According to Lon's info, this is a sacred mecha mechanics workshop. If we find anything valuable, we take it. Great work! It's like a totally different mechanoid. Thank you. Hey, aren't those two guys part of the gang of bandits that attacked us at the resort? Think so. You handle them. Whoa. Can't she? Hold on! Wait, don't go yet! The way is blocked. <laughs> well, well, this sure is a sight to see. The elf princess is scared. Oh, <laughs> sad. Please don't hurt me. Oh, don't you worry. <laughs> There's nothing to be afraid of. I promise we'll be gentle. Don't touch me! <laughs> What's that? You again! <laughs> I'm very sorry, Kenshi. Unfortunately, it seems you always catch me at my worst. I'm just glad you didn't get hurt. 
They're my least favorite parts of the day. You should have held on to him a little bit longer. Perhaps this was your big chance. Go confirm if there are still students who haven't made it to safety yet. Right! <laughs> Good idea. I didn't even think of that. Will do. Sir Kinchi, please look after our princess, won't you? Princess, <laughs> you should make your move. I'm going to have to duck their pay for this. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> ha! Something tells me I'm gonna like this combat thing after all. Those cowards! Ah! No! That's what she gets for messing with us. How dare you! These dark fields can be a hassle. Finish her off. Is this equipped with weapons or no? No. You're finished. I failed you, princess. I'm sorry. <laughs> what is going on now? Now, let's try to secure the way for the students fleeing to safety. Yeah, good idea. We're taking hits from the outside, but the damage is minimal. The enemy stronghold is increasing. Well, well. Considering it's Dagmire, it could have been much worse. Launch all sacred mechanoids at once. Nothing will stand in Babel's way. Prime Minister. We've received a transmission from Queen Flora of Havonua. Huh. Lord Babaloon, what is going on? What is the meaning of this attack on the Holy Land? A silly question. You know as well as I do what's happening, Queen Flora, so don't play the fool with me. Just be warned. We won't stop till we've achieved our goal. Well, I have to admit. I figured as much. After all, when someone wages war in the Holy Land, it must be for some greater purpose, right? Lord Babaloon! A massive object is coming straight towards us! What's that? Ready, waiting on your command. Commence attack, please. I will make her pay for this. Yet another grand entrance. You know me. I'm happy to take as many of the students and faculty as I can hold. Open the tracks when you're ready. Thanks so much. It means a lot. Well, this is fun. Wait! Miss, what are you doing? It's too dangerous. Please don't do this. I have to. I can shield them while they run for cover. There are too many. You could be killed. 
Hey, it looks like the student council president's gonna get in a mechanoid. <laughs> How about that? Lady Lithia wants in on the action, too. Careful what you wish for. Are you all right, miss? You big coward, you should be ashamed of yourself. <clears throat> I'm gonna make you regret ever calling me that. Lapis, you can't! Yes, I can! I'm protecting you! Stand back! <laughs> <laughs> Serves you right! Look, what's that? It's that kid! That guy? Wait, isn't he Lashara's attendant? You're not hurt, are you? I'm okay. I'm just a little shaken up. Lapis, why are you crying? What's wrong? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just glad you're okay, Lady Lithia. Don't cry. You'll be fine. I'm gonna take care of this. <laughs> Princess Aura, I'm leaving this mecha worker to you. Huh? <clears throat> Where exactly do you think you're going? Kenji, wait! Huh? <laughs> the kid's making a run for it! Calm down, everyone please. The Colosseum's built to withstand attacks like this. You're safe. It's impossible for the mechanoids to pass through Ina's draft. Let's get a head count and figure out who we're missing. Once that's done, classes 1 through 4 go to the church's battleship using Underground Passage 16. Classes 5 through 8 use Passage 29 to reach Princess Lashara's Swan. The rest of you go to Queen Flora's armored train through Passage 7. And make sure to stick to your evacuation routes. Yes, yes ma'am! Line up according to your seating number. Come on, you guys, I'm counting on you, so let's move out. Oh, Dagmire, tell me this is all a big lie. I knew this would happen eventually. <sighs> Sis, where have you been? Your Empress Lashara's personal bodyguard. He belongs to the Mests. Yes, I know that. And I always have. Miss Mazaya! <laughs> Everybody's here and we're ready to go! One by one, all the classes are escaping through the three different passageways! Great, thank you for keeping me informed. You should go and join the rest of your classmates. Yes, yes ma'am! Hey, is that Kenshi? <gasps> Kenshi, no! What in the world is that idiot doing? If you ask me, all the attention he's been getting went to his head. He's just an attendant. He's not a real sacred Mecha Master like we are. from this block managed to escape. Yes. I can't believe, Mother. A shootout between a battleship and an armored train in the Holy Land has never happened before. Yukine, what's the matter? Jackmire! <laughs> Wait a second. That's Kinshi! What could he be doing? Be careful! It's too late. It's 
Tenchi! That jerk. Oh, wow. A total of 1,149 students and faculty have taken refuge in the Swan. So far, everyone is holding up well. The majority of the injuries sustained were minor. <sighs> Unbelievable. We've never seen anything like this before in our lives, that's for sure. Queen Flora has some fight in her yet. <clears throat> What's going on? Huh? Would you care to explain? Wait, explain what? Uh, him! Him! <laughs> It's oh catchy, but it can't be. Is he really a light type? What's a light type? The sacred texts of the church tell us he who is garbed in light shall be the savior of the world, while he who dons the robes of darkness shall be bent on its destruction. Darkness and light? Both of these forces are interconnected. Light can take the shape of darkness, and darkness can take the shape of light. Real white sacred mechanoid. Wow. I'm not surprised. I always knew Kenshi was made to pilot that sacred mechanoid. Amazing. Kenshi's a sacred mecha master? Stop me! Be gone! Kenji, no. It was a trap. It doesn't matter how strong he is, he's got a big disadvantage. He's completely outnumbered. They've got him cornered in there like a poor little Koro. <sighs> What'll he do? <sighs> hey, where'd Messiah go? With all these pillars so close together, he'll have zero maneuverability. Found him. No way! No! Squeeze him from both sides! He's gone? Borderline. 
Fine, be careful. That's good. Come this way. Just a little closer. I'm gonna treat you real nice. Who's piloting that thing? I've never heard of a pure white sacred mechanoid. Oh, I guess you don't know then. Huh? It's Kenshi Masaki. He's the one responsible for fighting the bad guys and saving the day. What? Like, for real? You mean Empress Lashara's attendant? It's that Kenshi? I saw him enter the cocoon with my own two eyes. Isn't that nuts? Kenshi's piloting the white mechanoid. Is it really Kenshi? Oh, yeah, it's it is Kenshi down him. there. Kenshi, he's our hero. That is so amazing. They are enclosed by the draft as they fight around those pillars. It is terrifically difficult. Oh, well, it doesn't really look all that hard to me. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> Messiah? Many great sacred mecha masters who were hailed as experts have fought right here on this hallowed ground, but not a single one of them was able to use moves like he just did. The boy exceeds all our expectations. Dagmire, we should retreat while we still can. Coward. There's no way I'll show my back to that wretch. We're not done. Where are you? Jerk knew exactly what he was doing. He lured us right into his hunting grounds. Mother! Yukine, I owe you big time. Thank you for bringing my baby back to me in one piece. Yes, ma'am. This day certainly has been full of surprises. Can you believe he's a sacred mecha master? Amazing! It's hard to imagine someone wielding that amount of power. One of these days, I'll make that niece of mine give me the inside scoop. <laughs> Thanks to Kinshi, the majority of the enemy sacred mechanoids are inoperable. If we keep pushing forward, we should be able to make them retreat. I wouldn't be so certain. <gasps> Babaloon's still got something up his sleeve. Don't count him out yet. We're here. Babel has reached its target location, adjusting for errors. I have just confirmed the barrier, Prime Minister. Commencing scans. Constructing the anti-barrier circle. up to <gasps> don't tell me Babaloon is after that <sighs> why this can't be Jackfire! <sighs> time to get out of here we can't she's still out there Quarter will be all right. She knows what she's doing. There isn't anything I can do against a monster like this. <sighs> Messiah, what is wrong with you? Say something! Can't you hear my voice? Please, will you just answer me? Messiah! It has been quite
quite a while, Kiaya. What is going on? Tell me, what have you done to my sister? You'll find out soon enough. Stand back. Sacred Megalord pedestal! Something isn't right. <sighs> Messiah. Barrier analysis complete. Sinking now. Zaya is not your sister. Your father excavated her body from the same ruins where he discovered the sacred Mechalord. Your big sister was made by the ancient civilization. That's impossible. See for yourself then. <laughs> on a direct line with the Pope. No, this can't be happening. I don't know how things could possibly get worse. <laughs> the ways of old are resurrected! kids out of here unless of course you want them to die no wait you don't have to do this Messiah, don't go Especially for a mere sacred mechanoid. It's not safe here. Get inside. I'll follow right behind you as soon as I do one last head count. We're not leaving without you. Thank you, but I can't abandon that idiot and my sister. Whatever you do, just get out safely. <laughs> it would appear this is the end. Take your shot! I don't get it. Why can't I attack him? Is it Messiah's personality? Or something else? But no, I have orders and I have to follow them. Hmm. The deterioration of the frame is worse than I originally anticipated. Kiaya! All the students are safe. There are no more stragglers. I think it's about time we sought refuge ourselves. Not yet. Kenshi is still out there. I'm sorry. But there's nothing we can do. What if we create some kind of diversion? If we're unable to retreat at the right moment, we could be killed. And besides, it's very likely we would end up getting in Kenshi's way. We need to get moving. I know Kenshi can take care of himself. 
Can she? Please, save her. Please snap out of it, big sis Messiah. No use wasting your breath. Messiah and I have merged into one being. Her experiences are mine now. I remember all the times we spent together. I remember all sorts of things. Not sure if it's possible, but if you could forget some of that stuff, that'd be great. <laughs> I really did enjoy my time here, and I'm sorry, but I can't stay. But if you wanted, you could come with me. I really wish I could, but my place was never on that side. But what if you came with us instead of going with them? I could make a nice home for you here if you'd let me. I can't do that. I'm dull, remember? Fighting is my only reason for existing. It's how I was created, and how I'll always be. Are you okay with that? This is my destiny, Kenshi. I've no choice. Principal, I've confirmed that all students have made it out safely. That's excellent news. Prepare to launch immediately. Yes, ma'am. Thank goodness you're safe. Damage report. Thanks to Kinshi, we were able to rescue all of our team. Huh. Good. Then let's prepare to launch at once. Queen Flora, we've been able to accommodate all of the refugees who fled this way. There were some minor injuries, but all 221 students made it safe and sound. Excellent. Stand by, arm the cannon. She's still out there. You could hurt him. Oh, don't worry. Something tells me he'll be fine. Right, Yukine? Huh? <laughs> the main cannon is ready to fire. Waiting on your command, Queen Flora. All right, then. Let's retreat to a safe distance. After firing the main cannon, have the front car self-destruct. With any luck, we can cut off anyone trying to track us. Put me through now! It Kenshi. can't end like this. Kenshi! Huh? Wait, Princess Maria? My mother is about to do something incredibly stupid! So look out! <laughs> Zaya. For now, that is the best we can do. We are simply too weak. They'll be overtaken soon, though. Fine, but we should go back to the barrier workshop. Hmm? It's a one in a million chance the sacred meth lord is ever activated. And in that event, Nawa said we should definitely go and see him. My dad said that? Well, all right then. Wait a second, Wahan. This means you're finally going to tell us everything you know, doesn't it? It does. But hold on. Look! Kenshi, take them out. Right. Oh. The frame is breaking down. I guess Kenshi's power was too much for it. It can fight, though, can't it? No, it won't even more. This is not good. It's time the bad guys went. Bye bye. <laughs> Kenshi, look at me. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I seem to remember you telling me you weren't going to dig up crystals anymore. 
So tell me about this. In greater detail, you little twerp! Mew, 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 mew! mew. Come back here! Mew. I'll make you pay for this! Yep. Moron! Glad to see some things never change. Woo! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Hey, Dagmire, there's no reason to be down in the dumps. Your plan was a complete success. Yes, I'm aware of that. Promise you won't do anything crazy. Because who knows? Next time I might not be there to help you out. Well, how did everything turn out? She snuck right in. No one saw her. Everything's on schedule, just as planned. Excellent. I've been waiting for this day to arrive for ages. It's been far too long. Shield of Gaia. Brother. The damage to the sacred Mechalord is worse than we thought. It doesn't matter now. I've obtained the Shield of Gaia. And Kenshi? What about the boy? What are we going to do with him? His power is immense, greater than I ever imagined. <laughs> you laugh? Ignore him. His so-called power is no longer relevant. But if you're still worried, have Dagmire play with the child. Sorry for the wait, guys. Food's ready. Thank you. Hey, Kenji. So you're a sacred mecha master. That's nice. And you're a really powerful one at that. You're so cool. I really hope I'll get the chance to marry you someday. Oh, yeah, same thing here. 
I don't even want to get married if it can't be to you. I wanted to marry you more than I, I saw him first. I didn't think he could get more popular than he already was. After showing how powerful a mecha master he is, it was bound to happen. Dagmire. Kiaya? Uh, Here, you haven't gotten any food yet. Oh. You all right? You seem kind of down. I'm just perfect. Now quit procrastinating, okay? You need to be focusing on your work. Right. What are you doing here? What's going on? How could he attack the Holy Land? Curse Babaloon. No one expected this. Agreed. We personally believed he was only after Shrayu. <laughs> we must admit we're impressed. I don't like the sound of that. Although no matter how you look at it, this is sheer madness. He's turned the church as well as the world against him. He's also activated the sacred mecha lord. We can't just dismiss that as madness. <gasps> and why not? What are you not telling us? You'll have to ask Master Nawa for that information. <laughs> I'd still like to have the real scoop on Kinshi, though. I would appreciate an explanation about him as well, Miss Lashara. Naturally. The truth is, Kenji's from another world. <gasps> I had a feeling that might be the case. But how could it be possible? Even if he'd been in hibernation in the barrier workshop, there'd be no way he could still look so young. Had he been summoned here, that would be the case. However, considering everything he's told us, it is more likely he was sent to our world instead. Yeah, well, I think we ought to leave this little issue to Master Nawa, too. You're late. What's wrong? You don't look well. Are you tired? You're not sick, are you? No, I feel fine. I'm good, I promise. That's wonderful. Empress Ashara, uh. the Church has informed us they will take the refugees we have aboard the Swan at the next checkpoint. Also... They want to question us, do they not? They do. Right outside the giraffe, we're surrounded by trees. Our location for the forward base couldn't be more perfect. First the Holy Land, next up Shirafan, followed by Havonua. I'm hearing rumblings we have fighters that want to quit. We've had a couple of deserters already. I don't need anyone here who has lost the will to fight. They are all free to do as they wish. Well, I can't exactly blame them for being scared. Not after seeing a fight like that. He'll be our first target? Absolutely. Good. But be careful. That boy will be our greatest obstacle. Hey, Dagmire. Is it really the smartest move to make an attack on such a large scale? Don't worry about it. I just want to make sure my reward stays in one piece. Don't take your anger out on my ship. Oh, I won't. But you'll have to finish your job before you get anything. <laughs> They went a little overboard latching us down, don't you think? I wonder how long they're planning to hold us here. Classic war chest funding and post-war management. They most likely only need us to consent to a bunch of different plans they're wanting to make. How much information do you expect them to ask for, Empress? Right now, we're far more concerned with who will be granted the right to own Kenshi. Hopefully, that won't even be brought up. I wonder what Empress Lashara and her crew are going to do. Do you think we'll ever get to see them again? You have a lot on your mind, dear. But we have more important work we need to worry about now. Yes, ma'am. We'll see them again. All the Empress's ladies, as well as that wild beast of hers. Oh, good! <laughs>
compressed bullets? Um, what are those? Are you seriously telling me you don't know what compressed bullets are? Shut up, I've never held a gun while piloting a sacred mechanoid. Since you're a sacred mecha master, you're gonna need to eventually, so I might as well. Okay then, I'll teach you all about them. Go ahead and pick up anything you want! Like just anything? Now use Aho to trap Ina inside of it. Give it a shot. Okay. He's incredible. Just turn yourself in. I will not betray my father. I had no choice but to move forward. You're only headed towards destruction. Despite being a male Mega Master and the privileges that come with it, I am not in actuality free. Please, do not assume my father attacked the Holy Land without reason. The Sacred Mecha Lord. Yes, and Dahl. Messiah, please tell me what happened. What happened to my sister? I'm mostly kept in the dark about that. But why can't you? There is a possibility he could pilot the Sacred Mega Lord. In that case, why not just catch him? He wouldn't be a problem if he were easier to catch. I'm not forcing you to do anything, Kiaya. I'm asking. Please, help me. I need you. Why didn't you kill him? Empress Lashara. One should always pursue whatever brings them true happiness, don't you think? He has the sharpest senses of anyone I've ever met. But when I pointed my sword at him, he didn't wake up. He didn't move at all. No matter what I say, he keeps digging up crystals. He even apologizes to me for it in his sleep. It sounds to us like he is rather afraid of you, Kiaya. What's happened to Dagmar? He's so different than when we were young. I don't understand why he's changed. His smile used to be so gentle. And now, to solace and empty. <laughs> we suppose since he did not play the hostage card with Messiah, he's trying to prove something. Perhaps he wants to show how magnanimous he can be as a ruler. What? Kiaya's gone? We are also missing one air bike, Empress. Really? There's no helping that girl. Well, were you able to plant it in time? I did as you instructed. Mm. You're sure this is the right way? Of course. But are you sure about returning? There will be no room for you since you failed. You don't have to go back. We can still turn around. Don't do anything stupid. Breaking the seal is a serious breach of international law. Is that clear? Are you sure about this? Yes. It's the swan. Well, perfect. Okay, listen up. Ready the ships to give pursuit. You might as well go ahead and write up a bill charging for the broken dock instead. That'll be more effective. So, where are we off to now? 
Well, we have a rough idea, but we're not sure of the exact location. Uh, what is it with that reaction? Just relax. We have everything under control. I just, you know, maybe it wasn't the best idea to force a takeoff like that. It might cause a few problems. And we're kind of packed full of problems right now. We had no way of knowing for sure if they would listen to our explanation of the situation. What could we do? We'd no time to waste. Being assertive was our best, if not only, option. Is that what you call assertive? <laughs> Who are you? Oh, it's you. So you have failed to kill Kenshi. Please, you cannot do this! It's not too late to change your mind! I have no intention of debating what I'd do with you. Nor do I intend to change anything. But why did it have to go this far? We sacred Mega Masters may receive rather impressive privileges, but the truth is we're nothing more than our ruler's livestock. We are forced to carry the shrines of selfish brats like your so-called empress! That's... not true. I'm not even free to choose whom I love. Can you imagine what that's like for me? So why not become sovereign and do what you want? Is that about right? That is right. Those who have the power are the ones that rule. Pardon the cliché, but it's still the truth. Empress Lashara? So this is not about eliminating the sacred Mecha Master class? I'm too much of a realist to try that. Good, we feel better now. If you started spewing childish ideals at us, we would have been far too embarrassed to fight you. Now we'll be able to tear you apart without feeling conflicted. Sounds good to me. We don't have to be the bad guys that way. Look, stupid! We are trying to be tough here! <laughs> that fly over the forest outside the draft? This one. I don't think she understands I lured her to me. She's not very bright. What is that? We created an Ina Void Zone. The Aho Barrier Reactors we planted underground consume all of their Ina. You planned this from the start? Destroy the Swan's Barrier Reactor! That's about to be my ship! So try not to wreck it, okay? Empress Lashara! Let go of me! Keep her still until we're finished with her. How could you? This is too easy. <laughs> Alan! Gunpowder? <laughs> I love this stuff. Eliminate her mecha worker! Destroy that thing! Capture him immediately! Kill him! <laughs> not yet! The swan is almost mine! I'm not finished with you yet! I will have her! Oh, Dagmire. 
Kenshi, the swan! Yeah, I know, don't worry, I'll take care of it. But first, we need to make a little detour. What kind of detour? I found something pretty cool down here. You're finished. <laughs> What's that? Go, Kenshi! A white sacred mechanoid. I hate that guy so much. Going the barrier reactors. Stop it. Where are they? I found one. Not so fast. Ah! Wait, no. Well, it took you long enough. They're going down! This is ridiculous. There's no way we can beat him in a fair fight. Great! Now counterattack! It must be Doll. Messiah. No way! Don't tell me that thing's the shield of Gaia! So not good news. We came to rescue Kiaya, and we succeeded. Luckily, it opened an escape route for us. Let's get out of here! Don't have to tell me twice! My ship is getting away! Curse you, Dagmire. You just can't do anything right. She's not following. I think that's a good sign. Dog! Why are you just sitting there? Go after them! How long do you think it took for... for me to get all the way here to you? You're at your limit already? What good are you to me? <laughs> I have a feeling you wouldn't say that to me in front of your father. You're nothing but a pet to him. Pathetic! <laughs> Try again, Dagmire. I don't have to say I got here in time. Please, forgive me. I am willing to accept whatever punishment you wish, Empress. Well, have you put your thoughts in order? I have. We won't let you off again. Oh. Right. We are done. Isn't that great, Kiaya? <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> I'm still amazed you all knew it was a trap. Someone named Natesai warned us about everything. Who's Natesai? She's an acquaintance of Kenshi's. Uh but even so, she appears to be on the side of the enemy, which we find quite odd. Then why warn us? Our best guess is they aren't solidly united. That makes sense. So what's the plan now? Well, considering Empress Lashara's current situation, I think it would be best if she went into exile and spent the rest of her years in quiet isolation. Do you think we would simply allow things to stand the way they do now forever? Mm -hmm. Do you have something particular in mind, then? That incident in the Holy Land the other day, was it not the most wonderful coming out for Kenshi? <sighs> That's true. I guess Sacred Mecha Masters from all over the world got a chance to see him battle pretty impressively in the Colosseum. If you use Kenshi's duties as a bargaining chip, getting help from other nations will be a piece of cake for us. <laughs> If 
Before we bargain my duties, don't you think we should come up with some sort of excuse to tell the church? Why would we need an excuse for the church? Although I guess this one was technically under their custody. What did you guys do? I never imagined Lord Babaloon was after the Shield of Gaia. It was naive of us to assume he was only after Stride. I'm still quite surprised Messiah was one of them. Summon Lord Nawa here immediately! We don't need a scapegoat. We need to address this Gaia issue. How do we do that? It was responsible for the downfall of our previous civilization. According to our reports, the Sacred Megalord has deteriorated, limiting its maneuverability. Which means we should strike! How can we? The Holy Land's a solid fortress! With enough force, we can still topple it. But coordinating all countries will take time. There's no other way. Meanwhile, they could be repairing the Sacred Megalord while we stand here debating. Our current forces just aren't enough! It's too late! Gaia's seal has already been broken. It would seem our only option at this point is to deploy a special demolition team. A white sacred mechanoid was sighted in the Holy Land. Do we know who that was? I've heard it overpowered Babaloon's mechas, even held its own against the sacred Megalord. That information is convoluted at best, so I'm cautious to trust it. Considering our current predicament, we cannot rely on unconfirmed intelligence. It appears the necessary repairs are going to take a while. I doubt the church is going to stay quiet much longer. What would you like to do, brother? Hmm. They will need to amass strong forces to overrun us. Fortunately, it will take some time for the church to unify all of the nations with them. They'll most likely try to destroy it in the interim. I would do the same if it were me. Hmm. Well, let's buy some time. We could stand a little entertainment. Is this? It is a bill received for the damage done to the checkpoint. And where did they come up with these outrageous numbers? I suppose we could repair the checkpoint ourselves. No. Ah! We can worry about stupid bills that have no due dates later. Let's stick with the plan to see King Shurafon. King Shurafon? He's Princess Aura's father. Shurafon's a big country that's every bit as powerful as Stryu. With any luck, they'll give us some supplies. Although by invading the Holy Land, Stryu issued a challenge to everyone. So I am not gonna get my hopes up. Which means we'll need your mecha workers to work like nobody's business. That's right, you wanna help me with them? Sure, I'm in. What do you want me to do? Still pouting, are we? If you want to apologize to Kenshi, why don't you just do it already? No, I, um... I really don't know. Hmm. Well, I'll see you later. <laughs> hmm. We swear she will never learn. Another world? This Kenshi Masaki I've been hearing about is actually from a different planet. Was he summoned at birth? It would appear, rather than being summoned, his home world must have found a way to send him to us. Well, could it be so? I believe that is more likely than not, sir. Let us leave this matter to Lord Nawa. He will know what to do. Amazing. I never imagined the One of Light would be little more than a child. He's not a child at all. He's a wild beast. He is crude, rowdy, and insensitive. I won't even get into what he did to me. After all, I'm still recovering from that horrifying experience. However, he is a hard worker, I guess. And he has provided significant help. But still. <laughs> It is unusual to see you so talkative, Lithia, my dear. If I may, Kenshi is unbelievably kind. Everyone adores him, sir. In fact, Lady Lithia only started feeling better thanks to an herbal tea he made especially for her. It's the truth. He is a good boy. Reminds me of a Koro running around and playing in the sun. <laughs> I understand. Shurafon Guard, we are happy to guide you to the dock. Please follow us. We would be delighted.
church did? Yes, they have requested all nations aid in reclaiming the Holy Land. Unfortunately, as you can see, there is no need for Your Excellency to become involved. And what will happen to Stryu after they succeed? To cover war expenses, the various nations would obtain joint control over it. Oh, of course they would. You will be permitted to speak with the King tomorrow. Because there was a time when you saved the princess, we welcome you to stay in Shurafan as our honored guests for the time being. Wonderful. Shurafan would fall under their joint control? That's horrible! Um, what's joint control mean? To be blunt, it means Stryu would cease to exist. Huh? Huh. We do not care about Stryu anyway. There's no way you're serious. Unless you're fine with our country completely collapsing. Luckily, Stryu is an extremely rich country. Yes, it may end up under joint control, but the church would still supervise it so no one would do anything inappropriate. And as far as the civilians are concerned, they would just be getting a new ruler. Sure you don't care, because you look like you might. It does seem weird that you'd be so willing to give your crown away. Idiots! We have never intended to rely solely on our parents' assets. We are merely frustrated we won't be able to thrash Babaloon ourselves. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Empress, I've always wondered this. Are you 12? Are you really, like, way older? Because one of my sisters looks young, like you do. But she's, like, super old. Shut up, Kenji! We are definitely a blooming young teen! Oh, look, she's blooming now. <laughs> so back to the point, I don't think it will be easy to convince King Shurafan to help us out. It might be easier if Ara put in a good word for us. Well, I seriously doubt they'll let us see her while we're here. And since we're under house arrest, it isn't like we can break out. That's true. I mean, the castle is probably crawling with guards. Huh? If only there were some way we could let her know we wanted to talk to her. Uh... This is so cool. Huh? Pound them. And so, there you have it. Would you mind putting in a good word with your father so he might offer us assistance? We would greatly appreciate it. Kenshi. Why did he not just tell me the truth? <sighs> we explained everything to you, Princess Ara. Now it is up to you to make a choice on what you will tell the king. Was he trying to deceive me this whole time? Are you blind and never told me? What have you personally witnessed him do? Quit trying to convince yourself he is someone he's not. <laughs> do you even think him capable of deceit? Please. Why don't you picture that silly face of his and actually think about it? I sense your determination, Empress, but I am apprehensive. Are you saying Kenshi isn't good enough for you? I have received reports on what happened in the Holy Land. However, unlike other lands, no one in Shurafan would entrust their life to a talented male Mecha Master. He must be a talented man first. Well, you haven't changed, but tis not all that surprising. In that case, Father, why not judge Kenshi with your own eyes? Oh, is that what you think I should do? Facts speak louder than words. Oh. Hmm. As you wish. Hmm. Empress, are you sure having Kenshi race is the best idea? We are. From what we gather, this will be rather similar to that long-distance race he ran during the tournament. He easily defeated Ara, so there should not be any problems. Okay. Plus, with Princess Ora's attendance showing him the course, he'll at least have an idea of what he's getting into. Hmm. 
Each of the four forest courses is unique unto itself. The first forest doesn't have any traps or attackers. The point is to race through here as quickly as possible. The second forest has traps, and you'll be disqualified if you take more than a certain amount of damage. On top of traps, the third forest also harbors attackers, and they are very good at their job. <sighs> the fourth forest is basically the same as the third, but the attackers are more skilled, and there's a lake that covers most of the land. <sighs> I guess that'll limit where I can go. Ooh! You know, just walking through this course is exhausting enough on its own. Yet he is still as full of energy as when we started. Oh, and Kenshi, the princess wants you to attend a trainer's lecture on how to tackle the courses to improve your time. Sure, I'll go. But I don't actually have to win, right? That's correct, but still... If the king wants to see what type of man I really am, shouldn't I just act like I normally do? Uh... Where are you going? <laughs> All right! What are you doing? Check it out! <laughs> what? They want to hold it tomorrow? Correct. They said they had a tight schedule to keep. Oh, they're underestimating us. Perhaps assuming we couldn't get ready. <laughs> Fine, let's do it. Yes, sir. <laughs> we'll introduce them to our traditional sport and see if he survives. Where are you heading to so late, Kenshi? Hold on, why don't I take a wild guess here? You're on your way to find crystals in the forest? Mm. Fine, I'll go back to my room. Wait just a minute. <laughs> Actually, I need to say, um... Mm -hmm. Well, it's just I... Uh, your pendant. Uh, it must have fallen out when I jumped down. Didn't one of your sisters give it to you? That's why you like it so much, right? Oh, yeah. Red cords are an expression of love. It's a symbol, two bodies that are forever intertwined. I mean, no! I also really like this cord, so leave me alone! Then I promise I won't tell you to swap it out ever again. Thank you. Isn't the moon pretty tonight? Yeah. Do your best tomorrow, okay? Totally! Obviously, the king will win. Yes, most certainly. Now, now. Hoyun's pretty good, too. We want to put all of it on Kenshi. Oh! I'm betting on the king. And why am I not surprised? I didn't expect this many runners out today since the race is so last minute. Not that it bothers him in the least. Of course not. Is this like a sure fun holiday or something? Hello? Mm -hmm. You seem rather carefree, not worried at all. You must be one of those imbeciles. <laughs> the king of Shurafan just told Kenji he was an imbecile. Normally one would refrain from being so blunt, but not Ara's father. He didn't even ask. He stated it like it was a commonly known fact. <laughs> uh, I guess there's no point in denying the truth, is there? Okay. It's time to start the race. So how do you think this is going to turn out? Well, knowing Kenshi, I doubt we need to worry. You are currently in second place, your highness. I am. Second? I wonder if that means Hoyun is out in front. I'm proud of him. He's getting pretty good. Sir, Kenshi's the one in first place. What? He set a new record for the first forest. I doubt he'll be able to keep that pace. <laughs> I'm surprised there aren't any signs of traps having been set off. <laughs> What's going on? I don't feel that boy's presence at all. In fact, the forest doesn't even feel as though it's on alert. It's amazing. Instead, it's almost like the forest is happy. It feels fresh, rather reminiscent of spring in a way. 
fascinating. Has Kenji Masaki passed through yet? Yes. Is there any indication of cheating? No, not according to the Beacon's records, Your Highness. They might as well just tell me where they're hiding. They aren't quite ready to be considered adults yet. There's the third forest checkpoint. Good job, you two. You're almost ready to move on to the fourth forest. Thank you, Your Highness! Have either one of you seen that Kenshi boy? Oh, no, sir. Not yet. Interesting. He's already passed by? Yes, sir. Not long ago, in fact. I see. I'm sure the fourth forest won't be so easy for him. What happened to you two? We were tied up like this before we even knew what hit us. A thousand apologies, Your Highness. Those men could have defeated me if I let my guard down. Yet he took them out like it was nothing. <laughs> I give up, sir. You are much improved, son. But he is still green compared to the other men. Kenshi Masaki, are you superior to me in both stealth and combat? Kenshi Masaki. He isn't here yet. How is that possible? That idiot has done it to me again. Hey, it's Kenshi. We'll kill him. Huh? Oh no, don't tell me I lost. <laughs> we are going to murder you until we cannot murder you anymore. Well, what do we have here? Hey, get that back. You gotta it's be mine. kidding me. You story. better listen to us and we'll rearrange your oh. story. Of course you did. Kenshi, did you get those during the race? I'm sorry. I, I couldn't help myself. It was instinct. I knew it wasn't the best idea to take detours, but I left my stash in the Holy Land, so, you know. What ah! are you? A Koro stocking up for the winter? Oh, I almost forgot. Don't you eat this mushroom at celebrations? <sighs> Oh! Everyone I've met from here seems really happy when I find them, and you put up with Empress Lashara's selfish... I, I, I mean, you've helped her out and stuff, so I figured I could do something to repay you. You should have bet on how fast she could flap your lips. I said I was sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost, yes! I have lost to you, Kenshi Masaki. The trees seem happy and excited when you're around. It's as though you are the very spirit of the forest. I have to say, no one's more suitable to be my daughter's husband than you. Her husband? Kenji, my husband. It's so sudden. Oh, father. This is all so very unexpected. We knew you'd, you'd be able, able to do it, Princess Sora. This is perfect. We couldn't hope for a better spouse for our Kenji. <laughs> you have an incredible amount of power for one so young, Kenji. I assume you must have been trained by a skilled instructor from an early age. That's the Koro alarm! Who knew something like this was hidden within the church? The tricky part now is that it can only be used one time. Take down the castle!
What's the coral alarm? Who knew something like this was hidden within the church? The tricky part now is that it can only be used one time. Take down the castle! Concentrate on the keep. Why didn't we see them coming? How could we, sir? It's as if they appeared out of thin air. What could they be after? The keep. We're lucky. If not for the race, we might have all been killed. <sighs> you have my thanks, Kenshi. You're welcome. We have some sacred mechanoids in the forest practice grounds. That should buy us the time we need for the civilians to escape. All right, let's move out. No casualties, understood? Yes, sir. Burn it all to the ground. Nothing walks out of there alive. We've had enough of your game. You best bastard! King Shurifan? Curse you! How did you escape? <laughs> oh, what's wrong? I'll show you! Evacuations are at 60% in the East District. 75% for the North and South. I think I should help. Please don't. We simply cannot allow a guest to be put in harm's way. Among Mecha Masters, my father is one of the best. So there is no need for you to worry. Anything like this. And you won't again. <laughs> Father! Quickly, Kenji. Save him. The shock from that hit paralyzed its nerve system. <sighs> Gotta do something about that shield. Dagmire, we've wiped out most of the city's infrastructure. Shurifan is finished. <laughs> well, that was easy. All that's left is to finish him off. Dol, try to keep him pinned down. <laughs> so strong. If that trick didn't work, I don't think anything's going to. Oh. What an incredible attack. Even if my shield can withstand it, there's no way my frame will. Here we go! Princess Aura? We've evacuated everything. 
My father and the other sacred mecha masters are all safe. On my way! Dole, go after him right now! Move it! I see. A black sacred mechanoid is unable to use the shield of Gaia to its fullest. It's my fault. I'm sorry I wasn't stronger. Don't take it all on yourself. We're safe in this forest for now. Yeah, but... Kenshi, you fought valiantly back there. I would be honored if you would marry my daughter. <gasps> in battle, you demonstrated what your true quality is. You're a fine man. In every respect, I find you worthy to be my heir. What wonderful news! Kenji belongs to us, King. As such, it would be safe to assume this entire country will be ours as well, correct? Huh? <laughs> um, I'm a bit confused. Surely I'm not meant to take her statement seriously. Sorry to disappoint you, but yeah. When it comes to money, Empress Lashara is never joking around. Well, in that case, all the repairs of the city will be your responsibility. It's only fair. Babaloon is your prime minister, right? What? You give us Kenshi, and we give you the city as is. Does that sound like a reasonable trade? Uh, we'll have to give that some more thought. Your Highness! <sighs> What's the matter? Hey, if we do that, we'll... Kaya's already on the move. If doubt about us begins to fester, it would be disastrous. That last attack turned Stryu and Shurifan into shields for the Holy Land. If something were to happen to Havona while executing our plans would be nearly impossible. It doesn't make sense. How did Lord Babaloon come by all this information? Even if he does descend from a long line of sacred mecha mechanics, he knows far too much. Civilians. No, wait. Considering their current location, it would take them far too long to rendezvous with the team. Since he did stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Gaia, as far as the enemy is concerned, Gaia is the only weapon they have that can oppose the white sacred mechanoid. So we use him as a decoy. Then we should send an intelligence officer to visit Lashara immediately. This is awful! Moments ago, Havonawa was attacked by one of Babaloon's lackeys. Oh. A black sacred mechanoid teleported into an abandoned church. It completely destroyed Havonawa Castle before disappearing. This is a disaster. We could never take the Holy Land now. <laughs> Are we under attack? What was that? Switch the image to display our headquarters. That's where we keep the supply transport. Gaia has returned. I assume you'll be leaving with Empress Lashara. Of course. Lord Babaloon needs to be stopped immediately. He has devastated our capital. Shurafan's answer must be firm. <laughs> or is it that you'd rather spend time with your groom, perhaps? Uh, what? No! I can't tell you enough how much I approve. He's a great reason to go. Besides, you've got quite a bit of competition. Mm. Follow your heart wherever it takes you. Do you mean that? Just don't lose! Yes, sir. Strength and courage be with you! Can she take care of our princess? Now then, let's prepare for a counterattack! Right. So, what's the situation at the church's headquarters? Well, the good news is the Pope wasn't hurt in the attack, and they were able to maintain minimal operability over their system. But still... Our usual sources of intelligence have no information. All right, then we will stop in Havonawa on our way to the barrier workshop. But do you really think that's wise? Well, in the event that we just so happen to get into a big fight with Lord Bobaloo, we can do so without worrying about disturbing other nations. <clears throat> can we really wage a war in Princess Maria's land? Yes. As a way of paying homage, we will have to leave a flower by her grave. You do realize you don't actually know if she's dead yet, right? It's a church ship. We can see right through that camouflage. What are those idiots thinking? Judging by their course, I would guess they're planning a rendezvous with the Swan. Um, why don't we take advantage of that? Good idea. Do it. Leave them be. Hey, how about you give it a rest, Dolly? Don't lose sight of that ship.
Lady Rhea, those are Lord Babaloon's mechanoids. I thought they might show up. Take out the power reactor. Just try to minimize the damage when seizing the ship. I'm all over it. The engine has been hit. Power is starting to shut down. Fire a distress signal now. It's a distress signal. That church ship needs help. Kiaya, Kenshi! Hurry! Seize that ship before they get here! You've done well. Surrender as soon as I eject. Yes, yes ma'am. Heads up, you guys. It's an escape pod. Shoot it! Take it down now! No luck. It's way too fast. You idiots. Now they know what your plan is. The ship is yours! We surrender! Please, cease fire! Kill Please, them! We Kill surrender. them all! The ship belongs to you! They'd already surrendered! Please, it's not like we could take it with us. <sighs> Kiai, I think something's moving in our direction. Huh? Whoa, what was that? An escape pod! Uh... Hey, wait! What is she doing? Was close. Kenshi, is anyone hurt? No, she's just passed out. Oh, <sighs> good. Kiaya. We confirmed that there was an explosion near the distress signal. I need your help. Got it. I'm on my way. Kenshi, can you handle taking her to the swan yourself? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> How are you feeling? Are you okay? This place... is it the Swan? Mashara's ship? It is. I thought so. Uh, hey, maybe you should lie down. No, please don't! Well, I'm glad to know that this isn't a dream. I guess you're feeling better then? I'm perfectly fine. I just passed out from shock. I appreciate you saving my skin. Fainting was not part of my plan. My name's Rhea Second, and I've been sent here by the church to speak with Empress Lashara. I think we can arrange that. But first, could you maybe, uh, let Kenshi go? Uh, oh, so sorry. <laughs> also, do you know what happened to the ship I was on? Hmm. By the time we got there, it was already destroyed. We were too late. I understand. Why does that lady hate me? Hmm. This doesn't make sense. Can you explain to us why they want him now? We understand that you are attacked, but the church hasn't lost its ability to function, has it? No, but that wasn't Babaloon's intention either. If he had wanted to, he could have taken us out. The church's headquarters and all our operational systems were completely vulnerable during the attack. Babaloon had other motives. The attacks on Havonua, Shurafan, and the church were meant to send a message to the other nations. He's proved they can no longer remain peaceful bystanders. Not anymore, at least. Yes. Even if we destroy all of the church's teleportation units, he's just going to try something else. If all the other nations are using military forces to defend their lands, they won't have enough fighters to launch a successful invasion. With the Holy Land's three bordering nations being used as a shield, it would require an even larger force than before. Babaloon's army may be small, but it's extremely deadly, because he still has Gaia. 
Gaia is the only weapon Babaloon has that can stand up to Kenshi, but we can't let them fight one on one. Well, not yet. Yes, I am fully aware. Sir Kenshi, or rather his sacred mechanoid, is not up to the task. I think it's time for you to pay a visit to the barrier workshop. Have we received a report from the liaison? Unfortunately, we have not yet heard back from anyone we have sent. I see. And what of our transmissions? Both our headquarters and broadcast systems are inoperable. If only Swan had a marker. Well, too bad. We've no choice but to continue with the plan. No, we can't! There simply isn't time to debate this any further. If we don't act now, things could get much worse. Do you have a second? Hmm? Ah. Sorry to interrupt, but I'm just so happy I couldn't help myself. You know. We can't talk with you all the way over there, can we? Ah, uh, no, Miss Second. You can call me Rhea if you like. Ah, uh, okay. If it makes you feel uncomfortable, you don't have to. Oh, no, that's not it exactly. It's just... The thing is, that's my mom's name, too, so it's kind of weird. Is that so? Nothing against you or your name, I swear. I understand. I would love to hear about your mom sometime. Okay? Families have always interested me. Parents are linked to the past, and we're their link to the future. What about your dad? I bet he was a pretty neat guy. He's just a weird old man, really. Huh? I don't get it. Do you and your father not get along or something? No, I love him. He's a funny guy. Funny, huh? That's sweet. Hey, if this conversation's getting you down, we can talk about something else. No, I'm all right. I'm just a little jealous, that's all. Oh, sure. Look what we have here. Do you care to tell us what you ladies are doing hiding behind that tree? Uh, nothing. Sure doesn't look like nothing. It's not nice to spy, and besides, Kenshi's only trying to get some info. Yeah, well, maybe that's all we're trying to do, too. Besides, how do you know she's not here to kidnap him? Uh, oh, please. A male sacred mecha master is completely capable of protecting himself. That's exactly why we can't let her get too close to him. It's great that our business with him is prospering like this. <laughs> but what if the church were to take him away from you? What would you do then? Wait, what? Generally speaking, the summoner owns anyone they bring from another world, but in Kenshi's case, there is no summoner. The long and short of it is, it's up to Kenshi to decide who he'll side with. <laughs> you see them, right? I wonder what they're up to. <laughs> Beats me. I'm very pleased you could make it today. Depending on your performance, I will consider making you ranking officers in Shryu's army. I'm expecting a lot from all of you. Keep your eyes and ears open. Are you sure about this? The majority of them are second-rate ronin and money-hungry bandits. You got a problem with bandits, girly? Because we're way better than a twit like you, that's for sure. Bandits have seen more combat, and at the moment, that's what I'm looking for. But if I were you, I wouldn't forget your place, Lon. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna use us like pawns. But don't worry, I guarantee you'll get your money's worth. I can't thank you enough. It was a big help. I hear you did a number on Havonua. So does it feel good being done with that council of idiots, uncle? Hey, watch your mouth, or you're not gonna get the gift I'm about to give you. I've got some information about a male sacred mecha master who fled from the Holy Land. I can tell you exactly where he is. His name, though, I forget. Ceres? Yeah, that's it. How did you know that? <laughs> well, well. Looks like luck's finally coming my way. Havonawa's border's up ahead. Let's all cross our fingers and hope they haven't hijacked Meteor Fall. What's Meteor Fall? It's a defensive weapon that protects the Havonawa border. Any bad guys who try to break through will have to deal with Meteor first. If they cross the border on a ship like so, it drops a big boulder on them from way up in the sky, like, BAM! Take that, bad guys! 
That's really all it does? Primitive. But its destructive powers are tremendous, making the border quite hard to penetrate. That must be why the Black Sacred Mechanoid chose to teleport inside instead of trying a frontal attack. Going head-to-head -head with Meteor Fall is way too risky. Are there any ways around it? This is the only path large ships like ours can pass through. It's easier to keep an eye on things that way. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Stupid old Maria, she is about as smart as a Koro. The audacity of the incompetent moron to protect her country's border with such a silly trap. She is incomprehensible. Empress! Meteor Fall is missing! No! That can't be! This is where Meteor would normally stand. Do you think they destroyed it? No way, there's no debris at all. At least we don't have to worry about passing through now. Still, I should scout out the area first. Good idea. Kenshi, you should go along with Ara. Sure thing. This is weird. I don't see anything out here. You're right. I do not foresee any issues. Look over there. Yet another place has been destroyed. Judging by this, we doubt she is still alive. Rest in peace, cousin. We will take your country for ourselves and rule it in your place. Slow down! We're not even sure if Maria is dead yet. Kenchi, I know that old bag was fond of you. I hope you're not taking this too hard. Flora might still be alive, too. Seriously, think about it. How do we know Queen Flora didn't flee this place with Princess Maria? Because our aunt is extremely stupid. She would not have the sense to flee. Right. We've never been here before. It's kind of unusual. The city doesn't seem very residential, does it? That's because civilians didn't live in this area. This was a government district. It used to be the heart and soul of Havonua politics. Oh, wow. <laughs> Increase speed now! Meteor fall. All right, let her rip, boys. Our escape route is blocked. The Swan will be in big trouble if we sustain a direct hit from them. Hey, but what about all my buried crystals? Are you kidding me right now? Crystals? They'll be destroyed along with all of the Swan. Ah! Oh, stop the boulder dropper! Meteor Fall is kept in the air by the suspension systems located on each of the four legs. So then there's a chance we can escape if we destroy at least one leg. Concentrate your attack! No luck. The stone is far too thick. In order to damage it, we need to move in closer. We can't. Any closer in the Ina gets them, preventing our output from working properly. Plus, my mecha worker isn't supposed to be up this high at all. Do they really think I'll let them destroy this? Give them a shot across the bow. You got it. Kiaya, look out! <laughs> if we don't do something, the swan is done. Yes, but what can we do? Hmm. 
nearing target. I'll be there soon. Oh wow, this is the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. Come on, let's go ahead and finish them. Meteor fall! It's moving towards us! Well, this is unfortunate. What do you think, Wahan? Ideas? I sure wish I did, but I don't. Get closer. But how am I supposed to do that? Take him out, now! Fox! There's something headed our way! What? Hurry up and show it to me! A sacred mechanoid? <sighs> Who's that? I've reached my operational limit. Guys, the reactor output's down! Let's go! All right! Is he going to compress the entire boulder? But we're outside the draft! Oh no! Ah! At least we'll get the swan. Saved our lives. Thanks a lot. Did they hurt you? Yukine! Where'd you come from? I thought I recognized your frame. We're glad to see you. Oh, thank goodness. You're safe. Oh. Good timing. You just barely made it. Dagmire. Wait, when did this happen? What happened to Quarterline? No word yet. We lost all contact with them. <laughs> you screwed up, Mom. Way to go. to Hobonawa's underground city. I'm so thrilled to see you all here safe and sound. You've had quite a journey. Great. We wasted a whole bouquet of flowers over you. We'll be submitting an invoice for that expense presently. If it weren't for you, Kine, those flowers would have been for you, and don't forget it. Oh, how nice. It really is great to see them back together. Yeah, and at least I don't have to worry about her anymore. <gasps> Can she? Oh, there you are, darling. Long time no see, Flora. <laughs> oh, that's right. My apologies. I have to call you Sir Kenji from now on, don't I? I'll admit, never in my wildest dreams did I think you were a sacred mecha master. Yeah, sorry for not telling you earlier. Please, I forgive you. But only if you marry me. Aunt <laughs> Flora! We need to speak with you right now! <sighs> Maria? Mother? From this moment forward, you're officially in command. Me? One day, the fate of our country will rest on your shoulders. Get some practice. Really? Now, where were we? What do you say we leave the hard stuff to these girls here? And we go rekindle that old back! I see. The rumors about this family are true. Oh, good grief! Will someone stop her? The situation in the area surrounding the Holy Land is bad, to say the least. Yes, it is. This is certainly unfortunate news to receive. 
Since the church cannot be relied upon to form an alliance, we have no other choice but to act ourselves. Havonua is no different than any other nation you've mentioned. First and foremost, we must protect our own borders. <laughs> the capital has already been decimated, and there's no guarantee Babaloon won't attack us again. <laughs> we, we must determine how many of our forces we can dedicate to an offensive strike. Defending our borders matters, but we can't sit by and ignore this threat. We should also evacuate vulnerable areas and move those civilians to a safer place. If we do, we can dedicate all our sacred mechanoids to the cause. The farms in the highlands are a great place for the refugees. Martial law has already been declared in acceptable areas. On your order, we could begin relocating them tomorrow. Let's change the timetable for the railway to the highlands. If you're willing to give the order, we could open up our supply base as well. Our opinion of Havonawa just improved quite a bit. It's very different from where you're from, that's for sure. Yes, indeed. We're not so selfish here. We don't think only of our own interests and flee for safety after being attacked. <gasps> that is enough! You have already reached a resolution, haven't you? You set this whole farce up just to gloat. This is about more than rubbing it in your face. Before a resolution is reached, there is much more to be discussed. The issue is ownership of Kenshi. No! What? Of course. It all makes perfect mm. sense. <laughs> Indeed. No way. Kenshi is vital to a Holy Land strike. Depending on him, our military strategy and line of authority could change dramatically. It is unclear who is allowed to give him orders in combat. At Shurathon, this was left ambiguous. But we must reach a decision now. Oh. Empress? Everyone. Mm. I'm sure Sir Kenshi needs some time to think, and we will grant him that. We will hear your decision tomorrow morning. Is that acceptable, Sir Kenshi? Uh, yeah, all right. Lashara, I hope she's okay. Oh, don't worry about her. She's gonna be just fine. <laughs> Still, if Kenshi ends up going a different way, it has the real potential to completely devastate her. Huh? Getting Kenshi was like striking gold, but now all of a sudden she's on the brink of losing everything. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Empress, could you at least eat one bowl of soup? Maybe she's asleep. Let's give her space and leave her be for a while. Can I talk to you? Okay. At any rate, there's no point standing in the hall like a bunch of morons. Let's go. Yeah, you're right. This isn't something you can decide at the drop of a hat. It's a big decision. <laughs> but I can tell by the look on your face that you still don't have a clue. You've got friends, so go ask them. Who knows? Maybe they can help. This is the type of decision that you must make for yourself. Just know wherever you choose to go, I will be right there. You should do whatever makes you the happiest. Follow your heart and you can't go wrong. Do whatever you want to. We just want you to be happy, that's all. Right, Yukine? Or follow your instincts and do what gives you the most pleasure. By that I mean pick me. Mother's 
You're not being helpful, not even a tiny bit. Can she? What's important now is not to ask what should I do. That's nothing. Instead, just ask what do I want. You should have said that to begin with. Then maybe everyone wouldn't call you the Horny Queen. They what do I want? Hey, there she is. <laughs> Empress Lashara! <sighs> oh, you big idiot. You realize this is exactly why Lithia calls you a wild animal. What are you doing out here so late? Looking at the moon. It's amazing. Actually, it reminds me of another full moon I saw once. It's gorgeous. Sometimes life gets so crazy, it's easy to forget how beautiful this world really is. So have you made up your mind? I'm getting close, but I haven't had the chance to hear you out yet. You should decide for yourself. Isn't that what everybody else told you? Oh, yeah, that is sort of how it went. We have nothing to say to you, then. No. Uh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Even though we're still very young, childhood never really happened for us. To become royalty, childish things were sacrificed. And for what? We didn't do anything to earn what we are today. Nothing! We did not choose or ask to be born into this life! Like a flower forced to bloom, but having no clue how to survive. Don't leave. We're begging you not to go. <laughs> when I first came to this world, I was alone. But then you took me in and you gave me a real home. And I'm so grateful for that. <laughs> oh, uh, there's something else uh, I want to ask you. Well, what is it? Would you be willing to sell me the swan? See what? Like I said, I'd like to purchase the swan. But the thing is, I don't have any money, so I'd have to pay you for it later. Are you stupid? Here's the deal. I officially have no intention of allying with any nation or becoming anyone's property. So the swan will become my kingdom, and I'll fly my ship anywhere I want. But I'm gonna need help. Mainly, a crew of individuals willing to make sure the thing doesn't crash. Who here wants to sign up to be a part of something great? Uh, show of hands? Anyone? Take it the church has no objection to this? Not at all. Well, in that case, we are coming along. Me too. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Neither would I. If you go, Yukine, I could be convinced. <laughs> hey, don't forget me. I'm sorry, but you can't go. Uh, why can't I go? This is for your own good. Come what on, a relief. I don't think my new country would make it with her there. Now that you've declared your independence, and since you are nice enough to allow us to join you, it's only fitting we hold the first emergency session of the National Congress. Sounds good. What's on the agenda? Just one thing. I propose we make crystal excavation on the swan illegal. What? This is a terribly important proposal. It sure is. And it's one that must go into effect immediately. I do feel for you, but it just cannot be helped. 
then let's put it to a vote. Uh, wait! Raise your yet. hand if you agree. Ah. Oh. Well then, it looks like the motion carries. No way! I object! Besides, this is my country! Oh, shut up! We can't let you destroy the only country you currently own, you big moron! <laughs> no fair! Quit your whining. We got a barrier workshop to visit, so let's get a move on, everyone. Follow me Do I look like I care? Do what you were told and do it now. I'm sorry, but I really can't. I need to get approval from Lord Ulita first. <laughs> Ulita isn't here right now, is he? I say go ahead and do it without his approval. Okay. <laughs> the barrier workshop tomorrow. Yes. Even Kenshi cannot defeat Gaia with only a sacred mechanoid. It is my understanding that Lord Nawa has set something up for us. Well, that's encouraging. Perhaps he can handle giving Sir Kenshi a power-up and whatever else he may need while I find a way to coordinate with Shurifan and prepare a counterattack. I believe we are almost completely done evacuating the civilians. I have a feeling King Shurifan is hardly going to want to sit there and quietly take a beating. Of course not. It will be easier to take action now. We don't have a castle to defend, so we can focus on offense. Queen Flora, I'm sure you're aware the church lost some of its functions, but our cocoons and most of our weapons have been left untouched. I certainly don't mind giving you the password to the underground shelter so you can make use of them. That would be wonderful. I was getting worried about our lack of supplies. If Havoniwa and Shurifan can form an alliance and we get everything we need from the church's shelter... <laughs> Is it just us, or does she look like she's dying for revenge? After watching our country get trashed the way it did, she's most assuredly out for blood. What are you two girls talking about? Oh, nothing. You know, it's disappointing. I mean, the great and wonderful King of Swan should be present while we're having such an important discussion, but he's not here, and that makes me sad. Well, we cannot do much about that. Your great and wonderful King of Swan has other obligations at the moment. when I'm supposed to be a king. Oh, really? Huh? I didn't realize you were the kingly type. Okay, I'm not. It even felt strange to say that if it makes you feel any better. It does. Besides, this is an important job and you're the only one who can do it. 
True. Without those compressed bullets you're making, we wouldn't have enough energy to be able to fight outside of Venus Draft. This technology is like super brand new. Your compressed bullets will make the best fuel, and we're recycling garbage to make them. When Lashara found out this particular project wasn't gonna cost her anything, I thought her head would explode. Bottom line, those bullets are important, so keep working. Okay, I'm on it. <sighs> what do you think that's about? Let's head back to the swan. <laughs> what is the situation? We've spotted mechanoids we think belong to Lord Babaloon. Four total. Only four? I wonder why. among the ranks on screen now the frame under attack has been identified as Ceres Taito's sacred mechanoid it has why is Ceres here no I can't this doesn't make sense why is he so far from home going on after his previous incident I thought he had moved to a small mountain village with his girlfriend and gone into hiding if that's the case then what's he doing inside of a sacred mechanoid why are you asking me it is not as though I know what is going on either right we almost forgot you were useless what a direct hit <gasps> crap he's been hit Kenchi? Just to be safe, have the swan wait for me right here. I've never seen those frames before. Are we sure they belong to Babaloon? There he is. Curse that stupid man. What is he up to this time? We'll shoot you again if you keep screwing around. <laughs> Move it or lose it. Whoa! <laughs> Sure, this is what you want to do, Sir Dagmire. You can still stop. Not another word out of you. I approve this plan. Do not question it. The way he keeps dragging his feet makes him real easy to catch. Come on, he's just a little sleepy. I must have showed the poor guy too good of a time last night. Yeah, right. He's worn out because you wouldn't stop playing with him afterwards. <laughs> hey, it was my first time with a male sacred mecha master. I got carried away. <laughs> I wonder, will you go any faster if I relieve you of one of your arms? <gasps> what the? <sighs> I knew he'd come. Leave him alone! you in there, isn't it, Ceres? I'm sorry. Can she? <gasps> we knew it had to be a trap. <sighs> I'm going out to help him, Empress. <clears throat> Yukine, you go too. Ceres? I'm sorry. 
I can't. I didn't. What happened? I thought you were living with Hasaki away from all this. I was. Until. that a councilman sold him out. That's horrible. You mean a dirty scoundrel who abandoned his country and queen to save himself. He probably thought it was the perfect ingratiating gift for Babalu. That man's shame is without boundaries. <gasps> is that what I think it is? Close in on the Mecca's back. It's the sacred Mecha Lord's barrier reactor. The who's what reactor? Mecha Lord's. The Holy Land has documents on it. I know because I've seen them. <laughs> Him. He's planning to self-destruct. <gasps> How do you know for sure? After the excavation of the sacred Mecha Lord, a replica of its barrier reactor was made. But the trial model went out of control. It ended up exploding during a test. The Holy Lands Colosseum was built in the crater made by that explosion. Are you serious? But barrier reactors always have limiters to keep that kind of thing from happening. No, not always. That one was not given a limiter. You two stay back. We must all be prepared for the worst. Aura has left. Will she make it in time? Knowing how fast she is, she might. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry. I didn't have a choice. Ares, where's your girlfriend? At the ruins up ahead. They said that... They said they'd let her go if I did what they told me. And it went according to plan. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it should be just about time. Gotta say, I like how you know more ways than one to use a sacred mechanoid. Now, why is Dagmire the guy in charge again? Oh, come on. Knock it off, Lon. <laughs> I suppose she served her purpose. We should get rid of her. <laughs> Not even close. Don't be stupid. Why waste a good thing? She can still make us a lot of money. <laughs> I didn't have a choice. I couldn't save her any other way. I couldn't help it. I'm sorry, Genji. Did they torture you? Kenji! I'll have those restraints off you in no, no. time. No! You and the swan retreat! You want us to leave? Get out of here! Retreat immediately! But why? Retreat! That's an order! <clears throat> swan, did you hear that? You heard him! Retreat immediately! But we can't leave yet! What about Kenji? We need to trust him. He must have a plan. What in the world does he think he's going to do?
Sounds like the plan was a success. <laughs> I'm taking girlfriend with me. I'm sure someone will be willing to buy her. We swore to release her once the operation was over. That's the only reason Ceres agreed. Oh, man, you cannot possibly be that naive, can you? And you cannot possibly be that depraved, can you? Don't waste time over this nonsense. We need to confirm they're dead. <laughs> what was that? It's another black sacred mechanoid. Kenshi. How is he still alive? He can't be. The operation was a success. He's supposed to be dead. <laughs> Let's move out. Right. right. Okay, we're up. <laughs> is that truly Kenshi? Oh no! Wait, it's not exploding. I think he might be compressing it. Let's save her while Kenshi's distracting them. Okay. And so he lives. Not for long, though. This time I'll kill you myself! Girlfriend is the only loot we got out of this? Talk about a waste of time. <laughs> Son of a... Azuki! Uh, Siri! still alive how hard is it to die i had a perfect plan but you ruined everything <laughs> what's wrong with this freak <laughs> yeah. it's not supposed to be like this Do you remember 
what the principal said to us. He who is garbed in light shall be the savior of the world, while he who dons the robes of darkness shall be bent on its destruction. In his case, before others, Kenshi would first destroy himself. Sorry, please forgive me. This wasn't your fault, Ceres. Really? But still, more importantly, don't you want to seek sanctuary in the swan with your girlfriend? Sanctuary? <laughs> yes! That is a brilliant idea. Swan does have Havonawa, Sharifan, and Stryu. We have their splinter groups, she means. <laughs> or their blessing to function as an independent country. It's an independent country? Uh huh. And it's all mine! Refer to us as a splinter group. I was waiting for that. <laughs> Suppose our shortcut turned into a bit of a detour, but all is well. Thanks to that particular deviation, we ended up getting our hands on a male secret mecha master. Oh no. You were going to make us a fortune, so work that little butt of yours off, got it? We shall arrive at the barrier workshop momentarily. This is the barrier workshop? Master Nala, I just got back. Father, did you hear about Mazaya? Yes, I have heard the reports, dear. Empress Lashara, I want to apologize. I am... Oh, don't worry. You have continually provided satisfactory results in everything you've done. The rest is trivial in comparison. Thank you, Empress Lashara. Wahan, go to the workshop and retrieve our little surprise. Yes, sir. <laughs> You're Kenji Masaki, aren't you? Uh, yes, sir. If you don't mind, I'd like to check on something. Could you follow my assistant, please? Yeah, sure thing. <gasps> Ray, are you okay? <sighs> yes, I'm tired, that's all. Take her with you. She can get some rest in the lab. If you could both follow me, please. Thank you. How's Dagmire? <laughs> I see. And what do you think we should do now? I don't have the slightest clue. That's up to Dagmire. <laughs>
I detect no abnormalities, so she should be fine after she gets some rest. Now, if you could just come with me, please. It will take a while for us to receive the results from Kenji's tests. In the meantime, I should tell you about our ancient civilizations. We are guessing this has something to do with Messiah. It does. Uh... Unlike now, a previous civilization was almost entirely unified under one nation. Naturally, they still had divisions such as states, cities, towns, and villages. Oh? Did the government eventually grow corrupt or suffer from civil strife? Otherwise, why would they ever need sacred mecha lords? I think they were most likely created well before the unification took place. Actually, believe it or not, sacred mecha lords were invented after the unification. Why is that important? Namely, sacred mecha lords were not originally developed for the purpose of fighting. Not for war, at least. At first, there were festivals held to promote cultural exchange. These gatherings were similar to a tournament and a world's fair combined into one. Giant man-like robots were exhibited there. The robots became popular, so they were adapted. Soon they could compete in various games. Nice! That sounds like fun to us! Eventually, the robots were used in public fights. Battles that were used for citizens viewing entertainment. Around that time, people began calling the robots Sacred Mechalords. That still seems fairly logical. The Sacred Mechalords were anything their creators wanted them to be. From the object of gambling in the far corner of town, to incredible creations the elite took pride in pushing to their technological limits. But surprisingly enough, even the greatest sacred mecha lords weren't any stronger than our modern-day mechanoids. In fact, what was thought of as a talented pilot at that time only wielded as much strength as what we consider to be a second-rate mecha master today. That must be why they started summoning people from other worlds. Yes, Dark Elves, for example. Uh, we were summoned? That's correct. The Dark Elves peculiar defective time is evident. It's a remnant of the effect of residing in this world's environment. I just can't believe it. But weren't they more technologically advanced back then? If that were the case, why couldn't they control the sacred mecha lords remotely instead of using pilots? You forget they were playing sports, athletic competition between the living, not robots. <laughs> However, development wars quickly escalated. Once they began developing more and more advanced technology, they decided to start tweaking the pilots in addition. Hmm. Making things quite volatile, we assume. At first, they primarily relied on mechanical assistance, or had those with strong Aho tolerance marry. But it didn't take long for someone to try to create pilots from scratch. And that's where Messiah comes in. Is that not what happened? As the tournaments became more of a show, the audience called for greater excitement. The pilot death rate began to rise dramatically. They couldn't exactly force more pilots to fight, either. That's when something called core crystals came into play. They stored pilots' skills and experience inside of these core crystals. After the pilots died or became too old to fight any longer, the crystal could be transferred into another body, allowing them to be restored to their original state. Basically, the core crystals were the pilots. In layman's terms, these special bodies were sacred mecha masters. Interesting. The data stored largely specialized in combat, which is important. Hmm. Because that's what made them start to lose whatever emotions they had. Hmm. And as a result, misinterpreting an order could cause them to go berserk. Ultimately, the sacred mecha lords became incredibly powerful. They eventually pushed civilization to the brink of destruction. How foolish. It's unbelievable. Whatever survivors were left completely abandoned Aho power and were forced to flee. It's odd, 
The Mecha Lord would prove to be the strongest of all the frames back then. By destroying that civilization and all other Mechas, was also the only one that had the ability to move freely outside of the Ina Ocean. You'll have your test results soon, Kenji. I hope you don't mind waiting here. That's fine. sacred mecha lord the world had ever known. Messiah was one of three artificial fighters made specifically to defeat that mecha lord. In order for her to understand ambiguous commands, they decided she needed to have personal interaction, so she was raised by a family as a normal little girl. My sister is an artificial being? I don't understand. She looks so normal to us. We share the exact same physical structure. She can even have children. She can? What amazing technology. Did the three fighters defeat the sacred mecha lord? According to literature, Messiah and one other artificial fighter fought against the sacred mecha lord, Gaia. The records indicate they won, but at the cost of one of their lives. And Babaloon? Do you think his sacred mecha master barrier reactor originally belonged to them? Of course, and they must have removed the limiters, most likely while opposing Gaia. They went that far? All right, so what happened after that? The citizens destroyed the remaining sacred mecha lords and erased her memories. They reverted Messiah to an infant and sealed her deep within the planet. They could neither disassemble nor destroy the shield of Gaia. As you already know, they sealed it within the Holy Land. And that means that the church must have been created to protect it. Mm. Gaia tried to destroy everything in its path that made it rather difficult for the survivors to live in the Ina Ocean. The church as we know it now had a precursor. That group secured distribution, transportation, and allocation of goods in order to help support those citizens. I suppose that explains why the church ended up being so influential in so many countries. The church supplies dangerous technologies such as sacred mechanoids and Aho barrier reactors, so we will never have to relive the nightmare created by Gaia. What's more, to keep the church from corruption, they've implanted memories of the event into their subconscious minds. Then why did the sacred mecha lord ever get excavated to begin with? Well, the thousands of years that have passed since then have purged our citizens of those horrendous memories and legends. Stryu excavated the sacred mecha lord from the Holy Land because it had originally belonged to them. After an experiment went wrong, the church learned of its return and claimed the Holy Land for themselves. In order to prevent nations from competing over sacred mechanoid development, the church began using the technology it had stored to supply nations with their own sacred mechanoids. So the countries must have started training sacred mecha masters to control those mechas. Twenty years ago, a capsule was found in the Holy Land. Or rather, I should say, a capsule unearthed itself in the Holy Land. Was Messiah inside of it? The capsule had been set to return to the surface once it reached its operational limit. Those who originally sealed the capsule underground probably felt sorry for Messiah. Well, I certainly did. That's the reason I raised her as if she was my own daughter.
But it doesn't make sense. If you raised her, why is she choosing to obey Lord Bobaloon's orders? I don't believe she has a choice in the matter at all. He's most likely taking advantage of a safety feature designed to keep her from going berserk. Unfortunately, independent researchers possess most of the documents excavated from the ruins, and Bobaloon comes from a line of sacred mecha mechanics. Who in the world is that man? He could be... Lord Noah, the results are in! I knew it! And now I have all the proof I need. What are you talking about? There were three artificial fighters created to defeat the sacred mecha lord. One died. One is Messiah. And we might have found the third. Our target is the swan. Ignore everything else. Right. It's Babaloon's lackeys again. Why did they come here? Take Empress Lashara and the others to the swan. Yes, sir. Kiaya, come with me. I need to give you something. Okay. You need to get to shelter. No, they're coming after us. I gotta get to the swan. Be careful, sir. I will. Oh no, we need to get Miss Rhea. No. But how? When everyone on that site came here with us. Huh? Listen to me. Destroying the shield of Gaia is an impossibility. Okay, then what should we do? There is still a way to defeat Gaia, even if you cannot demolish its shield. Once we get there, I'll show you how. Well, that's no good. It looks like I've been caught. Wait, what are you doing in here? No, give that back. I'm sorry. It's mine now, and I'm taking it with me. What are those things? Our attacks are completely ineffective. This sucks. My best guess is their Shield of Gaia replicas. My gunpowder won't even work! They actually replicated the Shield of Gaia? They used different materials, but yeah, I think these things were at least based off of it. Curse Lord Bobaloon and his nasty toys. Where's Kinchi? Is he not back yet? Rhea, where did you go? Rhea! Hey, what are you doing out here? Um, I, uh, was, uh... Just... Babaloon's uh, army found us. We need to get to the swan. Kenshi! <laughs> grab her! Don't let her get away! <gasps> I wish I could go with you, Kenshi. But I have to head back now. <gasps> it was only for a short time. But it was fun. What? Nate's I. <gasps> Meet me in the Holy Land! No, wait! Thor's <laughs> here! Kiaya, stop! <laughs> Run, now! I have something waiting for you on the swan. Get her out of here! Wait, Father! Trust me, I'll be fine! Father, please, no! It's been a while, Father. Messiah. I've missed you so much, so I came to see you. <gasps> I have a question for you. Would that be all right? It's no good. I can't keep them at bay. He broke through. Retreat to the swan. You got it. Time is up. We've no choice. Move the swan out once Wahanli's back. We can't. Why not? It's Kenji. <gasps> Kenshi. It's Kenshi. Kenshi, check out the hangar on the right. Thanks, Wuhan. That guy in white is the pilot. Don't let him get away. I was hoping I could use my last bullet for something like this. What are you doing after him? Kenshi, hurry up, please. I'm doing my best, but with both of us on this thing, we're not exactly stable. What do you mean? Are you calling me fat? That's not what I said. Kenshi. Hurry up! Eight series! Perfect timing! Yeah!
hit him. <laughs> yes, the swan will be mine. What was that? What is it? What happened? Wait, what's that sound? You stand by on the swan. Kinchi and Wahan, lead the way! Try. Yukine, let me see that rail gun. Despite the power reactor's low output, its power is increasing. This ought to work. Here I go! who is awesome. <sighs> hey, how long are you going to stare? Take this opportunity to pull out! Yes, yes ma'am. <sighs> what is with that power? We gotta get out of here. If that hits us when we don't have our shields, we'll be dead for sure. I see. So it's exactly as I expected. Messiah. Everything is in place now.
never seen anything like this before. After they lost contact with the church, the countries took up defensive positions because they're all scared of the black sacred mechanoid. We have to take down the swan no matter what. Once we've beaten them, Shurafan, Havoniwa, Strayu, and the Holy Land will have to bow down and follow Babalu. Then we'll get the money and respect we've got coming to us. Ronan can officially join the army and earn the name Sacred Mecha Master. And you're positive you can deliver on that? If the three nations in the Holy Land merge, we have a real shot at conquering the continent. <laughs> Keep your eye on the prize. Are you sure it's a good idea to let her take the lead? Oh, I'm fine with it. It's not like Dagmire can be of any use to us now. She's a loose cannon, and I don't trust her judgment. Something has to be done about it at once. She's partially responsible for us losing the barrier reactor, but so what? It's not like we've been able to figure out how to use it anyway. You two can stay here and get some R&R. &R. It would suck if something happened to our male sacred mecha masters. Just calm down, Kiaya. Dahl, or Maziah, we guess we should say, clearly didn't come here just to do harm to your father. Yes, but still! Do we have any information on what exactly this Natesai stole? She took a device that deletes core crystal data. Huh? <laughs> the thing is, if the central core crystal inside an artificial being can be reset, then there's no one to pilot the sacred mecha lord. As far as I know, it's the only surefire way to defeat it. I see, but what happens if we do that? If we go that route, Messiah would be gone forever. You guys, we can't. Hey, this wasn't an easy decision for Nawa either. That's horrible! They needed two sacred mecha lords to defeat Gaia the last time. And those were the two most advanced machines the previous civilization ever created. Even as powerful as Kenshi is, as things stand now, he can't win. No luck. We tried to use Kinshi's bullets, but they're insufficient as an energy source. Surely the issue isn't that they aren't strong enough. It's just the opposite, actually. We're unable to mount them. They're too strong. In fact, we can't even scratch them. <sighs> yeah, that's my bad. I'm sorry about that. I think I got it! She's right. Kenshi can use his compression abilities to make a weapon. Even though they were replicas, his compression bullets blasted through those shields like they were nothing. We might be able to use that power against Gaia! It could really work. The issue is finding the materials we need. Couldn't he gather up a whole bunch of boulders, rocks, and debris that are lying around unused? No, that won't work. The weapon will be too brittle. What we're gonna need is one massive rock. Do you mean like a metal ingot? Exactly like that. One that's as huge as the swan! How? Something that big doesn't exist. Yes, it does, and we're all huh? flying on it right now. <gasps> no! No way! The swan's my country! The fate of the entire world rests on this, Kenji! Can't you at least wait till I dig up all the crystals? You idiot! That would tear the swan apart! I don't wanna! The swan might be on the small side, actually. Really? Well, then how big does it need to be? If we use stone hundreds of times larger than the swan. What? Where are we supposed to find something like that? I know. Yukine, are you sure? The swan changed course. Any idea what that's about? Very peculiar. It doesn't appear that they're going to hook up with the Havonoan army. <laughs> oh, who cares? Wherever they go, I'll follow them there. We're gonna finish them off this time for sure. I promise. That's correct. If it's not a horrible inconvenience to you, I would like to use that facility as a meeting point. Naturally, we wouldn't cause any problems at all. And the Pope's already given us permission. I'm very surprised you gave approval. I didn't have a choice. Considering the situation we find ourselves in, the priority of the Church must be recovering our functionality. 
If she calls this an extension of Student Council Affairs, you must give your approval then, too, yes? That sounds like Yes, that's true. I have to ask you, who is this Kenshi Masaki to push Lithia to such great lengths? He's had the same effect on all the students here, as a matter of fact. Oh, that's wonderful. Almost there. Done and done. Well, I'm so glad to hear that. He's a good boy, that's all. I'm so terribly sorry to put you out like this, but I just... <gasps> Lithia! Lady Lithia! What is wrong with you? I'm standing right here! <gasps> What's the matter? Why are you yelling at me? Uh, hello there. Hey, Lapis, isn't she the old student council president? That is her, right? Yeah, her name is Dame Morga. You too. Please stop your gossiping and get back to work. Yes, ma'am. Now, Lady Lithia, would you care to explain exactly why you never bothered to contact me? Because you're serving as the Treble Royal Court Sacred Mecha Master. I just assumed you had more important things to do. Well, there's no point fretting over one country when the entire world is on the verge of destruction. Besides, I consider it a high honor to gather arms under a sacred Mecha Master from another world. Wait, how do you know about that? Even though I'm just an alumni, I still keep tabs on my precious alma mater. No matter what the danger, I will this always This sort of reminds me of the not-so-good old days. Yeah, me too. Oh, calm down. Just leave this to me, okay? I can handle everything from here. No, I will not. Great. I have to go prepare. I'll see you soon. Marga, stop! Hold on! <sighs> Lapis? Yes, ma'am? Send the transmission to King Treble right away, please. Yes, ma'am. At the very least, that should help buy us a little more time. I'm in for it. That woman may have some talent, but she never did quite learn how to play well with others. Here in Yukine's hometown, it's worshipped as their guardian deity. Occasionally, they conduct rituals, ceremonies, and important summits here. So that's gonna be our weapon? Over my dead body! Uh. This structure is sacred. We won't sit back and watch you destroy it. But we have to. Yukine, you're from a long line of priestesses who swore to protect this place. We won't let this ruffian desecrate our shrine and use it in someone else's war. Please, sir, you must see reason. If we don't do something, this world is doomed forever. Princess Maria, not you two. Oh, this is a nightmare. Your mother would never even consider such a deplorable measure. Oh, she would do it all right. She just wouldn't tell you first. Would you let me ask the goddess? Ask her? Yukine! Impossible. Have you already forgotten that you were unable to enter the barrier? You can't. No one's been able to for 15 years now. Not since your grandmother passed away. Not a single soul has done what? Hey, you, you're not allowed to go in there. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. What are you doing? Are you trying to embarrass us? <laughs> what in the heck was that? I swear, the kids these days have no respect. Uh, do you see that? They treat this place like it's nothing but a tourist attraction. <laughs> Please look. You. I am so disappointed. You should know better. Wow! Please look. Mm. Ah! Little brat, I told you not to go in there. You come right back here this minute. Don't you know what forbidden means? You crossed the barrier. Ah! Well, he seems to have finally caught on. Ah! Oh. Oh. A miracle. Um, what? Hmm. What are they doing in a place like that? Well, go on. This new mechanoid can move in bursts, even with a low output. And its operational limit has been upgraded big time. I wish I had enough ready for everyone right now, but don't worry, they'll be done in time for our siege on the Holy Land. At any rate, one goes to Kenshi, and we can all take turns using the other two. Sounds, Sounds good. good. Kenshi, don't compress it more than 20M in one go. Otherwise, your powers will fry the night frame. <laughs> now, let's do... 
do this. I'm all over it. All right. Here's to hoping no enemies show up until we finished compressing that monolith. A sword? What do you mean? Huh? Bond, look! No way! What's that? Amazing! He did it in one try! that monolith in an attempt to make a sword. That big rock? The battle at the barrier workshop should have been documented for reference, especially with regard to Kenshi's compressed bullets. Oh, that. Is something the matter? It looks like he's taking a little break. He just swapped out with the other two. That's weird. He's leaving. I think they're holding it up for him. I can't begin to imagine how heavy a stone structure of that size must be. If they try to set it down, even for a moment, it will sink into the surface. Say, uh, if we let them turn that thing into a sword, that's bad news for us, yeah? Do you really think you stand a chance against Kenshi? <laughs> what do I look like, Dagmire? Just because he's weak doesn't mean I am, too. Come on, get up. If you're going to sleep, please do so in your room. No, thank you. I'll just stay here. We never cease to be amazed by him. I think it's best we leave Kenshi alone, Empress Lashara. Why is that? <sighs> Wait, what are you talking about? I've heard in the previous war, sacred mecha masters slept on the ground upon reaching their operational limit. According to legend, it helped them recover more quickly. We've never heard that story before. It was an emergency measure used only on the front lines. Back then, the rotations of the sacred Mecha Masters were far worse than what they are up against today. All right. Fine, then. This seems as good a place as any to set up camp. As you wish, Empress. Hey, what's the game plan, Lon? It's simple enough. We wait for the perfect moment. <laughs> Looks like they're struggling. The rock is definitely getting smaller, but the weight is going to stay the same. Even though they're taking turns, they must be exhausted. You should 
go and get some more rest. No, I'm fine. Okay, can we hurry it up though, please? Looking good. This is well worth the wait. All right, guys, let's move out. They're much too slow. <laughs> this is no good. <laughs> oh no! Should we attack the ship? No way. We're gonna get an even bigger reward if we can manage to take that sword of theirs away. Enemy craft's approaching rapidly. Kenshi. Yukine, that's just a regular sacred mechanoid, so be careful! All right, boys, let's do this! Guys, watch your backs! Look out! No! Like I thought, it takes all the energy they've got just to support the rock. We're almost there. Come on, drop it already, you jerk! Tsukine! Keep going, I'll take care of them. No, you can't! You're in no condition to fight all on your own! Wait, where are the rest of them? On the way! Great sacred mechanoids! Don't waste time on her! Make them drop the boulder! The Ina is thin! Oh, you're just useless! That's why you're a lowly ronin! Don't come near them. <laughs> well, this should be interesting. Yukine! I'm okay! Kenshi, hurry up! They won't be able to hold out for much longer. We have to power through this. If they don't compress it right now, we won't get another chance. Yukine, just hang in there. There are too many of them! There's nothing I can do! Reached your operational limit? You can't, I know! I'm fine! Don't stop, we need that sword! Attack! You guys, hang on! You can't! Hang. This girl doesn't give up! Not at this rate! Keep pushing on. We can't. Yes, we need the sword. Keep going. We have to. To defeat Gaia. Close, I could taste it. 
Kine, are you okay? Yes, I'm all right. I'm glad we made it. All right, Kenji! Oh, hey, you guys! Long time no see, Kenji! No, no, Greeno. You call him Sir Kenshi now. I'm glad to see everyone is all right. Principal! These ladies insisted on being there by your side to fight with you. Oh. Lady Lithia! Lapis! Uh. Uh. Hmm. If you let us, we will follow wherever you go, Sir Kenshi Masaki. What? I imagine that you've had your fill of that. But in the end, you still want to be a sacred mecha master, don't you? <laughs> Ends don't justify the means. In matters such as these, the process will always outweigh the outcome. Yes, but I wanted to beat him so badly. That's all. <sighs> but I have failed. <clears throat> don't worry, the sacred mecha lord will revive soon enough. Be proud. Your original mission to buy us time was a resounding success. <laughs> I see. So you're done with me now. Is that about right? I have prepared the sacred mechanoid I made for Dol. Oh, I suppose I should say I prepared a frame that utilizes mecha worker technology. I understand. After all this, you want me to go down with him, don't you? Come on. Don't you think it's about time you got to do what you wanted, my nephew? <laughs> Are you serious? never seen anything like this before. It's amazing. So, hey, Wahanli, well, even though it's compressed, the mass of the rock is still the same, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. That's awesome. I can't believe that ring can support its weight. Even Hasaki can get near it, so obviously the ring must have a low-output reactor. Master Nala gave us a special ring he found in the ruins. If this was a normal one, it would snap right in two. Wait, that's the original ring? I'm surprised he's letting us use something like that. Yeah, me too. Must be a sign of the times. Sorry for the wait. So tell me, what can I do for you? Oh, the walk-in refrigerator's temperature is going up. Oh, how terrible. My, my. We've become quite the party, haven't we? Thank you for all your help back there, Lapis. You saved us. Oh, well, I didn't do much, but that's very nice of you to say. Without your help, we wouldn't have succeeded. It was an excellent battle, and it showed great leadership on your part. Wow, Kenshi, you really are full of surprises, aren't you? First a sacred mecha master, and now you're king of the swan! We think you're incredible! <laughs> it's true. And now all of us get to work together one more time. I never dreamed this would happen. Yeah, don't you get it? You're the reason everyone is gathered here. Hail King Kenshi! <sighs> uh. <sighs> Kenshi, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. It's really nothing. We love you, King Kenshi! Sacred mecha masters from around the world are coming to serve Empress Lashara and Kenshi. Although I wasn't sure if you were right, you certainly called it. His physique and mannerisms are rather unique. We may have just borne witness to an historical moment, ladies. I have no idea how you knew, but I'm impressed. Yes, I am too. <sighs> are you sure you're all right, Kenji? You really don't look so good. Yeah, I'm okay. <sighs> yes, we understand. Use the compressed bullets to cross the highlands. But still, 
Only three of our night frames will be able to make that trip. If Doll shows her face, Kinchi will have no choice but to fight her. And that will leave us only two frames to ward off the rest of the enemy's main forces. With odds like that, there's no guarantee we can prevent the Sacred Mechalord's revival. Our odds will increase if we take them by surprise. But Rhea... No. Natesai can see right through us. Don't discount her yet. She's still a major problem. Even so, of all our options, this one seems most likely to succeed. The question now is how quickly can our main forces break through the enemy's defenses, complete their mission, and regroup with us? Oh yeah, there's that. What's the matter, Empress? Is there something bothering you? <laughs> What's going on down there? Is that Kenji? <laughs> He's burning up. I wouldn't worry. It's probably brought on by exhaustion. He just needs to rest. Poor guy. It's hardly surprising. Since we fled the Holy Land, he's not had a moment's rest. Then to top everything off, he had to compress that huge monolith all by himself. Weird. Feel like I've been in this position before. <laughs> Creepy smile off your face and get some sleep. Oh no, the fever's made him delusional! Ladies, please try to keep it down when you're sitting by a sick boy's bed. <laughs> We're not kidding around. You need to rest. Time to go, Yukine. Keep an eye on him and let us know if you need anything. I will. That you lied a jerk is a slave driver, isn't he? It is what it is, so stop complaining and keep working. We failed our mission. We deserve it. <sighs> You'll get another chance. We're transferring to the front line of defense. You lighter. I take it everything is in order. Yes, brother, of course it is. The bandits used mecha workers to tear apart Havonua's railways. Their route to the highlands is now cut off. My concern at this point is the ability of their sacred mechanoids to function outside of Ena's draft. Right. There's good news on that front. Compressed bullets are their current energy source, and even if they had a whole arsenal of mechanoids, they would barely have enough power to successfully send three of them across the border. Although, it would be enough energy to send Kenshi's white sacred mechanoid through. And? Both its operational time and capabilities outside of the Ina Ocean have improved significantly. With the Black Sacred Mechalord inoperable, he has the power to obliterate us. <laughs> then all I need to do is turn their ray of hope into fear and despair. <laughs> about Kenshi. I hope he gets better soon. Yeah, me too. Looks like your fever's down. How did you manage to get in here? Did anybody see you come in? Habits don't usually change, and they're no exception. Sneaking in was even easier than I thought it would be. So what, have you come back for good? No, but I have something I would like to tell you. Okay, but you better hurry. Of course. I went to the burial workshop to learn something, something only my father would be able to confirm. And I was right. Everything I thought was true. Tell me, father. During the age of the ancient civilization, the artificial beings created to defeat the sacred Megalord possessed such advanced foe bodies that they were fully capable of procreating with actual beings. Naturally, this wasn't exclusive to beings from our world. 
There was a possibility that if one bred with an otherworlder, the child of mixed blood would end up stronger than both parents. Though unions such as these never actually happened, and these mixed children didn't exist. The Gaias were fierce, and they attacked other worlds. Any beings that could pilot a sacred mechanoid were always the primary targets. The time frame for summoning did not fall in that dark era. As a result, they were unable to summon more otherworlders. But, inversely, they did have the ability to send their own kind to other worlds. As such, the only safe option was to send an artificial being in their place. The being would procreate, and then after some time had gone by, they would summon the child back. And so you were created and sent here from another world. No, that can't be true. The way the sacred mechanoid reacted to you, the incredible powers you possess. The simple fact that even now I am still unable to attack you is all the proof you need, Kenshi. But how come you can't attack me? An artificial being's unique biowaves cannot be bred out. We have no choice in the matter. Don't you see? We are programmed not to attack anyone who emits those waves. That's not all. This fever and the fatigue you're feeling? It doesn't have anything to do with me. And it has nothing to do with your resistance to harming me. <gasps> yes, you and I are the same. In this whole world, there's no one else like you and me. Strange, isn't it? It's Babaloon! Wait, what are you doing? I'll admit I was concerned about you. But once you're properly disposed of, there'll be no one left to defy me. Slave, accept my orders or die! What are we gonna do now? Wait, what are you talking about? She means if the worst comes to pass, how are we going to fight them without the wild beast in our corner? We're not fighting! Well, we can't just do nothing, can we? Oh, Aura, not you too! He is from another world. In the end, the outcome of this war is our burden to bear, and no one else's, especially his. She's right. This is something the citizens of our planet should fight to resolve. We can't just rely on Kinchi. <sighs> But one fact still remains. He is the only chance we have. It sure is pathetic, isn't it? Mother, it's you! And my father, too? We weren't so foolish as to think you two would not show up. But we did not expect you so soon. And I'm happy to see you as well, Ashara. I just got word that my future son declared his independence. No, he isn't your future son. He's my daughter's future stepfather. <gasps> Mother, will you stop? Uh, huh. Your radical notion has left that daughter of yours speechless. Although it's really not an awful idea. Huh? But father... Well, well. Now they both seem to be in complete and utter bewilderment, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> they're thinking what we're fairly certain they're thinking. Any reasonable being would be in shock. So that's why you're here, to poke fun and mock us to our faces. <laughs> On the contrary, we'd like to demonstrate how mature we both can be. <laughs> uh... I'll never obey you! There's simply no point in you resisting any further. You were made to follow orders. It's the only reason you exist. 
Give in to your true nature and bow down. Become what you were destined to be. Uh, shut up! I don't care why I'm here or why I exist. I'm me, and I have a will that's my own. I'll die before I follow your orders, understand? A will, you say? <laughs> Even when that will is nothing more than a fabrication, does a newborn babe have free will? One's opinion changes depending on the expectations set before them. By opposing me, you are only meeting Lashara's expectations, are you not? But there were others who planted the expectation of submission deep in your heart. And that slave will turn you into my doll. There's nothing you can do in a battle against your fate. Yes, there is! Even if someone planned this whole thing out, every choice I made, every action I took in my life, those things were done because I chose to do them! You wretched doll. I am not your doll! I'm Kenshi! And I don't believe in fight! Yeah! Impossible! You cannot defy me! <sighs> you little brat! <sighs> doll, destroy the swan! <sighs> I'll check on him. I must say, I'm constantly impressed by the stunts you're able to pull off. Yet... Hey, what happened? <gasps> Maziah? Kiaya, is something wrong? <gasps> Your sister. Sword. It's anti-gravity rings broken. Oh no! That is not good. You know what this means, right? Oh, please tell me this isn't happening. Lapis, is she okay? Yes, we had just put her to bed. What about you? Are you sure you're all right, Kenji? Yeah, I think most of the numbness is gone now. I'm good to go. Some power of his new night frame. It's so incredible. We should be calling it a sacred mecha lord. Curse you. How dare you not submit? Very well. Then I have no choice but to crush you with my own two hands. You'll see. The real sacred mecha lord will awaken soon enough. <laughs> to the plan. Right. We're all counting on you, my dear Kenshi. Don't worry, son. You'll do fine. Thank you. Well, goodbye for now. I'll see you soon. Please be careful. And 
keep an eye on her, Yukine. I'm happy to. Father, best of luck. Remain true to your husband. I will. Let's go. Right. Havoniwa and Shurafan's armies are gathering around the checkpoint as we speak. Our time has come. Indeed. Tonight's just as quiet as last night. Hey, are we positive those guys are headed our way? We sure are. They have to. Havonua's railway is down, so this is the only entrance to the Holy Land. Do you think our forces will be enough to stop them when they get here, though? What, are you scared, Princess? This was originally a fortress. We have very defensive capabilities. Yeah, not to mention the underground barrier reactors here make the whole joint Ina free. Their sacred mechanoids won't be able to get close to us. That's a good point, and with the formation we're using, I guess we only have to worry about the Highlands. Those long cords all over the place will keep their cabled sacred mechanoids from attacking. <laughs> and their mecha workers got nothing on us. As long as we've got our Shield of Gaia replicas, there's no way they can beat us. I'm looking forward to it. They're weak little babies, and they don't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but what about that white one? He can move outside the draft, can't he? Well, the white one won't come. Don't worry about him. Even if he did show up, we'll still be able to win as long as we can hold out until the sacred Mecha Lord revives. If Babaloon conquers the world, we'll get rewarded big time. So I'm counting on you guys to make sure this goes down as planned. No mistakes, got it? Yeah, we got it. Whoa, what the? We're under attack! Move it now! 
Activate the mecha! And so it begins. Commence fire! Shoot all you want! There's no way you're taking this checkpoint down with a frontal assault! Make sure you don't get too close. Concentrate fire on the gate's cannons! Would you like me to deploy my unit now? Hey, Lon! Vavonawa sent out cabled mechanoids. Don't panic. They can't get close with those cables attached. Just like the battery-operated ones. White one gone. Uh, what the? Ah! What was that? What's going on out there? Changing the screen now. What the heck are those? They look like moving armors, and they're using steam reactors. we've got is down they also severed the battery line try to keep it together they haven't broken through yet get the mecha workers out there and reconnect those lines and in the meantime deploy all remaining mechanoids we've still got this first line of defense damage at 40 percent the checkpoint itself remains largely undamaged sir but the majority of mechanoids are inoperable let's have lawn continue to hold down the fort but more importantly is the swan present not as of yet sir Peculiar. A swan should be participating in the attack on the checkpoint. <laughs> this is Babel's team from the top observatory. We finally located the swan. Believe it or not, she's traveling through the highlands. What? You're kidding me. How can the swan manage that? <laughs> not being a complete idiot. She had holes dug throughout the highlands for Aho barrier reactors, and then used the reactors to supply the tracks with Ina. Whatever gaps are in the tracks are like at the most a few hundred meters apart, which is awesome! The reactor can totally make up for the difference since it's set to use Kenshi's compressed bullets. I must admit it was a good strategy, but do not praise her too much. It'll go straight to her head. We are not praising her at all. We are merely stating she is not as dumb as we originally thought. <laughs> We are on target to reach the designated point momentarily. And so, Lashara, I hope we will meet again if you happen to survive. We refuse to die until after we've gone to your poorly attended funeral. Funny, I was about to say the same thing. An armored locomotive is approaching from the opposite direction. Target the warship Babel! Cannons commence fire! Commence counterfire now! Ooh, Maria is going all out. We like it. Tis our time to descend as well. here and try to attack the checkpoint from behind sounds good we're counting on you Lithia. oh don't worry empress we've got everything under control that's right we do we're ready to fight anything for king kenji cool yeah thanks okay be careful <laughs>
That is so like Queen Flora. She's always been the one who enjoys a good stunt. Curse that woman. We've no time for this. I've almost resurrected the sacred Mecha Lord. Would you like me to send Dahl out? If you're willing to allow it, I'll go. Very well. This is it. Show me what you can do. Yes, sir. Good luck, sir. I don't need luck. Making fun of us. At this rate, we're totally screwed. It's not like we owe Babaloon anything. If we stay, we're all gonna get killed. Let's go! No one's going anywhere. If we play our cards right, we can score an entire country instead of one measly ship. We'll get money and jewels, anything we want. Do you understand that? All we have to do is defend this fort. As long as they don't sneak in from behind, we've already won. Lon, we have something approaching us. <laughs> what are those? These are new weapons invented by my son-in-law. Now go! What is that? Oh, Lithia, how dare you try to leave me behind? I wouldn't miss out on a battle like this for the world. But I'll wait to deal with you until after I take care of these minor obstacles. Mm. This is bad. They came in from behind. How did this happen? pilot that no matter what happens around her she must stay still while Dame Morga is in berserker mode anything that moves is a threat <laughs> reinforcements already that's why we have a rear guard isn't it first line of defense reporting in we need help second line of defense we're requesting immediate reinforcements second line of defense please respond second line of defense are you there Third line of defense, respond! Hello? Hello? I did as you ordered and had the second and third lines of defense pull out of the battle immediately. They are scheduled to rendezvous with our main forces when they cross the ravine. <sighs> are you sure about this? You will be sacrificing the first line. Let them die. They are nothing more than money-hungry thugs. They might have become a threat later anyway. Probably the unit strengthening defenses in the ravine. It seems they intend to rendezvous with the main forces in the Holy Land. I don't think so. Team 1 and Team 2, enter your frames. Team 3 on down, prepare for mobilization! Now then, ladies, you can win, provided you remain calm and do as you were trained. Who are they? Enemy sacred mechanoids? Where did they come from? Here we go. Are you ready, Lapis? I'm ready, Lady Lithia. We're ready to fight, too. Yeah! Wait, what are students from the Holy Land doing here? Ah! Well, 
that's a surprise. Who would have imagined we'd run into our very own student council president here? You think we should go help him out? <laughs> I have no intention of fighting my classmates. And besides that, we should make sure we see this with our own eyes. You know, where our ideals will ultimately take us and everything. We will arrive at the Holy Land soon. We hope you are prepared. No matter what, we cannot allow them to resurrect the sacred Mechalord. Babalu must not succeed. Princess Lashara, there's a sacred mechanoid in front of us. <laughs> Who is that? It's Dagmar. What's he doing? Kenshi Masaki, I challenge you to a one-on-one -on -one duel. A duel, huh? We shall fight him. Kenshi, you should go and deal with the sacred mecha lord. Listen to Princess Aura. Ignore that jerk. What is that? Wait, hold on. He's holding a mecha lord's barrier reactor! <sighs> We won't be able to get near him. Will he self-destruct if you don't accept? Kenshi, we don't have time for this. I don't know if it'll work, but try compressing his sacred mechanoid. I've got to accept his challenge. What? We don't have that kind of time. Kenshi! Kiaya, let Kenshi do as he chooses. But why? Because he's probably trying to show his respect for Dagmar's resolve in some weird way. Again, we don't have time for that. He is a sacred mecha master. <sighs> Genuine one. I am glad you accepted, although I will admit the ultimatum was somewhat cowardly on my part. If only you weren't around. I've thought that many times. I should have seen you for what you were. My own personal challenge. And now, I will finally crush you! simply can't deny his skill anymore. You did well, Dagmire. What are those waves? Oh, no. Mechalord. We're too late. 
Don't worry, ladies. We were prepared for this the second they tried to buy more time. Kenji? shall confirm the true reason you came to this world, now that we are in our time of need. He's incredible. His fighting is on par with the sacred Mecha Lord. Yes, and we expected no less from him. I'm honestly surprised he is able to stand his ground. In that case. Sacred Mecha Master from another world. Prepare to experience Gaia's true fall. Perfect form of Gaia. Target the sacred Mecha Lord. Concentrate all fire on Gaia. Help Kinshi. You fool. It's too dangerous! Get back! We shall retreat as well. The last thing we need to do right now is get in Kenshi's way. Right behind you. It cannot be helped. Let's go. Kenshi. I'm counting on you, Kenshi. This is all Rhea's doing, and it pains my heart to have to thrust this burden upon you. <coughs> I hope it's not too late for us to provide him assistance. My time is almost up. Baby chicks to kill! Not this time! Oh, you're finished now! Lopez! If it weren't for my operational limit, they'd be dead! Number two, number four, number six, swap out! Well, that'd be us. Let's go teach those jerks a lesson. Just in time, I'm at my limit! Thanks, ladies. Have fun! You ready for this? They've sent out new pilots! You're not calling us cowards, are you? Because I'm... 
pretty sure you were the ones who attacked us in mass. Barely even a match. What matters most is who can last. Our girls may be professional, but even their odds won't be good if they're forced to keep fighting fresh pilots. So power and quantity beat experience and expertise. This is most educational. Plus, it would seem their most recent what? backup is rather experienced themselves. Tides have changed, huh? Seems so. It looks like we've subdued them for the most part. I think it's best now to proceed through the ravine and eliminate any remaining units that may be on our way to fight at the checkpoint. Empress Lashara, we're in. The checkpoint's gates have been forced open. I see. So we were unable to stop the sacred Mecha Lord's resurrection. <laughs> I know we would have made it in time if it weren't for Dagmar's stupid duel. <laughs> <laughs> of course! As a sacred mecha master, that was only natural for him. He has <sighs> such ardent courage. I keep liking my son-in-law all the more! <laughs> Unfortunately, the sacred mecha lord has already surpassed our worst fears. Babalun somehow merged with the shield of Gaia and became one being with the sacred mecha lord. He became Gaia! Is that so? If it is, Babaloon has succeeded. Before the fusion, Kenshi and the Sacred Mecha Lord seemed like they were equals. Now I'm afraid he's at a disadvantage. He's fighting out there right now. He's all by himself. And he's doing it for us. Well, come on. Let's go help Kenji, then. In that case, I want to go, too. You can stay. Bad girl. Bad Aunt Flora. What? But I want to go help him! Don't butt you mean? Let me You be careful Kenji. out there, okay? Tell Kenji we're thinking about him. surprised you didn't want to go with them. We thought we'd help make sure they had somewhere to come home to. <laughs> yeah, I figured its head would be its toughest section. Obstinate wretch. But the difference in their frame's power is too great. It has incredible defensive capabilities. Kinshi will hit his limit sooner rather than later. And if that happens... Is there anything that we can do to help? Anything at all? How can he survive? Do you not 
not understand this is futile? Barrier reactor emits killer waves. Kenshi, do you copy? Huh? Wahan, is that you? We're going to overcharge that sacred Mecha Lord's Aho barrier reactor. Hit Gaia with it. No, that's too dangerous. You're the one in danger. We're trying to help you this time. We are at 40. Climbing to 45. We are at 50. No, please don't. I can take care of him. 55. Yet. <laughs> okay, how did that not work? He still hasn't given up. Kenshi. Is that Doll? And Mazaya too? It can't be. Kenshi, please save me. What? How dare you disobey my orders? I will not tolerate defiance. You will pay. <laughs> the shield of Gaia. What is that? The massive amount of Ina that got trapped inside when he compressed the sword is emitting feedback! Ha, 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 ha. 
going around. Hurry up and kill him so we can save my sister. If you do it right now, I'll let you dig up all the swan's crystals. Consider it done. You're going down, Naya! What? No. What did you do? He did it! Amazing! Messiah! Messiah, please wake up! Come on! Wake up, big sis Messiah! Hi, Kenji. Does this mean that you saved me? So, I have to know, which body of mine did you prefer, this one or my bestie adult form? Huh? I don't really know. <laughs> well, I mean, usually at the end of stories like this one, the hero and the princess he valiantly rescued are supposed to kiss, isn't that right? I don't see a princess! <laughs> Kiaya, have your kicks grown soft in the short time we've been apart? Will you shut up? Huh? He's alive. <sighs> Mr. Ulita? Ulita, there's not much time. Hurry and give me your body! So that must be Gaia's true form. What's going on? This ends now, my brother. Mr. Ulita! You're burning up? Are you sick? No. My body is leaving me. But not before I fulfilled my goals. And now, I can go in peace. No, you can't go! Calm down. It isn't as though I'm going to die, Kenji. <laughs> hmm. <gasps> what? It's Rhea! I mean, it's Natsai! Natsai. I see. So it was you. The one they planted in you back then was Nezai. No, how dare they plot against me! My father planted a core crystal inside of my older brother and me when I was just a boy. It gradually eroded my flesh, but fortunately I was still a child. My actual tissues adapted to the crystal. My body changed to match Ulita or Natesai, depending on whose awareness was stronger. Ulita had practically reached his physical limit, but he was able to hang on until today. All because of the drink you gave him, Kenshi. You have our gratitude. Like from when he was sick? Gaia's core ate away at my father, and then it took my older brother. I was just a child, so there was no way for me to stop him, let alone find a way to defeat him by myself. All I could really do. Well, was hide the fact that I was Nate's eye and bide my time, and that's about it. Huh? Now you mustn't continue to keep everyone waiting. Sacred Mecha Master from another world. <gasps> Quickly, this oh. way. Position. So let me get this straight. Mr. Ulida is really you, Nate's eye? Simply put, we are the same, yet we're not the same. 
That's not simple at all. <laughs> you know, your mother is the one responsible for this little predicament. I don't like this. We already settled the problem regarding ownership over Kenshi, Link. Uh, well, I wasn't part of that decision. I can't believe her. She pulls the same kinds of stunts as Miss Mazaya. It's deplorable at best. She will not! That hussy will never be my sister! You know, since we've taken care of this whole Babaloon problem, we might as well revisit the whole who owns Kenji thing now, right? Well, Hanley, please do not tell us that you want him as well! No. Uh -huh. Kenji is already sworn to marry into the Shurafan family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's only natural for Kenji to take Yukine's hand in marriage. Ara and Maria, we can't believe you're doing this too! I know, since this is becoming a big mess, why doesn't Sir Kenji hook up with me instead? Certainly not! For what it's worth, Um, heard my interruption. Yeah, what do you want? I wish to confirm the Student Council's reward for our consistent assistance throughout this incident. We don't know why you're asking us. We thought Straya was supposed to become a subordinate state to cover all those costs. Yes, we are not necessarily interested in anything like that. Well, what do you want, then? Uh, are you kidding us? <clears throat> I am now speaking on everyone's behalf. We would like to reserve the right to marry Kenshi Masaki. <laughs> huh? For the record, all the female students present have given their consent. <laughs> the order of marriage is first come, first served, right? Huh? Last one there is a rotten egg! Poor oh guy, that's cheating! I won't lose! Where do you think you are all going? He still belongs to us! Uh, uh, which of the forests do you want to get married in? Don't you want to help me do tests on my new mecha worker? Yukine, hurry up, it's still Kinshi away. Oh, yeah. Baby boy, come to sister. Oh, my, Kinshi is just so cute. <laughs> Ugh, I don't know how much more of this crap I can take. Back off, Kinshi belongs to us. Also scary. Mob mentality at its worst. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. What? He left. What are you waiting for? After him. And there they go again. Oh, well, I suppose this must be our big, fancy finale. <laughs> No matter where I go in this world, I'll be screwed if I don't have some sort of peace offering. <laughs>